Welcome back. Happy Saturday. Big day for us uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, we're playing the early access to the new Sims pack. Sunny, please. Oh my goodness. Um, number two, we're doing a charity fundraiser. And number three, there's currently three cats on my desk. I'm, I am not exaggerating. I've got this one. Hold on. This one is easily accessible. This is shrimp. You just saw Sunny jump from that tree to the desk and Snap is on my desk too. Snap is also on my desk. She's sitting by my PC. So there's a lot going on. <laughs> Everybody's in here. Um, also Christmas tree. So <laughs> big day, big day. Uh, we got a lot of stuff that we're gonna talk about and do today. Please leave her alone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she might if, yeah. Shrimp just wanted to sniff her and she was cornered, so she hissed at him. I'm sorry if you have to hear this. Shrimpy, can you leave Snappy alone instead of cornering her? That would be really nice of you. You don't, you really don't have to do that. <laughs> That's really unnecessary. Anyway, um, welcome everybody. <laughs> Exciting stuff. What are we gonna do today? Oh, lots of things, lots of things. Mostly play The Sims. In fact, only play The Sims, um, because we have early access to the new pack, so we're gonna play it all day. Um, and also raising money for Able Gamers. So it's a it's a win all around. Hi Snappy, come here, sweetie. Have you come out from hiding? <laughs> there might be some more cats. Might be some more cat noises too. Also, look at these. These are the stickers for today's charity event. Oh, double sim soundtracks. But look, these are today's stickers for the charity event. They're little pictures of Shrimp and Sunny that Snap, or that Snap drew, <laughs> that Shella drew. Snap didn't draw these, but these are the stickers from our charity event. I know, really fun. So I'll send those to people if you if you redeem the thingy on the Tiltify page, I will mail you some stickers. I also have a card, it looks like this. This is the front of it. Isn't that so cute? Kind of a little cat theme going on. But I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, I wanna give people a chance to come in. I need to turn the, music off. I was listening to the Sims 4 soundtrack yesterday. <laughs> I gotta mute it. I've got two Sims soundtracks playing at the same time today. Okay, and then the other thing, um, the other exciting thing is that uh, we have our advent calendar to open, so we'll get to do that in a few minutes too. <laughs> um, lots going on today. Lots, lots, lots going on today. Um, and thank you for the gift of subs, by the way. I really do appreciate you doing that, um, Brady. I really appreciate that. And before I went live, two people donated. Um, Jackson donated $25. $25. Oh my goodness, Shrimp, you just failed to jump onto the desk and then you made Snappy hiss at you. Oh my, here we go. Um, <laughs> Jackson donated $25. They said wanted to come to the party earlier. And Sam's donated $50 as well. So thank you so much, everybody. This one's Shrimp. Sunny, you have Snap like kind of cornered, so she's upset with you. The, the situation right now is that Snap is sitting behind my PC, so she's like kind of cornered in the room. And then when the kittens go near her, she gets upset because she feels trapped. But she likes to sit next to the PC because it's warm over there. So that's what we're dealing with. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> also, Logical Alex with the $75 to Able Gamers. Did I say St. Jude a second ago or did I say Able Gamers? If I said the wrong charity, bear with me. <laughs> I've, I've, I last charity event I did was a month long charity stream for St. Jude, so. Um, <laughs> and eight, wait, thank you for the $5 too. Let me tell you a little bit about Able Gamers quickly before we get started, um, just so that you're all on the same page. Basically, uh, Able Gamers is a charity that works to help people with disabilities have access to video games. Um, so what they do is, is they help to consult with and then uh, find the appropriate controllers or like other sorts of assistive technology for people who need it so that they can play video games for a wide range of disabilities. I mean, ranging from things, I always give this example, but um, you know how like with a controller like this, say you only really have the ability to use it with one hand, it's really hard to do because you can't really get to these buttons. Like you, it's not really feasible. Um, so they make controllers that for example, have buttons on the back. So you can use it with just one hand. Um, they've got controllers that are big and can sit in your lap if you have a hard time holding a controller with both your hands. Um, ranging to things like foot pedals. They've got, my friend Steve plays uh, games using a thing that tracks his eye movements. I mean, there's really unbelievably amazing technology out there and Able Gamers works to help get people out access to it because it can be kind of expensive um, and it's also sometimes kind of hard to find the right thing that works for you um, so they can help work with you to figure out what you need and then get you access to it and it opens up a whole world of possibilities for people because uh, obviously as we all know as massive fans of video games um, 
it's it's kind of a, a wonderful aspect of my life and it's been such a, a huge social thing for me too. Like I all of my best friends I've met through The Sims. I, I met Dan through Twitch, basically through video games, you know? So um, it's a, it opens up a really amazing like social world for people too. And unfortunately, a lot of folks with disabilities are really socially isolated. Um, and, and so having video games helps give them access to that too. So it's, it's, um, it's really special what they do and they mean a lot to me. <laughs> so thank you all for helping us, uh, helping us do this. These donations go a long way to help folks with disabilities get access to these controllers and stuff. So thank you so much. Uh, we've got Livco with the $10, Madfly with the $50, Grace with the $5, Harrison with the $10, Nero with the $50, uh, Rowan with the $5, and Danny with the $50 as well. Thank you so much. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to point out too, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the cats. Please don't feel bad if you can't donate. I know that right now especially is like a really hard time of year, um, and it's, it's been a hard year just in general, so please don't feel bad if you don't have the spare funds to donate. Um, I don't want you to feel guilty about that. When I say that just being here and helping to spread the word about Able Gamers is is more than enough. Because for all we know, someone here, maybe even you might know someone that could benefit from Able Gamers. You might be able to tell someone about it. Um, you're helping to support the stream and therefore get the word out that way. So it's, um, it's really, really a, a beautiful thing, you just being here. So please don't feel bad if you can't donate. I don't want anyone to feel guilty about that. Um, just being here is, is more than enough. And I really do mean that when I say it. Um, Kizzy, thank you for the $25, and Evelyn with the $3, uh, Franz with the $50, Dandy with the $50, thank you so much, Maddie with the $50, thanks so much, everybody. That is so, so, so unbelievably generous of you. Okay, shall we game? <laughs> oh my god, show my game! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here's the deal. I'll get my advent calendars in a minute. Um, but just to introduce you to The Sims really quickly, uh, we're currently playing The Sims 4 for rent. Uh, I got early access to the pack like a week and a half ago, and for the first time ever, they are letting us live stream the CFE version of the game. Um, so this version of the game is kind of weird. I have only the base game and the new pack, and there's a couple weird features on it. You're gonna see this kind of annoying watermark, and there's also no gallery access, because um, it's like not the full Sims game. Um, it's a... Uh, a weird version that they've given us especially for the early access and normally we lose access to it by the time the embargo lifts like yesterday when I could post the videos this time they extended our access so I still have it and for the first time ever we're allowed to stream it so instead of just showing you footage we can actually play today which is kind of a huge deal um, so I'm really excited about that it's gonna be a lot of fun um, we got to play a little bit yesterday. We're gonna play some more today. And I have one other update. So I was telling you all about how I had not been paid rent yet, right? I was going on and on like, oh, I've, my sim has never gotten paid rent. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, so I, I did open this save this morning. Um, I'm gonna post a video with these sims today. So you'll see it, you'll see it later today. Um, it's been two full weeks. It's Saturday. The lease ended on Monday and I finally got paid rent. So it took almost until the end of the second lease. <laughs> the lease ends tomorrow and I finally got paid for last time. Um, so maybe it just takes longer than I thought, but in previous saves, it, it's, it varies when I get paid. Um, so I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. It, it takes a long time. Who died? Oh, my Sims grandma. Yeah, they, they were an elder though, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> it, well, it's not okay, but it, <laughs> it was it was expected. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean it was okay. <laughs> I mean it was expected. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Kales, thank you for the fifty dollars. Um, thank you, Belgium. Uh, thank you for the for the. Wait a minute. You don't want to pay another thirty dollars in customs, so pay attention to that when you send the stickers. Whoa, it made you pay $30 in customs for a physical letter? I have never heard of anything more absurd in my life. How is that even possible? It's a, I send, I send people a single card. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. Are you serious? It's a, it's an envelope. I almost don't believe that. Not to say that I don't believe you, but like, it's an, it's just one envelope. No one has ever, um, I send it like through the post. <laughs> I, I don't understand that at all. Um, cause it's, it's just a card. It's not like it's a box or anything with, 
I don't understand that. It happens to you before? For- to send a letter? It's just a letter. But there is an added value, it's just a sticker. I don't think that's- that must have been like a really strange, like, one-off, bizarre- not to- I- I've never heard of anything like that happening before with a card. Um. Huh. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I- can- can you contact one of my mods so I can talk to you about that? I obviously can't do this right now. I've never heard of anything like that with a card. I- you hear that with, like, packages and stuff, um, but I've never heard that with a- a letter. So if you could- if you could click on the names of one of the people who has a sword in chat, and then, uh, we can- we can talk to you about it. Um, because I've never heard of that <laughs> with just a letter. Also, if you're in the Discord, you can open a ticket in the Discord server and we can talk to you there too. I don't know what's easier for you. Um, okay, well that's off to a terrible start. <laughs> yeah, it's just for a letter. It's just for a letter. I'm, do they flag- do they flag letters in, for customs too? I've never heard of that happening with a- with an envelope. Very strange. Very strange. Anyway, we just passed a thousand dollars raised for April Gamers. <laughs> That's so cool! Thank you all so much, Beth, with the $50! Uh, we got Dollar Train, and Lau, and Ellie, and Willow, Danielle, Antonia! Um, someone anonymously donated, it's their first time donating, thank you so much! C as well! Uh, who says, gamers love charity! <laughs> Allie with $100! Uh, Red Lion, and Jaslyn, and Kate, and Allie! Uh, we got Kit Kat, and Morgan, and Kales! Uh, Belgium, who's the person you were just talking to about the customs thing! Uh, we got Lori, and Cindy, and Lexi, and Victoria, and the Waddleless, Cassie with the $100, um, Auntie, and Catherine, and Simmer, Marissa with the $50, Looney, Maddie, um, Kizzy, Evelyn, France, Danny, thank you all so much, everybody. I really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm confused about the letters thing. Maybe it got, like, addressed wrong somehow? I don't know. I don't know. But even then, I've sent like, thousands of these, and that's the first time anyone has ever told me that they had an issue. It's possible that it's happened and they didn't tell me, but I don't think that- I don't know. That's really strange. Because I- I literally have sent thousands of letters in many, many, many internationally, <laughs> and I've never heard of a letter causing a customs problem before, but I don't know. We'll try and get it solved. Um, and obviously it depends on the country and stuff, but... I don't know. Um, Sifu the One-Eyed Bunny with the $50, Marg with the $50, thank you so much. Um, Anonymous and Carly and Aoife, thank you all. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, you can join the Discord, Belgium, or you can click on one of the mod's names and they can, uh, you can try and whisper them there. If the Discord is easier, if you have a Discord account, that might be better, but you can whisper people on Twitch too, so you can click on their name and then try and message them. Um, Oh my goodness, Mello, thank you for the donation and for, for your kind words, I really appreciate that. Um, Stephen Pond with the $10, Jules with the $50, Lauren with the $100, thank you so much, everybody. Um, let's get into the game quick, shall we? <laughs> we should probably actually play The Sims, that was kind of the goal here today. Um, that was kind of the goal. Um. Oh my, cats running around. There's three cats in here, if you, if you hear or see anything, don't panic. <laughs> But there's a lot of cats in this room right now. Um, Ozzy, thanks for the $100 as well to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Oh, and the advent calendar. Oh, sorry, we can't play Sims yet. <laughs> the ads are about to play. I'll let the ads play first, and then and then we'll, um, we'll open the advent. I just saved the game. I opened it two seconds ago, and then I saved it. <laughs> yeah, Kayla, I don't think you were missing anything. I think it's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. Someone donated to Stephen Pawn a second ago, and that's this guy. Uh, Lindsay, thank you for the $50, too. Um, thank you so much, Andy, and, and Lilypad, and Ren, and Lena. Thank you for the donations as well. I really, really appreciate that. Now someone just said they donated it. didn't ask them for, a for an address for the card. Let me just triple check that it's set up. It is. It should be. Requires shipping. Do you have your address built into your Tiltify already? If you have it attached to your account, it might have just taken it from there. Triple check. <laughs> Brain Dead, thanks for the $50. Jazzy with the $25. Uh, and Smorley, thank you for the $10. Able Gamers, too. You guys, we just passed $2,000 already. 
And no, the tree wasn't there yesterday. I put it there today because um, it's today I'm considering this my holiday party. It's the first day of my holiday fundraiser. So I put the tree up now. <laughs> um, Spartan with the $50 and Claire with the $50 too. Thank you all so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's the deal chat. Let me wait. Oh, I can't get them. I can't get them. I got my things. I got my things. Okay, we'll get those ready for a second from now. August, thank you for the $50. And Kimmy with the $20. Simdu, thank you so much. You guys, this is so cool. Thank you for helping me do this. This is gonna help so many people. It's It really is amazing. I, I, I know I say this all the time when I do these charity fundraisers, but it never like ceases to amaze me how uh, generous and how thoughtful and how like supportive you are of these sort of missions like it, it means a lot to me that that you would hear about this thing that I'm telling you is important to me and then you would be like you know what I care about that too and then and then want to help so just thank you thank you also there's a cat hi tiny oh I didn't get her she went away too fast <laughs> Evo says tenant revolt uh oh was there a tenant revolt happening Oh, tenant rule violation. I am gonna revolt today though. That was my next plan. This is my tenant, Janie. I'm gonna have her revolt. <laughs> so we are gonna do that. That is the goal. <laughs> Boop the snoot, Diana, Carmelie, Christina. Uh, thank you for the donations. Okay, so here's the deal, everybody. We have two advent calendars this year. The first one is Lego. It's like Lego Christmas. Yesterday, uh, unfortunately, I have bad news. Yesterday, I got this little guy. It's like a little skiing snowman Lego. Come on. Except the problem is, right? One of his skis is missing. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I picked him up when I sat down at my desk this morning. I picked him up and then his ski fell off and now it's completely gone. Like it's in here and it fell off in my hands. And I, I swear to you, I have no idea where it went. I don't think the cats got to it because I would hear them playing with it, but and maybe it's like under my chair or something. I've, I've checked, I don't know where it went. So one of his skis is missing. We're off to a bad start. The cats didn't get it though. I, they've been on the desk and not under it. And then the other advent calendar that we have is this mini brands one. We had one of these last year too. It's full of mini brands. So yesterday we got this tiny Mentos thing. Mentos fruits. Come on, show me them, show them. Mentos fruit. And last year, I went and got all my mini brands from last year, just to give you some examples of the other things that we can get. This was mustard. Um, my favorite thing from last year were these little weenies. So we can get a, a wide selection of mini brands. <laughs> um, and we get to open our next advent calendar thing today. What do you want to start with, mini brands? I think so. Okay, day number two up here. Oh my God, it's dry shampoo. <laughs> Have you guys seen this brand of dry shampoo before? It's a mini dry shampoo. That's really funny. It's the blush scent. I've actually, ha I've had this one before. That's really funny. That's the brand you use, really? Come on, there we go. Dry shampoo. <laughs> That kind of takes me back to high school. I actually didn't like the scent of this one though. So that's bad. <laughs> it's not a real item, it's just a toy. Um, but that is funny. <laughs> you have the exact one right now. That's so funny. That's probably one of the most popular mini brands that we've gotten. I, although some of the foods are quite popular. It's like, everybody's like, oh, I have that brand of mustard literally in my fridge, you know? But that's fun. <laughs> okay, okay. Day number two of the Lego calendar. Hello, oh, here we go. Ready? Don't mess up. I think it's like, I think it's like a little sign for reindeer crossing. It looks kind of like a candy cane at least. So that's good. How do I get back to it? Show me the... Guys, I'm lost. Oh, here we go. Did we just pass? We just passed $3,000 raised already. <laughs> Thank you so much. 
I'm over here frowning about a Lego sign. Sorry, I messed up. I want to build it quick, but hold on. Nobody came here for this. Everybody's like, literally, shut up, Kayla. Everyone wants you to play The Sims, but I'll be here all day. You can deal with my advent calendar for a couple minutes. <laughs> you can deal with the advent calendar for a couple minutes. Okay, so first, it's like these little guys, and you put them there, and then I stack like this red piece, and then this white piece, and then this red piece, no, and then and then this brown piece actually is where it goes next. And then the red piece again. And then, guys, that's all we get. Here's today's Lego advent calendar. It's kind of cute. I think it'll be fun once it's all done. Because we have like a little reindeer crossing sign now. So that's not bad. It's, it's pretty good. So now here's our two Legos so far. Uh, plus the snowman's missing ski. <laughs> well, you can't even see them. Oh. Well, I'll just take my word for it, okay? <laughs> All right, there's the advent calendars. Thanks, everybody. It's gonna be so cute when it's done because it's kind of like, they have it set up kind of like a play mat or whatever. So I'll put all the stuff there. It'll be good. It'll be good. Snowman missing a ski is just lore now, yeah. Maybe it hurt himself or something, so he, he fell and, um, and he lost it. Oh dear, I forgot to put, <laughs> oh no, big problem everybody, big problem. I don't think, I don't think that, um, in the, <laughs> I don't think in the milestone or then the reward for the Discord user, I don't think I told people they had to put their username. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're off to a bad start. Um, that's fine. I'll, we will, it will get it handled. <laughs> we'll get it handled. It's going to be fine. I will, um, I'll, I'll get a form in the discord server later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very overwhelmed right now. I also haven't read any donations in ages. Real quick, uh, Anonymous with $50, someone else with $10. We got Astrin, uh, we got Non and Vanessa, Clary. Um, we got Alisa and Nicole and Kayla does it and Phoebe and Selkie the Tuxedo Cat and Sunrise and Freeville and Prey and Emily and Evie and Al and Art and Nomi and Shay. Making Amazon pay for my sub later so this can go to charity. <laughs> Sky, thanks everybody for the donations. Okay, and now we can play. Now we can play. That is the plan. Um, okay. Okay. Um, if there's any other problems with the with the rewards, that's fine. I'll just make a Google form and share it with you all later. I can't do it right now, obviously, but if there's any other problems, well, it's not that big of a deal. We've made uh, much use of Google forms last time, so <laughs> it'll be totally fine. It'll be totally fine. It's no big issue. Um, okay. Okay. Let's sim then, shall we? Um, Oh. <laughs> you gonna put the fire out? Yes, no, maybe? Oh my god, I have to get the fireman to come? You could have died, because you didn't help it. What is wrong with you? I got 830 as insurance except that wasn't even my grill that's like the community grill <laughs> and i just had to pay for it that was messed up that was messed up did you see that he's the landlord and he burnt it down why do i have to fix it whatever whatever it's fine <laughs> samantha thanks for the donation um and, and and karen thank you for the 25 dollars to able gamers too thank you so much do you guys want to see what Snap is doing right now? I don't know where the kittens went, but you can see what Snap is doing right now. You know, I told you she was sitting behind my PC. Look, there's her head poking out. You can see it. <laughs> she is in here. You just can't see her. If I put the cat cam on her, I think that would be like really ridiculous. Wait, hold on. 
I might wake her up by doing this. There's cables in the way. What do you see? <laughs> That's the wall. <laughs> Hold on. That is a really ugly cat cam. Like really ugly cat cam. That's up there with one of the ugliest cat cams I've ever had. <laughs> a cat cam is a cat cam, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Liz, thanks for the $50 donation to Able Gamers. Um, Oh, the Traversers D&D group! In honor of our long-running D&D group, who are all gamers too, everyone deserves to be able to game. Thank you for the $10 staple gamers, that's pretty cool. Um, Esmeralda and Ghost and Envy Wolf and Kazen and Lex and Tiza. Oh my god, thank you all so much for your donations. This is so cool. What is she even doing there? Oh, well, she's sitting behind the computer, I think because it's warm back there. You can see there's like a little gap between the PC and the wall. And I, I think that it's like comfy back there because it's probably hot, so. Hold on. There. That's better. You can see more cat now. I can maybe like... Well, I don't think I can zoom better. That's so funny. <laughs> no, it's not cold. Um, it's not cold here. But she's glowing. <laughs> oh, Alvin, thank you so much for the donation too. Thanks everybody. This is pretty cool of you. What? You're grilling now? This is the fiance of the guy who just died. Oh, <gasps> sewage leak! Oh, you can't even see it. Okay, take my word for it. There's a sewage leak. I can repair or replace the toilet, or I can flush it out. Should I call the landlord and try and get them to fix it? Landlord. We have a big problem. Um. Okay. Um. Phil, you're right here. Okay. Oh, good news. Well, not good news, but sort of good news. The person who had the customs problem, it was something else that got sent to them that had a customs problem. It was not me. I don't think that the stickers will ever cause a customs problem because it's just a letter. So it'll be fine. No one's going to get charged extra money for these. Um, so that's what I thought. I was like, there's no way that an envelope cost you $30 at customs. Yeah. So it's okay. <laughs> it was something else. It was something else. Uh, envelopes are fine. Stickers are fine. All is well. All is well. Where is Snap laying? She's, she's uh, next to my PC. <laughs> Which makes more sense when I say it. You're probably like, oh, that's what that is. I don't think the landlord's gonna help me. Wait, I have to fix it! Oh, never mind! Don't let them fix it. I forgot I have it part of my aspiration. I'll do it. I'll repair or replace the toilet. Yeah, you know what we should do? We should put a table... Oh, I can't go into build mode during an event, it says. I'll put a- I'll put a table there, um, so they stop putting the grill stuff on the floor. That's a good idea. Did I just get money? <gasps> the property owner sent you 103 simoleons for helping to address the issue. Oh. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, when there's maintenance issues, they're, they'll become an event. There's like um, kind of a, a, a wide range of different types of maintenance issues, and they usually start an event like that. Um, the, the big ones, at least. Okay, I'll just put all these things away. I'll just steal it for now. Um, but Kira, Cammy, Sarah, Creature, Ghost Onions, thank you all for those donations to Able Gamers, too. Thank you so much. All right, what are you upset about? Phone anxiety from fear of eviction. Ugh. Who is calling? What if the property owner is calling to finally kick Janie out of her home? I do owe them money. Am I gonna let her get evicted? Did we decide that we wanna let her get evicted? And like that was the vibes on purpose? Okay. We also wanted to start a tenant revolt. Maybe I'll do that now. I think I need to talk to my neighbor. Is he over here? I'll get him. I've never I've never had a sim get evicted with the pack yet, so <laughs> I'm kind of curious to find out too, but it does feel bad. <laughs> Aaron, thank you for the $50. Thank you so much um, for, for the huge donation. I love you, friend. Uh, and Adrian with the $75. 
Uh, we got uh, Avalado with a $15, Kira with a $25. Thanks, everybody. This is so cool. Thank you so much. All right, you go on holiday two days after the pack comes out. No, that's horrible timing. You're gonna wanna play so bad. One of my friends had that happen with Horse Ranch. Um, the Horse Ranch pack, well, this isn't even my neighbor. Hold on. No, the Horse Ranch pack came out um, and she was like flying to visit a friend on the day the pack came out. So I, I totally get it. it. Like all weekend, you're gonna be like, I wanna play. <laughs> I wanna play. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, tenant rule violation. Ooh, silence and solitude um, is in order of the is the order of the day, and the that's not doesn't say solitude. <laughs> Solicitude, uh, and we have violated all the peace and quietude with our no noisy nuisances. Another fine. Oh dear. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll get over it. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> And if we get evicted, then so be it. Oh my God, can you come home, please? I want to start a tenant revolt, but he's not even here. My goodness. Butlers, thanks for the $50. Sammy with the $50. Uh, we got Trish with the $50. And Struble, thank you so much, everybody, for all the donations. This is so cool of you. Where is Snap Lang? She's, she's next to my PC. It looks really weird, but she's in between the PC and the wall at the moment. I think it's cozy over there, so. <laughs> uh, I know I know it looks strange, but that is what she is doing. <laughs> okay, um, 7.34. Do you guys wanna go, if we, if we can't start a tenant revolt tonight because my neighbor's not home, do you wanna go try and find someone to date? Perhaps? Why not? Let's go to the lounge, because there's only one place to go. <laughs> and we'll go there and we'll see if there's anybody we want to talk to. Because we haven't done that yet. It might be fun if we tried to have a child, too. Um, Faith with the dollar says, what dollar train? Thank you for the donation. We are actually really close to $4,000. How did that happen? I've been live for half an hour. This is wild. I did think the bartender was really pretty. This guy looks rich, though. <laughs> What's our priority? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Pretty or rich? What's what's the goal? <laughs> Someone says rich is more important than pretty, so I don't know. Oh, hi, Sunny. Are you here too? All the cats. You want me to do a Black Widow thing, really? Can we see what his traits are like first? Let's go see. <laughs> um, oh, really, Amaya, thank you so much. I'm really glad to hear that, um, that that you learned about it from us. That's pretty cool. Um, and Toro, with the donation, thank you so much, everybody. Okay, he is clumsy, a bro, and good. My Sam's clumsy, he likes music. Honestly, his pre-made outfits, they're not bad. They're not bad. But the thing is, he's not actually rich. I'm just saying he looks rich because he's got a suit on. But anybody could wear a suit. That's $4,000 raised for Able Gamers, by the way. <laughs> no, I think for $50. Uh, Save class for the $50. And Robin, thank you for the $5 too. The pack comes out on your, on your sister's birthday. Oh my gosh. That's a big day for her, to be honest. That's exciting. He looks like Dr. Phil. Oh my god. We can't, we can't date him. You saying he looks like Dr. Phil immediately now. Immediately now. We're out. I'm out. Never mind. <laughs> we can't date him. We can't date him. <laughs> Darby, thank you for the $100. Uh, and Grunkles, thank you for the $5 too. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I can see all the comments from people who donated Clary. I read them. I read them as they're coming in. I don't always read them out loud because it it's sometimes hard to say like a, the long paragraphs. Um, 
I read some of the full paragraphs out loud. Uh, I just, sometimes I just read the names. Also, sometimes I'm not sure if it's like stuff that I should be sharing. Um, I think they post it because they're okay with it being shared, but like oftentimes it's like comments about their family and stuff. So I don't know if I should like read it out loud or not, or if it should be like for my eyes, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm never sure if I should like read the thing about your brother, you know, like I, I'm not certain um, if it's okay or not, but I, I do read them I, with my eyes. <laughs> so I've read them all, but. Um, like Grumbles, for example, says, as a disabled gamer, they know the difference uh, themselves. For the, they know the difference themselves that adaptive tech can make for them, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and Mile, thank you for the fifty dollars. And Captain and Abby, thank you for those donations. See, I tried to read it out loud and then I totally stumbled. So, <laughs> okay, so uh, Prana here is glutton, a bookworm, and cheerful. Those are pretty decent traits. Are you, would you be interested in dating me? Oh, I can't check. We'll have to talk to her, we'll find out. Where is Snap? She's uh, in between my PC and my wall. Is this a little bit more obvious now that it's the computer? But she's sleeping there, like in the, in the little corner. <laughs> she is pretty. Should we see if she wants to date? I'm gonna ask if she's single. I know she's single. <gasps> uh oh, no, no, Tiny, please don't mess with her. Okay, Sunny. Sunny, come here, sweetie. You can't go back there because Snappy's back there, okay? Only one cat at a time because she doesn't like you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Um, ask about romantic interests, quick. I rolled over my phone charger with my, with my chair. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Aoife has started a $500 donation match. That means if you if you donate right now, that means that your donation will get matched. So it'll basically be worth double if you donate right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Moon Sector and Sarah. Uh, we got Anonymous and Mac and Mud Paws. Uh, who says everyone deserves to experience the joy of gaming. And Hannah, thank you all so much. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, okay, how is Sunny doing today? Oh, she's she's doing pretty well. Um, here, I'll get it so she doesn't mess with Snap. Here we go. This one's the tiny one. Little tiny who's also bald. I don't know if you can tell, but it's because she had her uh, space surgery a few days ago. Um, so she's got her tummy shaved. <laughs> She's got her tummy shaved now. Elizabeth and Hannah, thank you for those donations too. You're so bald, it's so cute, Sunny. Did you know? Everybody likes it. The people love that you are bald. <laughs> but yeah, she's doing really well. She's um she finished all of her meds too, so she's uh she's all good now. She's all good. Um still in her chaos era, a little bit. <laughs> but she's a kitten, so. There's only so much you can do. <laughs> Kiki and Nod, thank you for the subs too. All right, let me keep, wait, did she say if she was interested in me? I am attracted to both men and women. Oh, okay, let's compliment her appearance, shall we? Um, Leo and Ray and Crimson, thank you for the subs. Uh-oh, something's in my eye. Oh my, guys, there's more cats than we have cams for. There's more cats than we've got space for cameras. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this is a new problem. <laughs> we haven't had this problem yet. <laughs> but no, it was with the hundred dollars and the five dollars. We got Temple with the fifty dollars. Um, Ricardo, thank you for the ten dollars. Little with the ten dollars. Thank you all so much. Also, hi Tiltify. Um, hope you're doing well today. Um, I saw you pop in. <laughs> Talk about politicians. Story. Oh, uh oh. Talk about family heritage. And Aoife's donation match just came through. Uh, everybody, we are past five thousand dollars raised for able gamers now. Um, Anna and Dr. Bobby and Maya and Kate, thank you so much. <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, Softy and and uh, Rue, thank you, everyone. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Joy too, thank you so much. Yeah, the kittens heard there was a charity event going on. They said, I can help out with that. This is the, the baby's first charity stream. It's her first time. 
Okay, what are you gonna do now, Sunny? <laughs> so soon. Baby's first charity event. <laughs> Liz, that's a great question. Um, Able Gamers is a charity that helps to work to make video games more accessible. Um, so they do that through things like, sorry, I'm gonna try and flirt with this lady while I talk. Um, <laughs> they do that uh, through things like helping get disabled folks access to like specialized tech or like other assistive technology um, to help them be able to play games. So think like sort of specialized controllers um, that are uh, fit to help them play despite their disability. So things like foot pedals, um, even like modified standard controllers like this kind that might have buttons on the back instead of only on the front so they can play with just one hand. Um, my friend Steve plays games using a thing that tracks his eye movements. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, and so they, they help get people access to these tools so that we can open up the world of video games to them um, when they might not otherwise be able to. So uh, it's pretty special. It's pretty special what they do. And your donations help go to like getting people access to that stuff. Um, they sort of like, they have kind of like a, uh, almost like a consultation program. So you, you meet with them and then discuss like, what are your needs? What, what, a, What's, what are we working with, you know? Um, and then they help get them access and like match them with stuff that they might might need. And they also sometimes consult with game companies, which is pretty cool also about uh, adding in like accessibility options into games themselves. Because aside from just having like the physical controller, um, a lot of times games don't have that many accessibility options. Um, so for example, The Sims doesn't have that many. Um, but we have like a UI scaling in The Sims. Um, so if you maybe uh, need it to be bigger so you can read it better, we can do that now in The Sims 4. That was a setting added a couple years ago. Um, so stuff like that, they can help consult with uh, game companies on how they can add in options. Sometimes that might be like difficulty settings. Um, some people uh, need to use like uh, adaptive tech on their computers. So they need the game to be able to work with the stuff that they're using. Um, lots of different uh, stuff that goes on, so. No, that wasn't the base game that released. That only came out a few years ago, um, the UI scaling. So, um, that is a fairly recent change. Okay, she likes me, but it is after midnight, so I'm gonna go home and <laughs> we'll keep talking to her tomorrow. <laughs> We've got it started. We, we almost have a girlfriend. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for the $50, Kate too, with $50 and Lilypad. Jules, um, Paolo, Excalibur, Flaff, and Jitterbug, and Jazzy, and Athena, thank you all so much. Tenant rule violation? Oh god, I'm trying to get evicted, so it's okay, but I still feel bad. <laughs> Garrick the black kitten and his tabby sister Kira, oh my god! I have a black kitten with a tabby sister! Well, I don't know if Snap identifies as their sister. I don't know, I, Snap doesn't, she's not sure about them. <laughs> I have a black cat and a tabby cat. I got two black cats. <laughs> you somehow doubt that she does? Yeah, I don't I don't think that Snap wants to be um, their sibling. Uh oh, I just messed with the, the focus of this. I was trying to zoom out and then I messed with the focus. I think we're okay. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I gotta stop moving my camera around. I gotta leave it alone. <laughs> um, Anaya Rose, oh my gosh, you've been watching me for a long time. Thank you so much. Uh, and Rabid Fairy with the 6969. <laughs> uh, Lindy and Anonymous and Jane, thank you for the donations too. Okay. You can use the bathroom and then. Oh, Sunny is off the tree now. Purple Cat, thank you for the donation. Is that a new kitchen? Yeah, this is the new kitchen set from the new pack. It looks pretty good, right? It looks pretty good. Please replace your bookcase. Oh, did my bookcase burn? Oh, I didn't even notice. I guess that makes sense. It's right next to the grill. I, I hadn't realized that it burnt. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't notice. Good call. <laughs> Good call. I didn't even realize that it had burnt. Um, speaking of, I'm gonna go do some more grilling. I'm gonna do some more grilling. I built this, Madeline. We built this yesterday on stream. I haven't furnished the upstairs yet. We're gonna um, put some more units up there probably later today when we play with the landlords again. Um, but we're... I built this myself, so. If the neighbor dies, can we go in and get their urn? I, I'll tell you this much. I have some experience with the neighbor dying, <laughs> which sounds really bad, but I didn't do anything wrong, okay? I simply had a telescope and they used it and died. I wasn't even playing as them, but but when they died, it uh, their urn was in the shared space, so it was easy to get. Happens if your landlord dies? I don't know, I haven't had that happen to me yet. 
I was the landlord and my tenant died was my experience. So yeah, <laughs> I'm posting a, a video today. That's kind of like a let's play with, um, with the pack and uh, yeah, you'll see it there. Yeah, Cherry, I'm- so I'm playing as a tenant right now. This sim is not the landlord. You don't have to be the landlord. You can play as a tenant if you want. You don't have to be a landlord. You can do whatever you would like. So. You convinced the meteor isn't face game because you never see it? It is! It's just rare. It's just rare is the thing. Um, it is base game, I swear. But it's not that common, so. Um. Does stuff get deleted when the tenant dies? I don't think so because you own it if you're playing as the landlord. Whoa. So it shouldn't delete. Um, Snap, if I put it full cam, you'll see the better. She's sitting like in between my PC and the wall is where she's laying right now. It's not the best angle of cat cam, <laughs> but um, that's the situation. Okay. Guys, would it be like so totally bad of me if I, um, actually I'm gonna switch to the other household quick. I wanna have the landlords pay for it. Actually, do you wanna, should we up upgrade the building and get like some more units above us? Cause I'm kind of into the idea of that. Um, Anonymous, Liz, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, you're coming home from working a Christmas event at the disability charity you work at. Liz, that's so cool. Um, thank you for the for the donation. Um, and Brooke, thank you for the $50. Oh, thank you so much, Brooke. That is so generous of you. You we are past $6,000. Thanks to all of you. That's so cool. Um, yes, but make the landlord unit two stories. Oh, okay. I like the idea of that. I'm not even home right now. He's on the wrong lot. <laughs> Let's go back home. And then we'll build up a little bit. Come on. Look at him go. Running home. They're both dazed because there's mold in their house, by the way. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Paladrome, thanks for the $50 sable gamers as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can use the apartments anywhere, Cam. You don't have to do it in just the new world. Um, I only have the new pack and the base game right now, so I don't have the option to play another. Well, I could do it in like Willow Creek, I guess. Um, but you can do it anywhere. You don't have to do it here. You can have these slots anywhere. All right, so I'm thinking that I would very much like to upgrade their house a little bit. Um, I think step one. Oh, the problem is our lot is like so small. <laughs> our lot is so small that I don't really know how to best do this. Um, I guess, here's an idea. What if we had like, um, what if we had like this come around the back and then we'll get the staircase in the back so that they can get upstairs from over here. Hmm. Yikes. <laughs> I think that makes sense. It doesn't look that good, but it may just it may just have to to do. So, oh, that honestly that isn't even that bad, I would argue. Um, should there be a staircase on both sides? Maybe I could put this like kind of in the middle, like right there. So you have to walk around the way back like that. I think I like the staircase on both sides. I think it looks better than, oh. That doesn't look very good though. <laughs> That's okay, I can put this like, <laughs> um, listen, this is what I get for trying to build on such a tiny lot. 
I, I'm trying to make a six unit lot on a 20 by 20 lot or something ridiculous like that. Can I even get to this? There we go. I don't know why I'm surprised that it's like difficult to fit everything when I have such a small space. Okay. Um. Yeah, that doesn't look very good. Maybe I will give like a little pad of concrete or something. Oh, Gabby, thank you for the $50 and Jewel and Boney. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, is that a new flooring? Yeah, it is, it is. This flooring uh, came in the pack. It's a new one from the pack. Um, okay, so I was picturing, and this is like a little bit not ideal. <laughs> Um, but I was picturing that we would do, I guess, something like this. And we'll split the units up this way. Oh, that's very bad that you would dare to clip like that. Maybe double wide stairs. And the thing is, if we did it double wide, because this is the edge of the lot, I can't put like the, you can't put it on the edge. Um... So that's kind of kind of difficult. I think this looks better than than nothing though, so it's okay. Maybe I'll stick the um, the little trash cans back here as well, so they're kind of more out of the way, because then we can have more shared space in the common area. The railing on the wall, I know. Not it's it's just that railing. The other ones from the pack don't do that, but that one does. This is the other one. But I've been using this fence and the other ones don't have the same wood colors. So I know, it's very bad. <laughs> I agree, <laughs> but I don't know what to do about it. What is Snap snuggling with? Oh, it's my it's my PC, believe it or not. Um, she's, she's like in between the wall and my computer. You can see the cord <laughs> from, from my hard drive, but um, that's what she's doing. So. Okay. Um, we might need to give ourselves a little bit of extra money, too. <laughs> Just a bit extra. How about that? Yeah, she's on my desk. She's on my desk right now. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but there is a kitten right there, too. That one's Sunny. She's also asleep. I don't think Shrimp is in here right now. Um, but, okay, so let's see what we can do about the layouts in here. So I'm picturing that we'll have maybe like back this way can be a bedroom and we could do maybe like a big bathroom in between and then this becomes the living space, perhaps? It's kind of small, but that's okay, because we get two bedrooms. Who's this unit for, landlord? Oh, well, it was, this is the landlord's unit down below. Up here, I'm thinking about making like a fourth unit. People said to give the landlord the upstairs, but I actually kind of want to have more tenants, so I've changed my mind. I know that's not helpful. <laughs> but I screamed thanks for the fifty dollars to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. You were amazing, uh, Percy and Nico as well with the fifty dollars. Thank you so much. They said it means a lot to us that you work with Able Gamers. We're both disabled and love to have someone like you creating a great and accepting community. Thank you so much for your huge donation. Um, and and Gabby and Jewel, thanks everybody again. Um, move the new girl you've been talking to upstairs. Oh my gosh, I was thinking about having. Um, I was thinking about in the upstairs maybe trying to do like. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to have some space to have, like, families living up here. Was kind of my initial thought process. Um, I liked the idea. This one's kind of split up weird, to be honest, but I don't know. Wonder if you can date your landlord. Um, you can. You can date your landlord. Um, I don't know if I will because my Sims landlord is her brother. <laughs> um, 
but but you could you you really could if you so desired <laughs> okay um let me steal some of these yeah i like the idea of having some bigger units so we can get more tenants over here danielle your employer is going to match your donation that's amazing news i'm so glad to hear that um, yeah, that's good to check into, by the way. Um, not just here for, like, our charity stream, but anytime you've ever donated to a charity, a lot of people's companies, um, like, uh, if you work oftentimes for, like, a big company, but also some smaller ones, do match donations. And sometimes if you work for, like, big companies, um, they'll, like, double donations and stuff, too, depending on where you work. So check into your company's policy for, for your workplace and see if they match donations. Because um, that's definitely a, a, a good idea if you haven't done it before. Um, cause a lot of places, a lot of workplaces do that. So, um, Kelly, thank you so much for the $25. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The maximum with cheats. Oh, Sage. So the max unit limit, if you're playing with cheats is, uh, actually 99, <laughs> which, oh, don't create a unit. Sorry. Um, sounds kind of weird. Um, but that's like the max that you can have in a save file for some reason. Um, so you can have up to 99 units in an individual save. Um, and so, uh, you can have, using the cheat, 99, I guess, on this lot. But I don't recommend you doing that. I did that, and it's really bad. I can show you, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna post a video on this, um, in a few days, but I can show you what I'm talking about. When you try and go in build mode, it does not work. It does not work. <laughs> when you try and have that many. <laughs> um... She stopped for you? Oh, like my stream froze? Uh-oh. Might be a Twitch issue. Um, might be a Twitch problem. Maybe like a mobile glitch? Uh-oh. Try and close the app and reopen it. I guess they can't hear me saying that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. I built like a bajillion units. And it's this is this is a good example of why the loading screens, you might not like the idea of it, but it actually is a good thing. Cause when you try and like, when you play there, it's fine. Cause it's just loading one unit at a time. But when you build there, bad news, bad news. The game might even crash. You can hear me, just no video. Oh yeah, that's definitely a Twitch problem. See if you can refresh or like close the app or something. Um, no, it's not a special door. You you can just set the them by room uh, is how you pick the units for rent. So you can determine like what rooms belong to which unit and then... Um, oh, it froze on PC too? Oh, weird. I don't think that's me. I think it's Twitch. Um, but here's all the units. Um, <laughs> doesn't want to work, but <laughs> that's all the units. Looks kind of scary. Um, I, I copy and pasted them everywhere. Uh, and then if you try and put wallpaper, this is where the problems arise. Look at this, it won't place. This is why I didn't paint the exterior, because it wouldn't let me, it stopped working. So. Anyway, don't put 99 units on one lot. <laughs> Not really a good idea to put 99 units on one lot. <laughs> um, it, it really has a hard time. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try and get out of here now. <laughs> uh, I think that the, the um, max is set just as like a performance thing for people. So, it's like the 3,000 chickens all over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just because you can doesn't mean you should, you know? <laughs> uh, can rental properties also be sectioned off like units? I'm not sure I understand the question, Lexi, but I can show you how the how it works and maybe that'll help you. Um, so when I'm building here, I'm playing as the landlord right now. Um, you can set what belongs to what unit uh, by room. So I've chosen to make all four of these rooms. Oh, and this room actually needs to be it too. I've chosen to make all four of these rooms belong to number four. And then I've had all of these rooms belong to number five. And if you look close, you can kind of see the outlines um, that helps determine which units are which. I can't see the inside of these because I don't live there right now. I have those rented out to tenants, 
my sim lives here and I'm about to rent out these. I just haven't built them yet. And yeah, you can name them. You can change the names of them to whatever you want. Um, by default, it puts a number and then the name of the lot, but you could name it like sister's house because my sister lives there or, you know, whatever. Um, you can kind of pick, pick whatever you want. So, um, anonymous, thanks for the five dollars to say too. Thank you so much, Shrimpy. Uh oh. Do you see this? There's two kittens right there. Should we do a cat cam switch because there's double cow in that cat cam? It might be short lived. He's about to move. He's going to the chair. Oh my god, you guys! I think there's gonna be three cats in this room. <laughs> I don't have three cams. <laughs> I don't have extra. Oh, snap moved. Okay, shrimp, I know you can't really tell. Shrimp is laying right there behind the tree on the shelf. So this is new. I've never had all three in the room at once before on stream. So this is kind of exciting. <laughs> Usually only one is in here at a time when I'm live. <laughs> this is a first that we've had all three while I'm streaming. Um, Okay, I might use like a different wood tone in this unit, I think. Oh, and if the lines bother you, you can hide them, which is kind of nice. So, um, it's good Snap doesn't seem to mind. Well, she did, she did hiss at them earlier. <laughs> and then when I first went live, but, 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 in Snap's defense, she hissed at them because, because they, they tried to, um, like, they, she's kind of like, I don't know if you can tell, but she's kind of in between the PC and the wall, up against the wall right there on my desk. Um, and, and they went up and, like, Shrimp tried to sniff her, and then she felt a bit cornered, so she got upset. And that, I'm, I would be upset too. I would be upset too. So I'm not, I'm not here to judge, judge her for that feeling. Um, but... <laughs> Anyway, um, they get along as long as they don't- she doesn't get, uh, touched by them. Or feel cornered or unsafe or whatever, so. Um, and that's valid! If I got cornered by a sewer rat, I'd be upset too! These things are from the sewer, you don't know where they've been! <laughs> it's understandable! <laughs> I get it, I get it! Um, yeah, we did get a new kitchen set, I- I was just using it in there. Um, that is the new kitchen set that we got. Oh, don't do that. I'll use the the new uh, kitchen set, but I won't with that wood color. But I won't use different floors. Oh my god, shrimp is standing on the shelf behind me. I'm kind of nervous about it. Um. Okay, we can do something like that for the kitchen probably. And then the living room is gonna have to be quite small, but that's okay. That is okay. Can you choose who you want to run the, the units out to? Like pick them, put your sister in one, your mom in one. Yeah, you can. So when you do the tenant stuff from this menu, you can't really pick it as easily. Um, but when you do the tenant stuff from manage worlds, um, you're able to do it very, very easily. Are you not counting these as units? From Manage Worlds, you can put anyone in there. Um, from uh, from that menu, you pick someone off of the list. But from Manage Worlds, you can move them in just like you would to any other regular lot. So you can like manually move them in. So um, can renters have pets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Renters can have pets in this game. Um, you can have whatever whatever pets you desire. I don't have the pets pack, so I can't show you. <laughs> You have to take my word for it, uh, based on what they've said, we're kind of, uh, guessing, but it- it- it works like any other house. Um, it- it's- it's just like the apartments from the older packs, um, it- it works just like any regular house, um, there's not, like, some weird restrictions where you can't have pets in a rental unit, unless- I think there's gonna be a- a unit rule where you can tell the- the tenants that they aren't allowed to have a pet, but otherwise, you can have whatever you want, just like just like you would play in a normal Sims house. It it works the same as any regular build does. So um, I'm not sure about any other cross pack compatibility stuff though, because um, like I was saying, I I only have the base game and this pack, so I'm not able to test anything else like that. 
Oh my god, that is so annoying. <laughs> that is gonna make me want to cry. Um, but I'm not able to test the cross pack stuff because um, I only have the base game in this pack in this version of the game. I have like a weird version of the game right now, so we can't try those things yet. Um, why did I think Snap was lying on a tablet? It looks really weird, I know. Oh my god, you guys. No, 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 no. We might have to switch the cat cam. They're both right there. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I love you, Snap, but there's- we have- we have to, like, we'll trade places. She'll probably be here for a while. We'll, um, we'll do- we'll do the double cuddle cat, cat, cat cam time while there- while there's two kittens right here, shall we? I don't know what this looks like. Let me try it. Okay, you can't see him. Hold on. Um. Double cat? There we go! Double cat! <laughs> you can kind of see how much bigger he is than her. Um, just based on this image. But... Double cat. <laughs> There's the voice. I can't believe all three of them are in here right now! This is so fun! <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so, so, oh, I spoke too soon. The one that just moved down, that shrimp, and the little one is Sunny. Um, and then Snap is the one that you've been looking at. Um, Snap is, is the older one. Um, I'll show you a picture of her for good measure. Um, here's what Snap is doing right now. She's like by the PC, so. Okay, this is a new situation. I don't know how to- I don't know where to put the camera for this. I don't have, like, an appropriate setup for all this. That's actually really cute, though. Sorry, shrimp. That's really cute. It's like bunk beds. <laughs> I can't believe everybody's in here! I'm so excited! I've never been this happy in my life! No, I've ne this is the first time I've had all three in here when I'm live. Um, they've been in here before all three when I'm not live, but this is the first time that I've been live and we've had all three. Let me try something like this quick. I don't know what this is gonna look like. So let me try it. Oh, that's only one of them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, is it better from the top angle? How about over here? What do you... No, you can't really see. Do we really need a face cam? No, probably not, Christine, I guess. Hmm. Here, wait, maybe I can put this on top. I have it on like a little tripod. So maybe I can put it on top of my advent count? No. Okay, I got something else. This is the box the Sims merch came in. Maybe I can put it on top of the box the Sims merch came in. So it can be up a little bit higher, but not up too high. Yeah? Okay. Look at that. It's cute, right? <laughs> Hold on. Too bad. Oh, sorry. You guys are getting like an office tour, aren't you? <laughs> that is not very good, is it? Um, can I zoom that out at all? Wait, 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 wait. Cat cam. Hold on. I'm sorry you have to look at this. I think I can. I just gotta scale it differently. Aha! Okay. Okay. There we go. That's the way. <laughs> now we can see them all. Alright, well if they decide to keep sitting here for an extended period of time, maybe I'll be able to um, get a better setup. They they haven't done this before. This is new that I've had three cats in here at once, so I'm not used to having to try and film three at a time. You can see them better from my face cam. Yeah, you can. Um, but this is good. This is fine. Now just stay there, okay, kitties? <laughs> the bottom one is shrimp, and the top one is sunny. Is who we're looking at right now. So... There you go. No more face cam and just cats? I- I could do that. I could always do that. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> um, hey- oh my god, Joy! Thank you for the $200 donation to Able Gamers. 
Um, you said I'm a disabled gamer and, I, and through able gamers I'm able to play games with my husband. So grateful for this charity. Hope this donation helps others who can't afford to purchase them. Thank you, Joy. Thank you so much for that massive donation. That's amazing. Um, and I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, Char, uh, Char and, and Katya and Jillian and Anonymous and Callie, thank you all for your huge donations to Able Gamers too. That, this is so generous of you all. Thank you so much for helping us do this. Um, no, Snap is on my desk right now. She's, she's staring at me. I can show you the picture again. Snap is on my desk right now, uh, kind of sitting next to my PC. She's in a sort of unfortunate location for filming. <laughs> As you can see, because she's on my desk. Um, I had her on the cat cam earlier. Oh, she just stood up. Um, but hi, Snappy. Are you going to come here? Oh my, she's on the move. If you mess with the kittens, people are going to be mad at you. Look. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> are you going to head out, Snap? Thanks for being with us. Snappy has been in here for a few hours. She was here before I went live. We had all three in one image. <laughs> all three at once, very briefly. Yeah, she's been in here for a while though, so she might want to go downstairs. <laughs> that, you guys, this has absolutely made my day. I'm so glad they were all in here for a little bit for you all to see. Cause the thing is like, they keep doing cute things when I'm not live and like, that's fine and all, but we need to exploit them for the internet. <laughs> so it makes me very happy that you all got to be a part of this moment. <laughs> this was very fun for me. <laughs> Mystic, thanks for the $25 to say, Jude. Curly Fry is a special education teacher. Thank you for what you're doing. Curly Fries, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you so much. That is, that is amazing. Thank you for the donation. Um, uh, how about that color? I like the yellow accent. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here, they can have some little chairs. I don't know if I like that color. Maybe I'll use the darker one. I really like this table and chair set. The table and chair set has gotta be like one of my favorites they've ever added to The Sims 4. I really, really, really like it. Um, I, I can see myself using that so often from now on. I think it's really pretty. Like, just look how good that looks, right? Like, that's a stunning set. Did I say St. Jude and not Able Gamers? I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys know I'm, I'm, I do two big charity events. <laughs> One of them is a month long, so I, it's a reflex. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're doing a fundraiser for Able Gamers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hex, thank you for the $100 to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, that is very generous of you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, yeah, if you're if you're maybe new to my community uh, and you you haven't seen uh, back back in May and every May I do a big fundraiser for St Jude, they're a children's research hospital, um, and I do it for a whole month. <laughs> so for a whole month, it's like nonstop. I'm saying like St Jude, St Jude, St Jude, St Jude, St Jude. Um, so it's a uh, you know it's it's very ingrained in me. <laughs> I'm sorry, autopilot, you know. Um, in your head, you can hear the buzzer noise. Oh, well, you're in luck. It's almost buzzer noise time. Every thousand dollars I press this button, so. <laughs> yeah, Madeline, there are AC units. Wait, it's kind of laggy because the, the wallpaper lags a lot, um, which is not ideal, but there are AC units. Um, you can see this and I've got, I've got a radiator right here as well, which is kind of cool, so. Um, okay. Can I try and like angle this any better so it's less, uh-oh. I think it's less, it's so bright because the curtain's open. I think I made it worse, oh well, oh well. Should I try to, what if I close the curtain? I don't know. Let me look and see. We'll see if it makes a difference. Hi everybody, this is me. Um, sorry, Sunny. I know you like the curtain, but I want to see if it can, can film you better. Not really. Never mind. You're fine. You can have it still. <laughs> You're fine. You can keep it. <laughs> okay. Are they functional? Yeah, I think that it uh, like affects if you have seasons. I don't have seasons installed right now though, because they only gave me the pack and the base game. I have like a separate version of The Sims 4 right now. So I, 
I don't know how it works if you have seasons, but I assume that it's functional if you have seasons. Um, Sunny is so much smaller. I know, look, it's hard to tell, but she, the top one, is a lot smaller than her brother is. Um, like significantly smaller. Oh, here we go. I'm getting a better angle of cat. Okay, sorry, I'll stop moving it now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Shrimp's a lot bigger than her, so. Um, Anonymous, thank you for the, for the $25. Um, we've got Jackie with the $50 in honor of your father. Thank you so much for, for donating to celebrate him, Jackie. Thank you so much. Um, Ari, thank you with the $50, who also reminds us to check if our company will match donations. Um, good to check on your workplace, everybody. And MJ with the $10, um, thank you so much, MJ. And thank you for the work that you do, my friend. We just passed $7,000. <laughs> <laughs> the kids, did you see him look? They both looked at me like, what was that? <laughs> both their ears were like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, kitties. <laughs> sorry. That was really cute. <laughs> Booful, thank you for the fifty dollars to say or able gamers. Jeez, sorry everybody. Um, they're they're new here. The thing is, um, they weren't even born during our last charity fundraiser. <laughs> they they had yet to be born last time I did a charity stream. So <laughs> they're gonna have to get used to that one. This is their first time. It's it's baby's first charity event. So. Um, okay, almost there. Sorry, you guys, the wallpaper is so laggy. It, it's just the wallpaper, but it's really bad. <laughs> did I adopt new cats? Yeah, I did, Addison. Um, I, I actually found these cats in a storm drain by my parents' house. I found them uh, and their mom and their brother. There was three kittens and the mom. And the kittens were about five weeks old at the time. They're they're about six months old almost now. We're not sure exactly how old they are, but they're just about six months old. Um, and uh, I adopted two of them. My parents took in the mom and their brother as well. So we, we kept them all, but uh, yes, I, I did adopt some new cats. <laughs> um, I got got by the cat distribution system, if you will. Um, and now I have these things, <laughs> so. Um, Natalia, thanks for the $50. Jameson, the orange cat with the $25. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Um, yeah, the their brother, Sam, he, um, I know you guys haven't seen him in a while, obviously, because he's at my parents' house, but uh, their brother, I would say, is is kind of like in between sized of, of Shrimp and Sunny. So Shrimp is big, Sunny is small, and and Sam is like, normal medium <laughs> i think Sh sunny is not on the small side that much um and shrimp is just quite big so um anyway when they stand next to each other he looks so much bigger than her <laughs> like so much bigger than her when they're standing up next to each other um so yeah, Sam, their brother, uh, he he like cuddles with my parents' cat, Lemon, and stuff. It's it's really honestly kind of amazing. I'm so glad they get along. It means a lot to me. <laughs> um, Nataria, Grimer, thank you for the donations. Professor Bells with $100, thank you so much. Oh, shrimp. Well, that complicates things. I don't know if you can tell, but oops. Shrimp is on that now. Uh-oh. Trippy, can I turn this a little bit? Why isn't it turning? Oh, hold on, let me see if I can fix it. <laughs> Trim! There's like a pillow behind it, so it's not turning that well. Okay. Um, which one, which one should I put the camera on then? We haven't had a cat on this for a while. Should we try that? Oh, jeez, that's like right in your face. I'm sorry, Shrimp. Sorry. Okay, that's kind of cute. Close up. <laughs> this is your moment, Shrimpy. Let's try that for a little bit. We can see his face this way. The lighting's a little bit better because it's not facing a window, so. 
And Sunny's had uh, a lot of camera time because she had her surgery and she's been sleepy for a while <laughs> and sitting on my camera all day. Mr. Biz and Floral, thanks for the subs. Okay, there you go, shrimp. Thank you. Does Snap still lay there? Yeah, I'm like rolling on top of my phone charger. My chair won't move. Yeah, Snap lays there a lot. Um, indeed she does. Scoot that over maybe. Didn't they both get surgery? Actually, shrimp's is not until next week. Um, Sunny's was a little bit earlier than his. They could fit her in a little bit sooner, so. Um, Sunny got spayed, but shrimp hasn't had his, um, has hit, he hasn't had his yet, so. Um, he will, <laughs> but not yet, so. Okay, um, am I gonna make this, like, for a family? What if we tried to make this for, like, four roommates? And we put, like, a bunch of beds, a bunch of single beds in here. Because they do have, there are some households like that. Oh, shrimp, we can't even see you. Don't get me wrong, it's cute, but... Does this... Oh, okay, I can, I can get us cropped in a little bit less, chat, don't worry. So we can see him a bit better. This'll be good. Oh, hold on. Okay, that's actually too much. <laughs> I'm out of space. Hold on, sorry, let me just get it, let me just get it set up. Here we go, there we go. Full shrimp. <laughs> For a second you thought I had replaced my face cam with a cat cam? I should have. That would have been better, to be honest, but I didn't. <gasps> Leslie, thank you for the $200 to Able Gamers. As a single person who has gamed all my life, this cause is near and dear to me. Let's go, Able Gamers. Leslie, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Betsy and Confused and Anonymous, thank you for those huge donations to Able Gamers, too. Um, <laughs> you guys are making me so happy. This is so cool. Thank you. Um, do any of these have, like, matching wood colors by any chance? No, of course they're all, like, slightly different. That's fine. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Ash, thank you for the $50 too. Uh, they said their sister is disabled and they have done so much for her. Uh, it means the world to me when people like you rally together to support people like my sister. Thank you, Ash, thank you for that donation. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let me get perhaps a little nightstand in between. I'm not too worried about, this is gonna sound bad, okay? But I'm not really all that worried about giving this unit like the cutest looking setup. I mostly just want their money. Ooh, see what I mean? I told you it was gonna sound bad. Um, but I, I kind of just want their money, so um, I'm just gonna make sure that we have uh, enough stuff to get their money, and then it'll be fine. <laughs> Shrimp the sewer cat, thanks for the $10. Shrimpy, where'd you get the money? Who's giving a six month old the credit card? <laughs> It's just a baby. <laughs> Where'd you get that money from? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he found it in the sewer. That's very possible. Oh my gosh, stretch. He's so long. Can I? Sorry, buddy. I'm just trying to like. I need the. I need prime cat angles. So. Here we go. <laughs> get a tour of the place. Oh yeah. Um. Well, sort of. This is the exterior. We built this yesterday, and now I'm trying to add two extra units upstairs. So I'm not really making, if I'm being honest, they're not like the nicest of units, um, but they'll be units. <laughs> um, and we're, we're trying to make them so that we could get some new neighbors moving in with us um, and make some more money off of them is kind of the idea, so. Um, but anyway, this is kind of the outside and what it looks like. I think it's nice. I like the exterior. Did you find out how to get the rent payment? Yeah, actually, I finally got my, my rent money this morning before I went live. Um, it took like an extra week and a half after the lease ended. Um, well, no, it took like six days. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> it took like six days though after the lease ended for me to finally get my, uh, my Sims first rent payment. So, um, the, the second lease was almost up before I got the first rent. So that's why I thought it was like completely bugged. Um, but I don't think it's actually that bugged. I think it just takes a long time to get your rent money. Um, 
so that makes me feel a bit better. It might be, it might be partially a glitch, but at least I got paid, because originally I thought I wasn't gonna get paid, and that's worse than getting paid late. So, at least there's that. So the rent is weekly. You can set it, you can determine how long the leases are. Um, it's up to you. So, um, they enter the units from a staircase back here. They've got a separate staircase in the back to get into them both. Um, I should put a desk right there. Yeah, maybe I should give them a desk. We'll see. We'll see how much I'm willing to give them. <laughs> I'm not sure. Did I get my second or will that, or will that be delayed? I haven't played uh, another week yet after that. So I only, I got, I, I played like a day to check it. Um, well, you know what's embarrassing is the Sims team, they were like, hey, can you send us the save file? Cause like we can't replicate the bug. So can you send us the save file? So uh, we can see if we can fix it. And then I went into the game to try and get them the save file. And then the rent worked. <laughs> I was so, now that I had to tell them, oh, I just got paid. <laughs> So oh, I was kind of embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, I asked them if that was working as intended. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to take over a week, but... <laughs> but I went into the game so I could try and get the same so I could show them how it wasn't working and then it worked. <laughs> That's always how it happens, isn't it? Oh, now you can't even tell what Shrimp is doing. He's like in a little ball. Let me see if I can re-angle it. I'm sorry, this stream has like become the cat stream. Everything's dominated by cats completely, but... <laughs> anyway... <laughs> I, was a, I was a little bit embarrassed about that one, I must say. <laughs> but it's okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Um, can I size this down? I, would, I think I would like to, because it would fit better on this window if I could. Oh, that doesn't look that good, but they're gonna have to put up with it. Sorry. They need something in here. Um, Therese, you got accepted into school. You're becoming a pastry chef. <gasps> Congratulations. That is such exciting news. Thank you for sharing and, and congrats. Oh my goodness. That is really, really cool. Um, you should be very proud of yourself, my friend. Okay, let's see. This is your first live stream. Oh, hey, Fresh, thanks for coming by. You caught us at a good time. We're um, we're playing with the new pack. We're also doing a charity fundraiser for Able Gamers today. And there's two cats in my room. Look, you can't really tell because it's blurry, but one cat, two cat. Earlier, there were three. <laughs> uh, we've, we've, been, we've been through a lot in the past couple hours. <laughs> so this is a, a good one to make it to as your first stream. <laughs> Um, oh my god, Kirsten, thanks for the $125 to Able Gamers, too. Thank you so much. Wow, okay. Um, I think, personally, that these Sims are just gonna have to deal with this as their finished unit. I've decided. I think that's good enough for their unit. It's got four beds, and they've got all the necessities. Oh, they do need a trash can, probably. Here, I'll give you one of those. I will give you a indoor trash can instead, actually. Something like this. Okay. Um, oh, should they have a fire alarm? That seems like an important amenity. Okay, <laughs> that's the first unit. They have this set up over here now. Um, and then in the second unit, I'm thinking that I would probably like to, you know what, maybe I'll, I might move those. They can have a little pathway. I'm sorry, I'm not really furnishing. I'm kind of like messing with the outside, but I kind of want to get some more bushes because I feel like it's it's not selling in. Toddler bed? Yeah, I think we'll decorate the next one as being more for like a family. That's kind of my thought process at least. Um, oh dear. Should I put it like right there? I think I like that. I think that looks better, right? I don't know. Honor, thanks for the $10 stable gamers. 
could that be for a family? Oh, I mean, this one could be. I'm I'm saying this because, what? Why can't I see my third unit? Let me try and reload. Um, I'm saying that because some of the units, or like some of the tenants, it'll be like four single sims that need four beds. Um, so I, like there's a sort of a variety of different bed requests. The game kind of bases it based on how many beds is sort of the situation. Um, but, Um, <laughs> so <laughs> this is a known bug that, that they're aiming to fix before the pack comes out on Thursday. Uh, it's a visual glitch where it says the rent is like billions of dollars. <laughs> that's good rent money, but that's not true. It's not actually that much money. Um, it's like a visual glitch and that's going to be fixed. Uh, that's going to be fixed before the pack comes out. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> uh, but they, they did, they have addressed that one already. That's like a CFE bug, so. Um. Why do you guys think I can't access this unit? Why, like, why isn't it in my list? Maybe I have to re-select it in build mode. Maybe I'll put it back to shared and then I'll, I'll, whoa. I'll put this whole unit back to shared and then I'll add number four again. Oh, you can't even see the list view. There's a cat in the way. Shared. Shared. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna try to put create unit. Oh, that's number six now. I can just renumber them, it's fine. Shared, number six. There are two units marked as one. Oh, that's that's just a, a labeling thing. It doesn't matter. Um, you can make them say anything. Okay, so that's number six now. Oh, I, for some reason I just had to reselect it, it looks like. It, it, it must have been like a an error for some reason. Reselecting the unit fixed it. I can see it now. Um, did I save recently? No, actually, that's a good call. <laughs> I should do that. That's number four. So if I make this one number five, oh, now it says number seven. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's just the default labeling, so we'll just change it. You can make it say anything. Um, that's number five. Okay. I should be able to rent out number four. So you see how it thinks that number number five is a one star because there's nothing in there. So they, won't, they don't want to pay me because it's got nothing. And then I can fill this vacancy. I'm going to have them have, like, lots of rules. Okay, and then look at this. You see how... Um, these people, uh, it looks like it's four young adults that need four beds. Some of them will have like kids that need two beds. This is like a couple with a kid. They only need two beds. So I was hoping to get something like this where it was like four roommates, four beds wanted four young adults. Um, but the game kind of bases it off of how many beds you need is sort of how it works. I can increase their rent. They can pay like 152, so I'll make it higher. <laughs> Go, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers. Oh my goodness, we just passed $8,000 raise. Uh, and 10 of us with the $60. Someone else anonymously gave $50. Uh, and Jess with the $3 and Kira with the $25. Thank you so much. The lease can be, um, I think you can put it to like kind of whatever you want. Yeah, you can make the lease like, I think it maxes three numbers. So it, it can't be more than a the 999, but you can make the lease however long you want. The thing is, the lease determines when you get paid. So, so you get, I'll get paid, well, 
I get paid seven days plus six days, apparently. Um, but if you made it like 999 day long lease, you wouldn't get paid until it was over. But that might be nice for you if um, you're trying to like not be paid for your rent or whatever. Um, but it's, so the Sims don't move out after the lease is up. When the lease is up, it enters like a grace period. And in that grace period, you can kick them out with no penalty or let them stay. And also in the grace period um, is when you're able to increase the rent. Otherwise you can't raise the rent until the lease is up. Uh, but then they just resign. So they won't move out after the seven days. They stay there unless you kick them out. And if you kick them out early, then, then you get in trouble and they try and fine you for evicting someone wrongfully. Um, so you want shorter leases then, not super long ones? I guess, hypothetically, I, I probably would keep it seven days if I were you. I think it's kind of my thought process. Um, so here are the new, the new tenants. Kenneth Houston. Wow, Texas. So we can meet these people. They're kind of like new townies. That seems harsh. What, getting sued for evicting them wrongfully? I don't know. When you wrongfully evict someone, you probably should get sued. <laughs> James did one day with his hotel and it still took the week plus one day to get his rent. Oh, maybe it is bugged. Huh. Okay, let's furnish this one then. We'll try this, we'll make this one for a family, I'm kind of thinking. Um, Emma, thank you for the $10 to Able Gamers. Basic married lady with the $10. Um, yes, uh, my Lego thingy, it has instructions in the panel. I'll show you. Thankfully, it's kind of nice actually. The Lego advent calendar, there's like little, um, inside the flap, there's like a picture right there. I know you can't really see it, but there's a picture right there. And that has like the instructions of how to build the thing. It's kind of nice. This is my first advent calendar. And then I also have a mini brands one. Today we got mini dry shampoo. So. <laughs> I think advent calendars are so fun. Yeah, we've been talking about this, Ams. So, so story with the advent calendar is that um, for years, I, I never had an advent calendar growing up. Um, that just like wasn't something that my my family did when I was when I was young or anything like that. Um, so I never had one as a kid. Um, and then when I became an adult, I realized oh, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And so I decided to buy advent calendars for my stream because it'd be kind of fun to open one like every day on stream. And we've been doing it for a few a few years now and it's been a lot of fun. Um, so it's it's kind of become like a, a thing. Um, I keep buying like kind of chaotic advent calendars though. Um, most people just get like chocolate ones, I think. <laughs> but I keep buying ones that are like slime and <laughs> all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, I use the wrong color of this. I need that piece. I think I might put tile all the way around the hallway of this room. Okay. That's nice. The ducks were so fun. Yeah, I had a like a rubber duck one once. Uh, we've done a lot of kind of fun advent calendars over the years now. Okay, I'm placing these little corner pieces right now in case you were like, what the heck are you doing? Um, I'm doing little corner pieces at the moment to get this all set up so that the tile goes around the edges. I don't know if I like that color tile, but probably going to use it anyway, just for the vibes. Um, maybe I steal a little bit for this bedroom. Your Sims can walk through there still, right? No, well, hold on, go back. Cause maybe if it's like this, we could have a dining table in this section. Yeah, they're kind of similar to the high school years tiles in how they work. They don't look anything like the high school years tiles, but it's similar cause it has the trim. Um, so they're, they are similar in that way with the, the trim piece. Um, here lies, thanks for the $10. I'm sorry you had a bad day at work today. I'm really sorry. Um, hopefully you can have a good time relaxing now that you're done <laughs> today. Um, and Color of Magic with the $50 to Able Gamers, Broccoli, Jesse with the $25, Emma with the $10. Um, 
Um, and Lucas, thank you for the $50 stable gamers too. How do you activate the trim pieces? Oh, it's pretty easy. Uh, they're just swatches of the same tile. So like this one is the corner and then there's like the flat edge. This is the little end piece and then this is just a no trim. So it's, it's all individual tiles uh, or individual swatches. So you can um, kind of customize it pretty easily. Uh, it's the same way that the ones, if you've got high school years, it works the same way. It's kind of cool because you can sort of to an extent do like some custom patterns this way too, if you wanted to, because you can like mix and match them a little bit. So, um, how do you turn them? You know the little keys like this on your keyboard? <laughs> the angled brackets? <laughs> you press those. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. <laughs> They're typing it in chat, but the angled brackets, um, the comma and the period, if you have a English, US, American English keyboard, but I don't know where you're from. It might be different on your keyboard. Um, okay. Okay. Which kitty's in the cam? Oh, that one's shrimp. And then his sister is there. That's Sunny. They're both in here right now at the moment. I could probably angle this. I could have myself be a little bit more off so people can see them both. <laughs> I don't really mind where my camera is. It's okay if I'm not centered. We had Snap in here earlier too, my other cat. Um, we've literally had everybody today. <laughs> it's been kind of fun. Um, okay, there is one set of tenants that had a, a couple infants and I almost want to rent to them. I kind of like the idea of, of having the tenants with the infants living here. I don't know about you all, but I think that would be kind of cute. So, um, okay. Uh, Ava, thank you for the $25 stable gamers as well. Um, <laughs> let's get Dan in here so we can say we've got everybody in the whole family. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I was sending my mods a picture earlier. Um, I don't know, this is kind of hard for you to see, but I sent my mods this picture earlier. This is my PC. You can see the two kittens on the one side and then snap on the other. I was like, the gang's all here. <laughs> the whole family's in here right now. We've got everybody in the room. That was before I went live though. Um, so I was pretty excited about that, I must say. <laughs> yeah, you have to furnish the apartments that you wanna have uh, for rent, annoyingly. You can't not furnish them. Um, your, your tenants need to have uh, stuff in there. They won't furnish it themselves. Um, I mean, you think about like how weirdly the game furnishes and like decorates the, the university housing and it kind of makes sense, but uh, it's up to you to furnish it and like provide all the amenities. If you move into an apartment as a tenant though, like if you are not the owner and you want to just live there as a tenant, you can furnish it however you want. Uh, but when the Sims, like when the random townies are your tenants, it's up to you to do the furnishing for them. Um, cause they are not smart enough to do it. So that's kind of how it works. Um, should I use this brown one? That kind of matches, I guess. I don't know if I like it, but you can place random furniture. The game isn't going to know if it matches, if that makes sense at all. Like the game's not going to know that you have a, a mismatch kind of ugly looking room. As far as the game is concerned, as long as it has like furniture and, and good decor. So like you see how this item has an environment score of one. Some of these have environment two. Like when you start putting items in that increases the environment score, they get happy. But you could just do a whole bunch of random stuff. They aren't going to know if it matches. Like the Sims aren't smart enough to know if, if things technically look good together. Um, they just know what the game can read, which is like the environment score and stuff like that. So um, you can kind of do whatever. <laughs> so. Um, Angie Hart, thank you for the $100 donation to Able Gamers. Oh my God, thank you so much. Um, and Christina, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, are you gonna make a blue suburban rental house? I probably should, huh? I probably should. Um. Okay, so Geeky, I, I encourage you maybe next time, be like a little bit more uh, gentle in how you type these sorts of things, okay? Um, just because you haven't seen something before uh, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. 
Um, this is a, it's called a squat toilet. It's uh, not that common where I'm from either. I'm from the US, I live in Florida. We don't really see these kind of things around here, um, but they are, they are relatively common in a lot of other places around the world. Um, so it's, it's kind of a fun new feature to have a different kind of toilet for the first time in The Sims 4. So um, there's two of them, there's two. One of them is like the same price as the cheapest toilet and then one of them is a little bit fancier. Um, still not too expensive, but there's two different squat toilets now. Um, oh, you were joking? Okay, good. <laughs> Maybe be careful though with how you word things because you don't want to offend anybody, okay? Um, Wesley and with the $20, Haley and baby kitten Peach with the $10. Did you hear that guys? There's another kitten. They don't care. They don't care. <laughs> Uh, Lily, thank you for the $50. Thank you so much. Um, gaming is an important escape. Thank you for that huge donation and anonymous the donation as well. Um, yeah, so someone else asked, uh, is the max rent default 196? No, the, the max rent adjusts based on the value of your lot. Um, so if you've got like kind of an expensive lot, the max rent will be higher. And if you have like a terrible lot with nothing in it, the max rent will be lower. Um, so that's kind of how it works. The max rent adjusts based on how much your lot costs. So you can't like massively overcharge someone for an empty box, basically. Um, so it, it's just basing it off of what it can from The Sims to, to do that. Um, oh my God, Donnie. I don't, I don't know about restarting the 100 baby challenge again. I, I think if we did that, we would never finish it. I think if I restarted it again, like it'd be over for us. We'd never be done. And chat's like, no, <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> Everybody else in chat is like, absolutely not. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Uh, that. That was an immediate rejection from the, from the Twitch chat there, I think. <laughs> we just got to 50, we've come so far. <laughs> We're finally getting somewhere. Solving the wallpaper issue. Well, yeah, Geo, this is the same version of the game, so uh, it wouldn't be fixed. It, there, it's not gonna get fixed in this CFE version because um, this isn't the real game. Uh, when, when the game officially launches is when we have to hope for fixes for stuff like that. Um, when the game comes out next week is when we're gonna be like really crossing our fingers and hoping that it's been improved. Um, but for now, in this version of the game, there there won't be a fix in this version because it isn't the real version. Does that make sense? Um, uh, Macy, thanks for the ten dollars. Sable gamers too. Thanks so much. Okay. Yeah, that's the plan, Christine. We were talking about that. Um, the the concept in our one hundred baby challenge is gonna be to have the mom become a landlord for all of her kids. <laughs> like, I want to move all of her kids into um, a, a, like a big apartment building that we're gonna make. And then I'll have her, like the baby challenge mom, be the landlord for them. <laughs> That's kind of what I was hoping to do. <laughs> Cause then we can make money off of them. Imagine if like our children have a tenant revolt. Yikes, that would be bad. Um, but that that's my thought process is I'd like to I'd like to put the kids in a apartment and then charge them money. So, cause we'll be able to put like a lot of Sims living there, you know? Oh, you know what we could do? What if we tried to cover up some of that glitching <laughs> with one of these curtain panels? That helps. You can't really see it as bad anymore. Okay, that's a good start. That is a good start. Okay, and then you can have a little fridge. I still wanted to make a couple adjustments to the the patio too, or like the shared space outside. Um, Maria, Macy, thank you for the for the donations to Able Gamers too. I I don't think you can turn off the tenant revolt, Nelly, but what you can do is take care of your tenants. <laughs> um. You have to keep up with maintenance and stuff, uh, otherwise they get upset, which is understandable. I get it, I get it. Um, but you can, if you take care of them, they won't revolt. Can you turn off mold events? Yeah, mold is opt-in. Mold is opt-in, so you don't have to have mold. Um, it's a lot challenge, so you can decide if you wanna have mold or not. You get to pick. <sighs> 
Okay, now there's two cats here again. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Let me get this cat cam set up again. Okay. Um, can you... Not really. Wait, what if I put it like... Sorry, this is, you're getting like the full view of my office, aren't you? Shrimp, you're blocking the view of Sunny. The people wanna see and they can't. That's okay. <laughs> now there's two. Oh, here we go. This is the good stuff. Both cats. <laughs> oh my God. That's so cute. It's so cute. The, the one with the shaved arm, oh, shrimp. He's got his foot and his tail on her. She has a shaved arm because she got spayed, so they had that's where her IV was and stuff a couple days ago. Um, and the big one is shrimp, her brother. Brothers, right? That's ridiculous. What is wrong with you? Let me try and zoom this in again for you guys. I have to keep making adjustments on the cat cam, but this will be better. You can see it better this way. Now, if you just stay there, that would be super great. Thank you. Oh, wrong thing. Yikes. <laughs> just casually kicking your sister in the face, you know? Unbelievable, Shrimpy. Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> uh, Allison, thank you for the $50 stable gamers as well. I gotta tell Dan to look at my cat cam. This is the best day ever. I'm so glad they're both there. Like, you guys have no idea. This is so happy. Um... I'm so, 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 so happy. Um, okay, has my camera moved too? Oh yeah, sorry, I left it angled that way. I was trying to show the cats better. Um, my shrimp's head like that? Yeah, he's kind of, it's kind of off the, the tree, but I guess he doesn't have a lot of space for his head. Because he's trying to squeeze in there, so. Um, okay. Okay. Um, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so maybe I should address this. <laughs> Someone just said something uh, like uh, very much about animal abuse in my Twitch chat. Um, you cannot buy a shock collar for a cat. I don't I shouldn't even have to address this. They got banned already so they can't even hear me, but you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Cats, first of all, do not react uh, like appropriately to like trying to punish them like that. They won't associate it with the behavior. Like they, that will not work. Negative reinforcement will not work with the cat. You cannot use a shock collar on a cat. I have never heard anything more horrifying in my life. <sighs> Yikes. Anyway, that's not gonna, that doesn't work. You can't, you can't do that. It won't, you shouldn't do it in the first place, but it's not gonna work, so good going. Um, and you do not use a shock collar, period, for any animal ever. What is wrong with you? <sighs> anyway. Sorry, everybody, that we had to address that real quick. Um, <laughs> important to clarify. Um, shouldn't have to clarify, but welcome to the internet. Um, maybe I'll get them a... How about this? They can have one of the pressure cooker things too. That's one of the new appliances from the pack. That is so disgusting and horrifying to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should stop thinking about it. I should stop thinking about it. Uh, that really should be banned. I agree. Um, wow. Okay. And then maybe I'll give them some clutter. Lucky you. Okay. So that's a unit set up for a family of four Sims. They've got their space kind of here. I think they might be able to have some extra chairs if we organize this better. It's a, it's a pressure cooker, Mark. Um, so your Sims can make rice in there, but it's technically a pressure cooker is, is what it is. So it makes a handful of recipes. Um, okay. Um, aren't the kids supposed to be infants? Well, we talked about that, but I think that it might be better if they're a little bit older, um, is my new decision. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> I've changed my mind. I think I want them to be a little bit older. I have decided. Um, okay, a couple chairs outside on this little balcony. I don't know if they'll actually use this balcony, but the option is there should they decide to. A couple of plants for them too, maybe? Maybe I can get like three all kind of together. That might be nice, yeah? Um, Nettie, thank you for the $10 to Able Gamers. Allison with the $50. Uh, and someone honestly gave $5 to Able Gamers as well. Um, and Mel, thank you for the $5 too. Okay. You guys like that? Oh my God. This didn't even work. Look at this. <laughs> they keep grilling. <laughs> they like nonstop grill. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um, so I think I think what I want to do now Next step that might be kind of nice is maybe we could um, Maybe we could put like Maybe the chess table could go Ooh, There's nowhere for it to fit. Can I fit it up here? They can still get into their their house, right? Oh, hopscotch would be cute too. We don't have any space. <laughs> There's no space. There's no space. Uh-oh. Maybe I could give them like one of the little marbles things. Cuz we can put that kind of in the front. I don't know. Yeah, they added hopscotch, it's pretty fun. Okay, next thing, I'm gonna host a, a pool party. This is temporary, okay? <laughs> it's temporary because I want my sims to have a party um, and they need that so I can have the pool party and have like water events outside. Um, so that's, uh, it's it won't be there forever, I promise. It's kind of weird, but I just need it for now so that we can make use of it. Okay, maybe I will swap this to like one of these tables instead. <gasps> oh my God, Ninja, Ninja Yam with the $200 donation to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that is in incredibly generous. And Drew, thank you for the $5 too. I love you, Drew. Thank you, thank you again. Um, thanks everybody. <laughs> oh my, okay. So that's a little bit better and they have that so they can play with the thingies. So we should be all set up there. I think next step now is gonna be to um, rent this one out to a family. Um, okay, those people are the ones I was talking about that have infants. These people only have one kid and they've got space for two. Oh my God, it's the boulder but I wanted to have a family. Oh, what do we do? I've not met these people yet. I've seen the boulder. The boulder was in my video yesterday on YouTube. It's too late, I picked the family. So we have Amanda and Easton and they have a kid called Brent. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. The boulder? Yeah, the boulder is kind of like a play on the rock. Why are you sitting like that, shrimp? He's like, he's got his head leaning off the edge because he's got no space, <laughs> but he wants to sit with his sister. <laughs> anyway, the, the Sims name is Wayne the Boulder um, and it's kind of a play on the rock, so. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. We have a whole bunch of, um, of units now. So that's pretty good. We'll start to see some more, some more of the townies around. Um, number six has violated the maximum occupancy rule. Oh, oh, you don't need to have that rule. No, 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 oh no, oh, oh no. I don't wanna find them, I feel bad. I just won't mess with them for it, it's fine. I like built a house for too many Sims and then said, oh no. <laughs> Oh no, I moved them in knowing they were gonna break the rule. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. I just won't find them for it, it's fine. I'm gonna go back to the tenant because I want her to have a party. I'm trying to get evicted. 
<laughs> Anonymous and C, thanks for the donation, Stable Gamers, too. If you're all just tuning into the stream, um, and this may be your first time uh, hanging out with us here in this stream, we are raising money for Able Gamers today. Uh, Able Gamers is a, is a charity that works to help make video games more accessible, um, and they do that by helping to get disabled folks access to like specialized tech or like assistive tech um, to help help them be able to play games. So like think about different kinds of special controllers depending on your disability that uh, work for you still. So things like maybe a foot pedal or um, controllers that have buttons on the back if you can't use the buttons on the side and you only have the one hand, you know? Um, sometimes controllers are too heavy, so they've got stuff that sits in your lap. Um, they even, I watched this video they made. Um, it was really cool. They, they made an adapter to a power wheelchair. So like the power wheelchair has kind of like a joystick attached to it um, so that they can drive around. And they ad made an adapter for the joystick on the power wheelchair to work as like a Rocket League controller so they can use their own wheelchair to, to play the game, which I just think is like so amazing. So this this is the kind of stuff that they're working on and the kind of stuff they can get people access to um, to open up the world of games to everybody because everybody deserves to be able to play video games, obviously. Um, I talk about it all the time, but like video games obviously changed my life um, and, and are like the light of my life, if I'm being honest. Um, and it, it means the world to me that charities like this exist to help give that opportunity to everyone because there's so much like, it's a social thing. You you meet people, you play games with people. Um, it's it's like such a fun thing to get to do. Like it opens up these new worlds of like places to explore and things to do. Games are just so amazing. Um, and it's really nice how they give that access to everybody. So um, yeah, it is possible, Jupiter. Isn't that so cool? Um, so these donations go to helping get people access to this stuff and helping to like match people up with what they need and help get them access to it. So uh, it's pretty amazing what they can do. And I really appreciate you helping me do this. Um, yeah, for sure, Focus. I think that um, something that maybe a lot of people for the first time can relate to a little bit more since COVID um, is like the struggle of social isolation and how a lot of people talk about how hard COVID was for them, like being home and not getting out and about. Um, but the unfortunate reality is that a lot of disabled people have that every day, all the time, not even just because of the pandemic. Um, and if that was hard for you, um, imagine like what other people are going through, right? And so, um, video games are a really cool thing in that it helps to combat that isolation because it gives you access to this world where you can meet people and interact with people and and play games with people um that you maybe not might not be able to have like in real life you know um so it's it's a pretty cool thing yeah yeah it's a double kitty cam yeah <laughs> um is it trustable who able gamers oh yeah totally if you want to look them up they're like fully you can google it you can read all about them um and we're doing the charity event through a, a platform called tiltify um which is like a it's a third party but they help to organize the charity event so you can donate directly to able gamers through tiltify they handle the money it goes straight to able gamers um and able gamers works on purpose with tiltify so like the charity themselves vets it so <laughs> it's all good it's all good um if you've been to my streams before before. A lot of you might remember my friend Steve. Um, his name is Steven Spawn on Twitch. Uh, he works for Able Gamers as well, so you might you might know him. Um, you might recognize him. So, um, okay, okay. Let's see what we can do. Are we? Oh, you're still cleaning the grill. Okay, <laughs> anonymous. Uh, with the fifty dollars, I'm disabled myself. This means so much. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. Um, Angela, we got Kay, whose birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday. Tris with the $50 as well. Um, another anonymous donor, thank you so much. Um, Blind Gamer says 99% of my social interaction occurs because of video games. I really see friends in real life. Yeah, see, and the thing is, a lot of people are in that situation. Um, not even just disabled people, but like a lot of people have that experience. And I think a lot of you might relate to that, right? And and how much uh, like video games have done for us and, and how important it is to give this access to everybody, you know, because it means so much to me and to you. And it's just, it's cool to help get access for everyone in the same way. Um, okay, can you stop and resume that and not leave it to catch on fire on the grill? What are you doing? <laughs> My sim just like left the cord on the grill and just ditched it. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, the lantern thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, she has the child of the village trait, and those sims, they uh, are the ones who like release the lanterns. They do it as like an autonomous uh, animation. Similar to how the cringe sims will autonomously dab, the child of the village sims will autonomously release lanterns. Um, so whose lot are you on? Oh, you're on your landlord's lot right now. Maybe we could go and try and meet the new neighbors. 
because I would like to have a party. I want to invite them to it, so I might go try to visit their units first before we do that. Um, so, was the kid playing with marbles? Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, that's cool. Um, Edamame Adventures, thanks for the $20 to Able Gamers too. Um, that's pretty cool. We're really close to $9,000 raised. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Okay, let's knock on the door quick. Um, are the neighbors in here or do they go downstairs? Oh, that's one of them. Hello, I'm here to come introduce myself to you. Who are you? Is that just some random? Oh no, that's the, that's the other neighbor. I didn't recognize her. <laughs> I guess I only saw the one picture. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for the $2 Sable Gamers and Charlie with the $10, thank you so much. Um, wait a minute. We just passed $9,000. <gasps> and there's a donation match in progress. Aoife, sorry, I scared the cats by pressing that button. Aoife is matching donations again. Matching donations up to $500. So if you donate right now, your donation is gonna be doubled thanks to Aoife who is matching. Um, so so that's pretty cool if you haven't donated yet and you've been thinking about it. Um, don't feel like you have to, let's clarify that too. I don't want anybody to feel like they have to. Uh, just being here and helping to support this means the world to me and is, is plenty enough. A lot of people didn't even know about Able Gamers until today. Um, and so you just being here and helping to spread the word is, is plenty. Don't feel like you have to, to donate monetarily. Just supporting the stream and helping to spread the word is, is so much, so much good. So don't worry, don't feel bad. Um, yeah, if you donate right now, Aoife will match. So $1 is gonna be $2, basically. Um, and sorry to the kittens for scaring them with my button. <laughs> sorry to the kittens. Okay, let me come introduce myself to these people too. All the neighbors are out here. Christine with the $50, thank you so much. Um, we got uh, Iceling Elizabeth with the, with the $10, thank you so much. Um, they said, I understand being disabled myself. I'm new to gaming, but I've already met so many amazing people. I'm really glad to hear that, that you've, you've met a lot of people that, that way. It's really cool. I think game communities are so cool. <laughs> All of my friends are simmers. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that. Like, my, my best lifelong friends, I met all of them through The Sims. All of them. Um, and it, I, I think that's just so special. Um, and so it's a, uh, it's really nice that Able Gamers is helping to get the access to everybody, you know? Speaking of best lifelong friends, literally, my friend Sasha is gonna be here at my house tomorrow. <laughs> um, Sasha is coming to stay with me for the night tomorrow, so, um, that's, that's gonna be pretty fun. Uh, see you with the $15, Squishy with the $50, uh, Deja Vu, Confused Cacti with the $50, thank you all so much, Deja Vu gave $10, thank you everybody. Um, okay, 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 I'm just gonna try and meet everybody here. I met all of you. Is the kid outside still, or did they go back in? It's fine, I think we should be okay, because I've got, I met a handful of them. And maybe I'll meet more of them at, at the party. They might come out on their own. <laughs> um, Anonymous with the $10, Greta with the $25. It's your first stream! Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, you found out I made the uh, the not so very likely challenge. Yeah, that's pretty fun, Greta. Thanks for coming by. Um, and I'm glad that you could, you could come by the stream today. This is a fun first stream to make it to. Um, Ninja with the hundred dollars for the match, Panda uh, with the twenty five dollars, Amber, thank you, um, Anonymous fifty dollars, Haley, thank you all so much, everybody. <laughs> this is so cool. This is a good first stream to have made it to, truly, because we have the the double cat cam, uh, and that's the charity event. <laughs> Two big wins. Um, Oliver, thank you for the fifty dollars, and I sorry, thank you for the fifty dollars too. Uh, that match just came through thanks to Eva. We just passed. $10,000 raised for- sorry kitties. <laughs> they wake up every time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No! Oh, shrimpy. Oh, man. Look what you guys did. You went and gave money to charity and you scared my cat. Do you feel bad now? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the answer is no, I think. <laughs> We just passed $10,000. Well, okay, uh, I guess I should probably, I didn't even talk about this yet, but I put a couple of uh, milestones on the on the goal. I promised to do a baking stream, a gingerbread house baking stream, and also a, another Sims 2 stream on, on there as a couple milestones, but I, I will up that goal because we just passed it kind of quickly, so <laughs> I will raise that up, I think. <laughs> I almost pressed retire campaign. Oh my God, I tried to press save changes. Um, 
And then I, I almost pressed for tire campaign. The other thing I said I was gonna do is build Peppa Pig a house in The Sims. Not today, because I don't have all my packs, but um, we will do that. Oh, geez, sorry, I was trying to fix that so we could see Sunny a little better. Um, but that is the plan, that's the other thing. Oh my gosh, I keep rolling my chair over my phone charger cord. Let me scoot it away. It's been like a theme all day. <laughs> Okay, uh, Anna, thanks for the $10, Anonymous the $25, and Design, thank you for the $10. Thank you all so much. This is like actually unbelievable to me. In two hours, we raised $10,000 for charity. Thank you so, 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 so much. I, I really, I, every time we do an event like this together, I am like in awe of you all. So just thank you for helping me do this. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Um, Van, thank you for the $10 as well. And it, it really does add up, right? Like it, it wasn't people giving large amounts of money. It's people giving like two, five, ten dollars uh, and a lot of people doing it that adds up really quick. So um, it's it's pretty amazing. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, Shrimp didn't leave the room. I don't, can you tell he's, oh no, he moved. Shrimp is, he, well, no, he's there on the floor of the cat tree. <laughs> Hard to see it, but he is there. Um, let me scoot this for you better as well so you can- Oh, sorry, Sunny. There we go. There we go. Yeah, pool party is one of the new pack features. I wanted to throw it so I can have, um, I can have, like, the- all the event stuff completed. We did the potluck yesterday and I wanted to do this now. I think that, um, I don't know who all else- are my roommates. At least all of those people live here. So I'll start that and we'll do it now. I completed the milestone. We now want to successfully break a unit rule, become good friends with our property owner, I already am, and achieve gold at a neighborhood potluck or pool party event. Okay, let's get in the hot tub, <laughs> shall we? And then we can socialize while swimming. Discuss interests? Discuss neighborhood changes. Tell a dramatic story. Guys, can you all get in the pool with me? Everybody, please. Oh, the cat cam's covering it, sorry. Um, <laughs> not used to having cat cams covering everything. <laughs> sorry, I put it back, I put it back. Miss Migraine, thank you for the $10. I'm sorry you got a migraine today. I hope, I hope you feel better. I, that is unbelievably horrible, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, and, and Kay May with the $50, your baby brother relies on tools like this to help him play games. Thank you for the donation. Uh, and Anki Heart, thank you too. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, it does count as swimming. I know, don't shoot from hot tub. I know because I tested this in another save. So it should count, I hope. If not, I'm gonna have to put a pool and that's gonna be bad because I don't have a pool. It counts one- me as swimming, for some reason, but not everybody. Okay, we might have to get a pool, Chad. Uh-oh. I didn't get money for that? Oh no. Cause that- that belonged to... The landlord is who placed that one. Okay. Action not possible here? What? Oh. Okay. Okay, sometimes you have to cheat for money and that's okay. <laughs> Let's go swimming, everyone. Let's do it. Nice. <laughs> Cap, thank you for the $100 donation to Able Gamers as well. How about we do an official pee break? Um, we can do a pee break in a couple minutes, Tilly. I I'm down for that. We can take a pee break. I'm open to it. You just don't want to miss anything? I get it, I get it. I should probably take a snack break as well. <laughs> How long are you streaming? Um, I'm gonna be here probably until like, eviction avoided, uh oh. I was caught violating the tenant agreement. Yikes, Um, can you talk to people while swimming? I'm not really like successfully having this party, am I? This is not very good. That didn't even count as me talking while swimming. And now it wants me to socialize in a hot tub. I don't have a hot tub. <laughs> oh my God, I just got rid of it. This is the problem. 
Gossip about neighbors, try that. Oh my goodness, this is cursed. Discuss interests, tell a funny story. Oh, Easton is evil. Yikes. <laughs> so is my Sims landlord. Um, relax on a float lounger or lounge chair. Okay. Um, zombies, thank you for the $50. You desperately want void stickers? Look at them, look at them. These are the void stickers in question. My friend Shella drew them. Aren't they kind of cute? <laughs> um, you can redeem a reward and I'll send you these, these if you donate, by the way, it's $50 and I'll send you a physical card. So. <laughs> the card looks like this. Kind of cute. There's little kitties on both, so. <laughs> Fun stuff. Um, but thank you, zombies, for the massive donation. What was I gonna get? A lounge chair, I think. But where is Snap? She was in here earlier. She was on the cat cam for a while earlier. Um, we had all three cats in the room for a bit there. <laughs> Believe it or not, um, it's it's been a long day. <laughs> Okay, you wanna socialize in a hot tub and have drinks. I can put the hot tub back again. I'm not really equipped to be having this party right now. Oh, that person's in the floor. That's no good. Let's get in. <laughs> Night Ray, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Get in quick so we can socialize. Oh, everybody's in the hot tub. That's kind of nice, actually. Oh, I just complimented her appearance. I didn't mean to flirt with her. I learned she's loyal. She doesn't want me to flirt. Uh-oh. I'm causing problems. I'm causing problems. Well, all of these people are... Well, this is my almost girlfriend. This is one of my new roommates. We've got Amanda lives here. Easton lives here. Steven lives here. So, we've got a bunch of new Sims living in this town. I got a gold medal one. And then look at this. The, um, the reward for the fancy party. It's like a, a pool floaty. Look at how cute that is. Oh, of course there's a, it's covering it. Go away, go away. There we go. But look at how cute that is. There's some kind of fun swatches. So now I have that. Don't you want to be evicted anyway? Yeah, I do want to be evicted, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, anonymous, thanks for the ten dollars. Uh, we got Joyce, who's a disabled gamer as well, with the ten dollars. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you so much. How long am I streaming? Oh, I'll be here probably for like five more hours. I think. I was planning on being here for a while. Um, I was thinking about uh, we will play for a little bit longer, and then I was thinking about maybe stopping and doing a build, like a whole build. I don't know. I liked the idea of making something something new. Did that not count as me successfully breaking a unit rule? I feel like that should count as me breaking a unit rule. I just threw a party when they explicitly said no parties. So, how does that not count? Okay, well, uh, Tilly wanted a pee break. So let's, let's take a tiny break for a couple minutes, I guess. Um, this is a good time because I, I think we can run some ads too because ads are about to play so that way no one misses anything good. Um, I will, it'll be like two minutes. I'll run a little two minute ad um, and you guys can maybe run and get a snack, go pee, you won't miss any gameplay. Um, it's a good it's a good thing to do in long streams. Um, also, shrimp is still on the bottom. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I'll put full cat cam up for you. Oh, actually, I have a highlight reel. Do you want to see the highlight reel or do you want full cat cam? I'll do full cat cam. I'll leave you with this for like two minutes. <laughs> I'll mute my mic um, and I, I'll, I'll BRB, okay? <laughs> oh, Kiersey! Oh my god, thank you for the $50 who says I found my absolute best friends from online gaming. And I so greatly hope that everyone will have the opportunity. Thank you so much. And Chicken uh, with the 562 and Mnab with the $50 as well. He says, hi, Shrimp and Sunny. Mama Karina with the $50. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> okay, this one is Sunny. And I'll, I'll leave you here for two minutes, okay? All right, BRB.
I have returned. Hi everyone. <laughs> I actually didn't go downstairs. I just uh, ate a couple pieces of dry cereal in silence. <laughs> the kitten you're looking at, that's Sunny. It's kind of funny when she opens and closes her eyes, she goes from like faceless <laughs> and then she'll open her eyes and she's got a face again. <laughs> you got no ads? Oh, that's actually a good thing. I'm glad. I can't determine who gets ads. When the ads run, it just sends them to some people. <laughs> Not subs, but otherwise just some people. Um, so, I don't know. Good thing that it wasn't you though. <laughs> Mallory, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers. Uh, also Maggie with the $10, Jana with the $50, um, Simmer, who says, yesterday my daughter and I got to watch you stream live for the first time. Oh, I'm so glad you catch the live stream. That's such good timing. Um, uh, and Morgan, thank you for the $50 as well. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, the ads, uh, they they have to run. Like, you can't really avoid it. Um, when, we, when we do them in ad breaks like that, that means that nobody gets pre-roll ads. And then also nobody misses anything because we stopped and, like, gave people a chance to um, take a break. So if ads run during a break, all is well, you know? Um, that's best case scenario, so. Nobody missed anything. Um, got like a three second ad. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Three seconds is pretty decent. Um, here, you can see, uh, if you look closely, her obviously her arm is shaved, but also her belly is shaved because this one got spayed a few days ago. <laughs> um, so she's, she's a little bald. <laughs> She's, she's got some shaved bits on her fur because she got spayed, so. <laughs> okay. Um, Mallory, thank you for the $50. Did I say that? I don't know. Thank you so much. Um, she looks like she has little eyebrows. Yeah, she kind of does, doesn't she? <laughs> it's pretty cute. It is pretty, pretty cute. Um, okay. Now she's sitting. Thanks, Sunny. That's pretty cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> when your kitty got neutered, he was very annoyed by his bald belly. Oh, really? I'm curious to see how Shrimp will respond to that because Shrimp's uh, surgery is next week. So he's getting neutered next week. Um, the vets wanted to wait until they were six months old to do it. So I don't know, um, but he's, he's getting neutered next week. So I wonder how he'll react to, um... can you get out of my house? Oh, I still haven't thrown, I still haven't like caused a tenant revolt yet. Yeah. Suggest hosting a maintenance day event. Uh, Suggest hosting charity gift drive, incite tenant revolt. In the morning, do you wanna, oh, I guess we have work in the morning, but in after that, do you wanna incite a tenant revolt? Just an idea. Can you guys get out of my house? Oh! <laughs> It's also my brother. <laughs> okay, I think he's gone now. Why is everybody in my house? One of them broke my thing. Oh my god. <laughs> like, Stacy, thanks for the $50. <laughs> Hello? This guy's just in my house still. I've not had this problem yet. Oh, he's back. What is going on right now? We're having a sleepover, I guess. Is now a good time to call the property owner to come fix this? He's right there. Oh, you'll be right over? Yeah, you will? Really? Interesting. No, it's not a public space. This is her unit. It's set as my unit. I think if I reload the lot, it might fix it. But it's, it's my unit. It's not a public space. I'm confused. Very confused. Whatever. Can I say that I finished, um, this aspiration? Because we did break a unit rule. Oh my god, look at that, you guys. It's done. <laughs> That's so weird. I did it. It happened. <laughs> aspiration completed. Okay, we earned the neighborly trait. That's our reward trait. It's, um, Sims of this trait are better at negotiating rent forgiveness. We're better at getting along with neighbors and we won't have our belongings repossessed by our property owner. And we also host better events. So that's pretty good. Um, 
<laughs> that's kind of a win. Um, and then I wanted to put her because she also was working on the Fount of Tomorani Knowledge one. So I thought we might try and work on that too. You pray could really become a good neighbor? Well, most of it was about good neighbor stuff. Most of it was about like, um, I don't know, handling a maintenance event yourself and a couple things like that. I'm gonna get a pink pressure cooker. Do you wanna go cook something? Mm. I could go for some mango sticky rice, please. Thank you. <laughs> Bella, thanks for the $10. You said my streams are so comforting to you. That makes me so happy. I know, okay, this is gonna sound so dumb, okay? So nobody laugh. Sometimes I forget that like, I am a, a YouTuber <laughs> and like people watch my content. Cause like, I, I feel that way about a lot of other creators, you know? Um, and I, I sort of like forget that like people actually watch the videos that I post on YouTube. <laughs> and like, obviously you're all here right now. That's a little bit more obvious, but like, it, sometimes I just, I forget that like people watch me, you know? So it's, it's fun for me to hear stuff like that. Cause it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> you actually watch? I don't know. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> okay. Let me save the game quick. Cause I haven't done that in a while. I should probably be careful. <laughs> and Kara, thank you for the $50 stable gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Come on. Have you, can you please fix this? I'll just do it myself. Boo, my landlord sucks. I'll fix it. I will fix it. Um. All right, all right, all right. You released the steam vent, so we'll have this recipe finished, yeah? And then you could grab all the servings if you'd like. Look at how delicious that looks. It, you can leave it in the pressure cooker and it's um, it stays like hot and stuff too, which is kind of nice. Do you want to cook? Let's make this one. Rice, coconut milk, and pandan leaf. Ooh, coconut rice. Yes. Can you have it instead of a stove? Um, I don't know. Oh, our lease ended. The lease link cycle for our, our uh, place has reset and a temporary grace period is in effect until 9 a.m. on Tuesday. And each time a lease link cycle completes, the grace period starts um, at 9 a.m. the following day and then lasts for 24 hours. So during this time, tenants can move out without any penalties. So what that means is um, during the grace period, I can evict people. Well, I'm not playing as the landlord right now, but um, the landlord could evict me and I wouldn't get in, like he wouldn't get in trouble. I wouldn't like find him or something. Um, so that's kind of nice, I guess. <laughs> um, so, but otherwise like she stays there. It doesn't like, kick you out or anything unless you choose to kick them out <clears throat> and then we should get paid in a couple days my throat uh-oh uh-oh okay she'll go to work i'm gonna have a tenant revolt as soon as i get home from work today that's the next plan i wish the shrimp would go back up because he's sitting on the floor of it go away maybe i'll load out of it because there's people in my house still Can you put the tenant pot or the, the tenant pot, <laughs> the instant pot. You said instant pot. I said tenant pot. Can you put the instant pot in your Sims inventory? I don't know. Let's check it. <laughs> I'm going to, we'll play as the landlord for a bit until the, the workday ends for our other Sim. Um, okay. Owner gre grace period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, we know. Oh, I also, I should probably play as the landlord and do some like inspections today too. Well, I haven't had issues with people, uh, like the other people being in my house until just now. So don't worry. It isn't like a common problem with the pack. I, I think that what's happening is it's like a standard Sims issue where like they're not leaving after the party or something. Like I did have a party yesterday. So I think that they just stayed there after the party and it's more of like a generic Sims glitch and not a pack specific glitch. I don't think that it's because I live with them. I think it's just because I had the party and they didn't leave. But I, I haven't had anyone randomly entering my apartment in the entire time I've played until just then. So, um, 
Oh yeah, I wanted to change the rule for the family of four, but I can't because I have to find them first. So that's pretty bad. Okay, let's find out if we can put it in our inventory. No. You can't. <laughs> you cannot drag the instant pot into your inventory. Okay, well, I will go to the family of four. I'll visit their unit and then find them. Yeah? We'll start that. The pack release is on Thursday. Um, and there should be a base game update on Tuesday. They haven't said that, but that's always how it works. <laughs> so, um, anyway, can I cheat it and give them back the money? I don't know, or I could just find them. See, if you deliver the fine, I found they don't usually respond well to it coming in the mail. Um, what I'm gonna do instead is talk to them and then take their money that way. This sim looks cool. Wait, can I go look and cast at my new tenants? We haven't looked at them yet. I don't really know all their names and traits yet. So the Sims team, they did make a bunch of people. Like, I, I keep calling them townies that are in the void because <laughs> they aren't in managed worlds or like they don't exist until you move them in from that tenant menu because they made a whole bunch of extra tenants that like so many they wouldn't want to just have them all in the world until you need them because they wouldn't age and stuff that way, I think. Um, and this is a household of townies that they have made to be tenants. Um, so here's one of the Sims. Um, hold on, Sunny, you have to move. Um, these are their traits. Genius, geek, non-committal. Um, we've got this sim. I really like all the cast from this pack. There's so many cute things in it. Ooh, I like your hot weather outfit. That's pretty. I didn't realize that these sandals match some of the new cast items better. Um, this sim's name is Layla, and this sim's name is Taruna. There's annoyingly the tiltify thing for a second. I'll turn it off just for a sec. This is Layla. Um, and then we have Kenneth Houston. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> um, and then and then we also have, uh, we have Yuna. This is so cool. I really like all, every single one of the townies. This sim also uses they, them pronouns. That's so cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I was so excited. I really like this household. This is fun too, because if you have these sims living with you, you can like befriend them and stuff, you know? It's nice for like a young adult household um, to have a bunch of other townies. Here are all of uh, their outfits. Very fun. Very, very fun. And for kids, um, what do you mean? There are, there are kid townies. This household doesn't have any kids in it, but one of our neighbors has kids. So, um, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, sorry, <laughs> I hate to do this to you, um, but I am gonna prosecute you for a fine. Cause you have too many sims living here, even though I knew that and let you move in anyway. Are you gonna pay me? No? Okay, well I have had some trouble with this in the past where they just laugh at me when I ask for the money. So we'll see what happens here. What are you doing? Did you not go to work? What is wrong with you? Oh, look, they laughed. They said, I'm not paying that. Hmm, yeah, okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to pay me. What, now I'm showering in my tenant's house? After I tried to wrongfully find them for a thousand dollars. Well, while I'm here, I might do some maintenance. Because I probably should help them. Do you have mold in your house? Oh no. Uh oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I have not successfully gotten anyone to pay my fines. The thing is, um, the thing is, I don't really want them to pay my fines because I don't agree that they should have to pay them in the first place but it is bad because no one's paid my fines so I don't know I don't know okay come on is there an ask for pronouns interaction I don't think there is an ask for pronouns interaction in game 
I don't think that you can learn their pronouns very easily unless you're playing with the sim or you check in cast. Um, that's kind of like the hard part about like learning townies pronouns is it doesn't say unless you check. So, um, I think the fee payment might be a glitch, but I don't know. Yeah, they, they should probably add an interaction like that. The thing is like, only the English version of the game has pronouns right now. Not all the versions of the game do. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll wait until they're, it's rolled out more or something before they do that. I'm not really sure. Um, who cares about pronouns? Uh, everybody, Starlove. Well, actually, we don't have to ban them. Let me, let me school them first and then we can ban them. Hold on, Tilly. Let them come back. <laughs> Otherwise, they can't see me. <laughs> Otherwise, they can't watch. So here's the thing. You have pronouns. Even if you don't think you do, you do. Just like me. People call me she. My pronouns are she, her. Everybody's got pronouns. Everything's got pronouns. Everyone uses pronouns all day, every day. Every time you speak, you use pronouns. <laughs> um, so actually, everyone cares about pronouns because you use them in like every sentence you ever say, pretty much. Um, anyway. Bye now. <laughs> there's the thing is, there's no point arguing with them because they're just stupid, but maybe it's a kid. Maybe we help them. I'm not sure. What you said was offensive, by the way. If you are a child and you didn't know any better, that was mean. Okay, love you though. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna go switch to- no, no, don't switch control. Sorry, I wanted to visit this unit, so I'm gonna try and uh, do maintenance in theirs, too. I'm doing like a maintenance pass. I want to go through and, and do all of the- uh-oh. Oh, you have to go to work. Okay, yikes. It's a work from home job, but I didn't select work from home, so that's my bad. <laughs> Taffy, thank you for the $10 donation to Able Gamers. I really appreciate that, by the way. Thank you so much. We're actually getting really close to $11,000 raised, which is really, really cool. So, um, yeah, and you can switch households by clicking on the doors. That's a new feature. Um, that's a new feature from the base game update that's coming out next week. Oh, I can't do that very easily. I would show you, but my sims are at work. Um... I'm gonna switch back as to my, as to my tenant, because I want to do a tenant revolt <laughs> while we're here. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to switch over. Um, Dan just messaged me and asked if he can order Subway. Because <laughs> he feels, I'm, I don't want to eat a sandwich right now, but he's like, can I order Subway? Or are you going to be mad if I order without you? <laughs> No, you can, you can have Subway. Dan loves Subway. I don't know what's up with him. He loves Subway. It's like one of his favorite places. The guy loves Subway. <laughs> really? You like Subway that much too? Subway is good for me also because like when we, when we're like out on like a road trip, like for example, um, we went to get to my grandparents' house. We have to fly into Indianapolis and then rent a car and then drive like three hours to their house because it's the closest airport. Um, so it's kind of like an ordeal to get there. And obviously when you, where it's like a whole travel day and then we have to stop for food at some point. The fast food situation in rural Illinois, eh, <laughs> you know, like the, the vegetarian situation in rural Illinois at fast food places. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is going. Hold on. Not good. Subway though, safe bet. So, <laughs> that helps. They have a new footlong cookie. They have a what? Subway footlong cookie. Wait, that's kind of iconic. See, that's the spirit Subway. That's the spirit. You need like a, a funny dessert and it fits with your little foot long meme. That's, that's the kind of thing you would expect to see at Subway. Select Subways. They're probably testing it then, huh? I like it. I'm into it. <laughs> that's a fun idea, right? And they're getting people talking about it too. See, that's a good example of a, a good attempt at marketing. Okay, I'm gonna go to the neighbor's house. Um, this is my bestie, the one who lives here. So I'm gonna go to his unit and I'm gonna see if I can get him to revolt with me. Phil wants to come over. Phil's my brother, but also my landlord. And I'm sorry, you can't come over. I'm going to revolt against you in a minute. 
<laughs> oh, Thea, thank you for the $10 to Able Gamers, too. Thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Um, here in Europe, the Subway bread can't legally be called bread. Doesn't that have to do with the sugar content in it? I think that's what I read about it. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Rental? Let's complain about rental conditions. And then incite a tenant revolt. <laughs> yes! My brother has not maintained my apartment well enough. My shower broke and he didn't fix it. Tenant revolt. Tenant revolt. Okay. How do I revolt? Come here. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, it's working. Protest about conditions. Yes! The other tenants are doing it too! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I demand you fix my shower! <laughs> Uh, oh, the other thing in the base game update, someone just asked, uh, there's a new feature where you can set the sync type. So if you wanted to, look at this! This is why we're revolting. Are you seeing that? But you, the new other base game thing is that you can, hi Sunny, you can set the sync type. So you can decide it's a kitchen sink, and if so, they won't wash their hands in there. Or you can decide it's a bathroom sink and they won't wash their dishes in there. Um, or it could be both. And then they'll do both still like they normally do. Um, but you can uh, kind of customize it a little bit. Yeah, I've got access to the base game update. Right now, I have two Sims 4s installed on my PC. I have like regular Sims 4, and then I have this version that is just the base game and the new pack. That's why it has a couple weird things going on. Like, um, I don't know if you can see uh, up there, there's no gallery access. Uh, the gallery is disabled, it has the watermark and stuff. Um, that's because it's like a separate version of The Sims 4. They have to give us access to this because otherwise the pack wouldn't work for early access because you can't have early access to the pack. <gasps> Sunny! You can't have early access to the pack until the update is out. Otherwise the pack doesn't work because it needs to be like up to date in game for it to function. Um, and so they have to give us this so we can have the base game update basically. The cat moved. I'll try and, I'll try and get them back up because Shrimpy is sitting there. Here, I'll let my Sims keep revolting. Hold on. Let me try and see if I can get us, um, let me turn my face cam off for a second so I don't feel self-conscious and then, <laughs> and then I can try and put shrimp on the cat cam. Come here, buddy. Come here, little guy. I'm sorry, shrimpy. Come here. He doesn't want to go on the cat cam. I tried to pick him up, but he's so hard to get down here. Shrimpy was underneath the, the tiny cat tree. I put him on top. Against his will. There we go. <laughs> we'll see if he sits there. <laughs> we'll see if he stays. All right. Um. Oh. Well, that worked really well, actually. <laughs> Instantaneous. Instantaneous. He lays down and goes to sleep. <laughs> that was so cute. Okay, well, the stuff that we're seeing right now, uh, this is the tenant revolt. It wants me to either promise better conditions. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I'm the tenant. Or call my property owner and ask for better conditions. So, um, I guess I'll do that. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Where is the... Where is he? Should I click on my sim? Mm, I guess I'll just keep protesting. I don't know. Oh, my face cam's still gone. Hold on, I'm fixing it. Where is it? There we go. Got it. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. 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 That's Sunny. She's grooming her brother. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute, actually. Oh, okay. Now we're playing. <laughs> Hmm. Why does he look like that? Doesn't he look so weird? Here, I can try and get us a better angle. Oh, sorry, yikes. It's on a tripod, so it's kind of hard. He's so big and she's so small. 
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. He looks very long. Yeah, he kind of does. He kind of does. Okay, I don't know how to end the tenant revolt. This is the next problem. If I, I think if I go back home, the tenant revolt should still be happening. Because we're in the middle of a tenant revolt for the next 10 hours. I think it stays. So. Um, Sunny has, if you guys have seen, she has a bald spot on her tummy and also on her paw because she had surgery. And she also has a tiny bit of a bald spot on her, the back of her head. Um, she was scratching herself a lot there the past couple days. And I think it might be a stress related thing after her surgery. Um, she hasn't been doing it today. She it was happening when she was on the meds though. She hasn't been on the meds since yesterday. She finished them. So I don't know if it was like, it was that, but she has like kind of a bald spot on the back of her head from where it's not that visible. You can kind of see a little bit there, but she was like scratching her head a lot. And I think it might be, she was stressed out cause she got spayed a couple days ago. But anyway, I was worried about it. I called the vet and stuff, but um, she's okay. <laughs> so, um, no, she didn't have to wear a cone. I, I had her wearing though a, um, I had her wearing a, should I call the property owner to visit? I had her wearing a little suit, um, like a little cat outfit to block her stitches. Um, but only when I wasn't supervising her because I didn't want her to like over groom her stitches, but she didn't mess with her stitches. She's, look at them. Um, she, she was just itching her little ear, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she had like a little onesie so that her stitches wouldn't get messed with. <laughs> Look at them. I have, I can't, I can't. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, but she didn't mess with her stitches at all, really. So she's okay. Um, they're fighting. <laughs> okay, don't wrestle too much, okay? Because little Sunny, she's wounded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are so funny. They have no idea there's thousands of people watching them either. <laughs> they have no idea. Um, <laughs> thank you, you two. That's pretty fun. Oh, here they come. They're still protesting. Still protesting. Is my brother gonna come back so I can demand better conditions? Please? I wanna collect unique tassels, explore the cave, explore the sanctuary, visit the statue. We have a lot to do for the aspiration. We haven't really worked on the tassel collection either. Where's Snap? Oh, she was in here earlier. She was sitting with us earlier. Um, she was on the cat cam for a bit earlier, but uh, she's not here right now, so. Uh, she is, I think she's with Dan right now. She said that, he just texted me actually, she's walking around his office, is the update. Um, okay. Um, should we? I'm gonna go out, cause I wanna go to the night market. Oh, back to one cat visible. <laughs> Sunny has gained control. Oh, did she win? Cause he left. <laughs> Good uh, girl power, I guess. Right. <laughs> you find it cute thinking about snap doing a little snap things. The thought of her just kind of minding her own business. She has like her own little life and she's just out and about. She's walking around the house. Well, she's not out and about. She's in and about. <laughs> she's just walking around the house. She's looking around. <laughs> Dan, they were being really cute. They were like grooming each other and they kind of like, they wrestled a little bit, but like gently. So, anyway. <laughs> Shrimp is, um, I can try and move this again. Cause they're both, they're both here like they were before. We had like the double cat cam thing going on for a bit earlier. I don't know how to best do this. Can I scoot it over more? Sorry, it's very precariously placed on a box. Is that fine or is that worse? 
Might be worse, hard to say. <laughs> hard to say, I don't know. Um, okay. Um, let's see, I wanted to come here so I could purchase some goods. We've got two halves of a cat. A little bit of both for now, how about that? We could probably, oh, I could probably zoom it out again too. Let me see what I can do. Much like we did earlier. Hold on. This is really weird, I know. <laughs> Bear with me. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, the thing that you're looking at in the corner that, that you're like, what is that? That's um where I keep my controller. Look. <laughs> it's on the side of my shelf. <laughs> Office tour! <laughs> there we go, that's a bit better. You can see more cat now. <laughs> okay, I already have that marble. I don't think I have the rainbow one yet, and I don't remember what tassels I had, so I might just buy them anyway. Well, I'll just get this one too. Yeah, I already had one of those marbles. I sell. I sell. Um, your screen is black. Oh yeah, that's because I, uh, that's like my cat cam scene. I was adjusting it. Wait a minute. <gasps> Shannon, thank you for the $50 stable gamers. The cats are gonna react to this really quick. Oh no! <laughs> we just passed $11,000 though. I knew it was gonna cause a problem. <laughs> the tassels are also a collection. Um, there's two collections in this pack. There's the marbles and the tassels. Okay, well, shrimp, you're on buddy. Now it's just you. How about that? Can I like, let me see. Maybe I could put this a little bit more. Hold on, I know you can't see him. I'm trying to, that looks terrible. Well, it's better than nothing. Shrimp cam, new angle. <laughs> new angle, okay. Well, Shannon, thank you for the $50 Sable Gamers, and Snap is beautiful with the $10 as well. Thank you so much. Um, if you are all just tuning into the stream, by the way, um, we are doing a fundraiser today for Able Gamers. It's a charity that works to help make video games more accessible uh, to everyone, as in um, they help get disabled folks access to like um, specialized controllers or other like assistive tech uh, that will help work with their disabilities for them to still be able to play games. Lots of variety of like really cool technology out there. Um, I was telling chat earlier about how um, there's a, I can link the video for you too actually later if I, if I think about it, but um, they were able to uh, make an adapter for a power wheelchair to use the like the joystick on the wheelchair as a video game controller um, for people because they, they're able to use their wheelchair obviously and then they can use their own wheelchair as a controller which is kind of cool. Um, lots of other things though like in, ranging from things like foot pedals to like uh, specialized controllers that have buttons on the back. Um, my friend Steve uses a thing that tracks his eye movements to play games um, because he can't hold a controller. Uh, so there's just a lot of really cool tech out there to help everybody have the same access to games that we do. Um, and it really is very important to me and means a lot to me for you all to help me do this. Um, I, I really strongly feel like everyone should have the same access as us. Um, and it's pretty cool how people are working on making it possible. So <laughs> um, thank you all very, very, very much. Okay, I'm gonna send my sim back home now. I just wanted my marbles. <laughs> oh, I just wanted my marbles. Um, is that my house? Yes, okay, sorry. I had to think for a second that it was mine. Um, but yeah, that's how it works, so. Okay, um. I heard a cat. I think Sunny is behind the chair right now. When we do some building? I'm not sure. Probably soon. I think we'll start building pretty soon. I'd like to build, um, we can talk about it together. I don't know what you guys are like kind of wanting to do, but um, I'd like to build, look at my marbles in my marble box. Property owner visit. Oh, what, to discuss the violations of my agreement? Shut up, I don't want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> what do you guys want to build? We obviously an apartment, um, but we built like this yesterday. Do you want to do something outside of this world and build like in one of the other worlds? Do you want to do like a townhouse thing? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what we should do. 
but where like where should we put it <laughs> what's the vibes because we could build like obviously we only have the base game worlds um the base game worlds and this one um but it may be kind of fun to try and build something in like because we built the um we built the willow creek apartments already before we had access which actually i still haven't set to make functional yet so if we wanted to we could do that too quick um maybe we could do some townhouses oh Hi, shrimp. <laughs> he said, what's that? <laughs> I want to see the camera. Oh, he's ditched us. Oh, we got abandoned. We got abandoned. Okay, they're both behind the chair right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Very sad. Very, very, very sad. <laughs> Oasis Springs, maybe? I actually kind of like the idea of doing an Oasis Springs thing. We could do some like townhouses in Oasis Springs, perhaps. Um, Cabin and, and C Dot and Anonymous, thank you for those donations to Able Gamers. We got Lissa with the $50. Thank you so much. Um, what do you think happens when the Tenant Revolt ends? It appears the Tenant Revolt has finally calmed down, but the lack of attention has caused your unit rating to fall. Well, my landlord is stupid for not helping me then. Boo. Anyway, there's so many ideas that I have. Like, I could sit here, I have like 5,000 ideas for different builds. But the idea, that's actually fun. We could have the land grabs own it. Now they're playing back there. The land grabs could own the building. No, we haven't been paid rent yet. Maybe we should, let me play as the landlords for a bit and see if we can try and get our rent money. And then, and then we can switch and do some building afterward. How about that? Yeah. And this will be cool too, because if we if we do something in Oasis Springs, um, it'll be kind of fun because we can like pretend that the land grabs own it and then we'll also have a, a, an apartment complex in both. <gasps> haunting! Look, okay, this is kind of fun. Um, a lingering ghost is haunting the unit. <laughs> Try to, to get rid of it. <laughs> it's kind of the vibes. Are you in my unit, ghosty? Did they say which one they're in? It must be in mine. I don't see them yet. Wait till you see a ghost. I So this is one of the uh, specialized um, special maintenance events in the telescope. Oh, really? Oh, there we go. This is one of the special maintenance events that, that occur. Um, they range from things that you would expect, like plumbing breaking, to literal hauntings. And the ways that you can do this, um, you can confront the ghost or um, if that doesn't work, you can click on something they're haunting and then exercise them. I don't think confronting works, so I might have to pay. We have to wait till he haunts something again. Hello. Get haunting, buddy. I wanna... Hello. Hello. <laughs> Mara, thanks for the $25 to Able Gamers. Lissa, thank you. Oh, it's time, it's time. It costs money if they don't go when you try to get it yourself. Uh-oh. Well, I took care of the haunting. <laughs> so. <laughs> that was fun, right? <laughs> We could also keep snooping around if you want. We could go snoop in the new people's houses. Let me visit this unit. Who are you gonna call Ghostbusters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we play with the base game apartments you built? Yeah, I could get them and we can try and load it in and see how they work if you want. That could be kind of fun. Um, can I eavesdrop on you? No, but I can deliver a fine. Uh-oh, I'll deliver one. No? Okay, I'll visit this unit instead. <laughs> can we build soon? Yeah, I think we're gonna. I just wanna see if we can get paid our rent money in a second and then I will build. Um, shall I start a break in? <laughs> oh, and my YouTube video is going up in one minute. Um, my YouTube video today is uh, one hour and 45 minutes long. <gasps> I forgot about, oh my God, you guys, I've had giveaway codes that I was gonna be doing all day and I forgot about them. Well, okay, let's do that now. Before I forget again, I don't have any for this pack. I don't have any for this pack 
but I do have some for a lot of other packs um, because uh, obviously this pack isn't out yet, so you can't do giveaways for it yet, but I do have them for other packs. Uh, starting, starting with Horse Ranch. Um, we'll start with Horse Ranch. I have three codes for Horse Ranch uh, that I bought today, this morning. Um, it is a PC and Mac code, um, so it works if you have the Sims on your computer. Um, and it's global, so no matter where you are, it, it will work. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on console, which kind of stinks. Um, but you can type the word horse in the chat if you want a chance to win The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. I got three codes for it, so we'll do a quick giveaway. Um, oh, Brew, with the $50 this year, your extended family is donating to charity with the money that you would have spent on white elephant gifts. I will get to print out this receipt and share with everyone why Able Gamers is so cool. Brew, that is such a fun idea. I love that your family is doing that. That is a really, really cool concept. Um, you'll have to tell us how it goes. I, I really love that. That's so cool. Um, and and uh, Milu, thank you for the $5 to Able Gamers as well. And if you guys missed it, we're doing a little giveaway right now of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. And my Sim is currently breaking into his tenant's house. Don't worry about that part, okay? <laughs> Ignore the fact that I'm, I'm breaking into my own tenant's home. Um, it's fine. <laughs> It's totally fine. Nothing to see here, okay? Oops, I forgot to break in. You ignore this, okay? Don't look. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes, okay? <laughs> this is fine. It's not bad at all. It's totally fine. Uh, and type that word horse in the chat. Um, mods, I have in the like mod announcements channel in the Discord, I put the spreadsheet with all the codes. Could you copy paste them for me into like the little giveaway message so I can send them to people when they when they win? Could you grab the message for me so I can send it easier if anybody's available? If not, I can do it, but um, it might help. All you gotta do is type it once, by the way. Um, you don't have to spam it or anything. Everybody, Every person just gets one entry. Oh, my! the landlord, who is my fiance, is coming home. Pool of terror. I have this recurring nightmare about a swimming pool with walls so slippery it's impossible to climb them to get out of the pool. The only place you can exit the pool is via a single ladder, and it always suddenly disappears as I'm swimming my way towards it, leaving me stranded in the pool. Hours pass, it's getting darker outside, I'm exhausted and hungry. My friends and family come and go, passing me by, yet none of them even seem to notice <laughs> that I'm stuck, let alone help me out of the pool. Terrifying, right? Well, lately the dreams have been so vivid I've started sleepwalking. The other day, I woke up floating in a random pool in my neighborhood, wrapped up in my wet blanket like a burrito. It was humiliating. <laughs> so that's what I was talking about. A lot of the secrets are like like uh, references to Sims memes and like funny things like that, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, Anonymous, thanks for the ten dollars to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, one of them says not so merry, and it's kind of like a meme about not so berry, but it's about giving gifts um, and not so much about uh, the not so berry challenge specifically. Okay, so we're doing a quick giveaway right now of The Sims 4 Horse Ranch. Um, if you are interested in entering, you can type the word horse in the chat. I've got three codes, um, and I will draw those winners here in just a couple seconds, okay? Um, all you gotta do is type the word horse in the chat. Introverted extrovert, thanks for the $25 to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, can you finish snooping really quick? That would really help me, thank you. Hurry up. <laughs> Survive eternity, thanks for the $25. All the secrets have been found. Now I have to eavesdrop. This one's kind of annoying. Uh-oh. Oh, the tenant is here. And I'm here, they're cleaning up mold. Am I gonna get beat up for snooping? You caught me breaking into your house and you don't care? I guess maybe because I'm your land landlord you don't care. I did break into your home though. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Well, let me go back home then. Um, I'll go back home and then I'll draw the winners, okay? So type that word horse in the chat one last time for a chance to win the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. Um, and I've got three winners, ready? It's a PC and Mac code, so it won't work on console, but it will work on PC. If you've got Sims on your computer, it'll work. Mac too, any computer, it's fine. And the first winner in three, two, one, is SKB7201. SKB7201, you are the first winner. 
of the code. I will get it to you in just one second here. Um, and then we got two more where that came from. And also I bought like a lot of packs. So <laughs> um, I'll be able to do some more. The second winner, the second winner is Gerju. Congratulations, my friend. Um, you have also won. Uh, let me get yours typed. Uh-oh, Joel's fighting. Oh my God, are you gonna get beat up because you broke into their house? Oh God. Never mind. I think we're fine. Uh, maybe I did get beat up and I didn't see it because <laughs> I was busy. And the third and final winner of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. We got one more coat of Horse Ranch real quick. Um, the third one belongs to Agent underscore Rylex. Agent underscore Rylex. Congratulations, my friend. Um, you also have won a copy of the Sims 4 Horse Ranch. So I'm going to get all three of you your codes whispered. I don't have any more Horse Ranch codes, but I do have more pack codes in general. Um, I do have more pack codes in general because I, I bought quite a few packs for us to give away today. Um, so don't worry, we got more where that came from. I'm sorry I forgot about this. <laughs> I, I knew I was forgetting something. Um, but we'll do them throughout the rest of the stream, so it's fine. We'll be here for a while still. Um, we've got we've got a handful more. Uh, I spent like $300 on, <laughs> on Sims packs uh this morning so and i bought them on um i bought them on uh cd keys so they were cheaper <laughs> i think it was 338 dollars actually exactly if we're if we're keeping score um so we got we got more where that came from <laughs> um okay 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 um you can go to work i'm gonna let you guys triple speed through this because i want to try and make some money. I don't want you to go to work. Can I have you go dig around and try and find some more tassels? Maybe I could have him go into the secret cave. Secret tunnel. Okay, come this way. Do you wanna come in here? Explore. Thank you. <laughs> Jackson, thank you for the donation to Able Gamers too. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that I don't have any of the um, of this pack, but it's not out yet, so I can't give away codes because it doesn't exist. We can do giveaways of this pack when it's out next week. We just can't really do it right now because it's not out. Um, it's not out, you know? Um, all right. Off we go. Let's get swimming. This part's kind of cool. They can swim in like all this open water to get to the secret cave, so. I don't have any for console players. The problem, Rusty, with giveaways for console, trust me, in my years of experience, um, is that not as many people have consoles, so that's problem A. But problem B is that they're like, the, the PC and Mac codes are global and work across all computers. It's like one code works everywhere, as long as you got the same on your computer. The console codes are super separated. It's like PlayStation, North America, Xbox, Europe, <laughs> um, and it's 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 based on region and console type, um, so it's very specific. So no matter how you do it, people are left out because it's like, oh, it's a PlayStation code, but you have an Xbox and you're in Australia, so it doesn't, you know. So it's it's a lot harder to do the the codes on console um, than it is on PC because the PC ones are global. Um, so it's just it's rough to do those giveaways because like everybody gets left out kind of it's it's really unfortunate It's just how consoles work. It's not even the Sims's fault. It's just how consoles work um, But it's uh, it's a rough one so um, and I can't get my hands on like a Europe console code You know, so it'd be just North America. So then you get left out still and it's just it sucks. It sucks um, And then the other problem is I do the giveaway right and I say please only enter if you have a console People enter thinking I'm not gonna win. I'll just enter anyway and then they win, and then I have to draw a winner like 10 times till I find somebody who actually has a console. <laughs> one time, here's how you know it's bad. One time, I won my own console giveaway. And I don't have a console. <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'll enter, we'll see if I won. And then I won. <laughs> so. Anyway. Um, it was, it was funny, but it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> so. Beautiful carvings. Locals have always ventured into Beard, Beard Cove to soak in both the beauty and history. Along the eastern wall, Phil finds cave carvings and drawings all splayed out. It tells a tale of war and triumph, if you're keen enough to decipher it. I'll decipher it. 
While looking over the carvings, another etching catches Phil's eye. It's newer than old. It's newer than old, but older than new. A heart hanging from the talons of a parrot in flight with a oh, with some initials marked inside. Whoa! Whoever they were, they must have been madly in love to brave any potential pirates lingering nearby. These waters were not always safe, but love can make people do wild things. Whoa. Um, is it safe to buy from CD keys? Well, okay. So here's the here's the tea about CD keys. Okay, CD keys is technically not an authorized retailer. So when you buy from CD keys, you're not gonna get the bonus content. That's one problem. It won't come with the bonus content, like the early purchase items. Um, CD keys has a bunch of keys because they buy them in bulk from like random countries and stuff. So they sell them at a cheaper price. Um, I have never had a problem buying from CD keys. I buy a lot of codes from CD keys. I have probably bought like a hundred codes from CD keys because I get all of my giveaway codes there for the most part. Um, what I would not do is pre-order it on CD keys. Um, you can buy it on CD keys on the day it comes out, like on Thursday next week. If you already bought it, don't I don't want, want you to panic, but some people bought Horse Ranch on CD keys early and then they didn't get the code for a couple days, um, which kind of sucks because you paid for it and then you don't get it until like two days later. So hold off on buying it before it's out. Um, but you can buy it, like you can maybe buy it there when it is out. Um, just hold off, just in case, because it would suck if it came late. Um, you might have gotten growing together instantly, but like, you know, so just in case, there's no benefit to pre-ordering it other than like you pay the money now instead of waiting till next week, which might be good for you and your budget, but um, you don't get anything. There is, you don't, you can't like pre-download it or pre-install it. So I, if I were you, I would just hold off um, until you, until it's out before you buy it just in case. Um, so anyway, a lot of times the packs are cheaper on there. Yeah, um, a lot of times the packs are cheaper on there. A big problem is that you won't get the um, the early purchase content, but you might not care about that. Um, so, anyway, how to enter? We don't have a giveaway open right now. We will later, but not just yet. Um, not just yet. And yeah, these AC vents are functional. Look at this. If you have seasons, I think it'll actually keep your house cool. I have a radiator too, and you can turn that on and it makes your sims warm, so. Um, but anyway. I have, I've never had a problem with buying from there. So hopefully that helps you. <laughs> um, yeah, if there's any old packs that you need, CD keys is a good spot to go and get them, to be honest. Um, just check, just check though, cause sometimes the really old packs, a lot of the stuff packs cost more money than they're supposed to on CD keys. Not all of them, but sometimes a stuff pack will be like $12 on there when it's supposed to be 10, obviously. So there are some things that you shouldn't buy on there. <laughs> Just check before you do it. And again, CD keys, not technically an authorized retailer. I'm supposed to, I probably should say that. <laughs> As I'm here playing the CFE version of the game and like, <laughs> I'm a part of the EA Creator Network promoting this unauthorized retailer, but um, yeah. Good to good to know, I guess. And they don't really have the kits for sale on there, no. You can pretty much only get the kits on um, on the EA app and like on Steam and stuff through official sources because they don't sell the kits on like physical co copies and stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. When you buy a code from CD Keys also, they'll send you a picture of a physical code. So like, it feels kind of sketch. It feels kind of sketch when you buy it. But I've never been scammed from them. But it does feel kind of sketch. <laughs> Cause I get sent pictures. I bought, how many codes did I buy today? I bought 21 codes today. And I all, every single one of them is a picture of a code of like a physical copy of a code from like a, and sometimes they're like in different languages and stuff because they buy them from other countries. So, I don't know, feels kind of sketch, but I've never had a problem. <laughs> Frady, thank you for the $10 to Able Gamers uh, and after all the $10 and TKS for the $10, thank you so much. Um, I haven't ever used instant gaming. I haven't ever used instant gaming personally, no. Um, also, I have Sunny. She's sitting on my desk. She's laying down. Um, you had a person where the person you bought the code from made you add him as a friend on Steam to get your code. Ooh. 
Yeah, see, that kind of stuff is weird vibes. Yeah, I'm sorry that happened to you. That Was that from CD keys or just from something else? That sounds like instant gaming vibes. Some of them are like code resellers. And that's bad. Electrical failure, uh-oh. Everything is fizzing and popping in unit number two. Let's go fix it. Is this broken? Oh, we've got all kinds of allergenic mold. Okay, let's go fix their electrical fa failure at 3 a.m. Where do you put the codes for CD keys to get the game? Uh, you redeem it on the EA app. Um, you, like top left corner, see if there's a button that says like redeem a product code or something. All right, let me in please. Sunny, are you laying on a key? Okay, I was like, why is it my keyboard working? It's because Sunny was laying on it. I couldn't press anything. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't press anything. That was bad. Did you knock on the door yet? Okay, all the power is out, so we can't see anything. Sounds like we have to repair or replace all of the electrical objects in this apartment. Come fix that. I'll fix his toilet while I'm here, too. So... They'll work on Origin. I don't know if they work on Mac, because it's, or, sorry, um, I don't, sorry, what am I to say is I don't know if they'll work on Steam. I confused myself. You said, will they work on Origin because I have a Mac. They will work on Mac. Mac is fine. Origin's fine. EA app is fine. EA is fine. Steam, not sure. I don't know. They will work on Origin, because Origin and the EA app are the same. I'm not sure about Steam, though. They do work on Steam? Well, there you go. That's good. Um... I didn't know for sure. I've usually used the EA app, so. Toxic mold pile, yay! Oh my goodness, we can die. Okay, okay, guys, 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 guys. We cannot build yet. We have to wait. <laughs> we have to wait until until my I can kill a sim from the toxic mold, okay? It's really important stuff. It's really important, I'm sorry. It's just, this is serious business. We have to try and is everything fixed in this guy's apartment? Is the toxic mold in my house? I think it should be. Is all your stuff okay? I think so. Can I be fused due to electrical? Oh, here we go. Can I turn them on now? Oh my god, what's wrong now? I replaced this. What else is wrong with you? <gasps> Toxic mold! Oh, it's in this guy's house. Uh-oh. Okay, I have to switch. We're gonna play as the tenant and we're gonna let him die. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, it's just really important. It's really important. He has to die. May he rest in peace. Um, Okay, okay, okay. I'll let him just eat, I guess, for now. Um, you can cook out here, and then I'll lock you in your house. My little Sunny is sitting with us. She's- oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at what I'm looking at right now, you guys. Look at what I'm dealing with. <laughs> She's being really cute. <laughs> She's sitting at my, on my desk across my keyboard. Um, she's really sweet. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. Thank you, sweetie. That's very nice. Oh, Steven is wise. That's the elder exclusive trait. Oh. Well, here, I can come try and repair stuff in the house myself. If my landlord won't do it, I'll do it. That's fine. Guys, look! Confirmed! He was! Look! Oh my god! He's a townie and he's actually retired. Like for real, not a joke. He's actually retired. We were talking to him yesterday and it said he was retired. He is retired. He's actually retired. He just got paid money for it. And we were joking about how we thought maybe it was a play on Stephen King. Because his name is Stephen Pawn and he's a writer. So I think yes. Um, I think it is a, a play on Stephen King. <laughs> Stephen King lives in our house. That's kind of cool. Stephen Pawn. We were joking because my friend, my I have a friend called Stephen Spawn. And I don't think that they know that. But that is really weird. 
<laughs> that is a really weird like coincidence. <laughs> In fact, my friend Steve, he works for Able Gamers, uh, who we're fundraising for right now, but um, kind of a funny coincidence there. Hot Vampire Summer. Thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude. Uh, and Mallory, thank you for the $50 too. Um, your grandfather is a quadriplegic and you love that there's an organization that's helping uh, close the gap between gaming and disabilities. Thank you so much. It is really important um, to help uh, make gaming more inclusive and, and designed for everybody, just as you said. So thank you for helping us do this. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, all right, let's repair this next thing next. Oh, he's electrocuted. He might die from that first. Oh, let me save. <laughs> What if he dies? Did I say St. Jude? I meant Able Gamers. Oh my goodness. It's Able Gamers. Duh. I'm sorry. You guys know I just- My last charity fundraiser was a- Oh no! Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. My last charity fundraiser, fundraiser was a month-long fundraiser for St. Jude. So it's like a reflex. <laughs> We're raising money for Able Gamers. Wonderful, amazing charity. You didn't see anything. Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. Nothing happened just then. That was not supposed to happen. I want him to die, but a different way. <laughs> different way, different way. Sunny stood up, that means I can hold her. Look, it's a kitten. Hi, Tiny. I know you don't want to be held. I just, I want to give you a kiss. I'm sorry. It's important to me. Do you want to sit on your little cat tree? Here you go, sweetie. Now I can film you. Oh, it worked. Okay. Let me get this set up, Sunny. Here we go. How does that look? That's pretty good. You itchy again, sweetie? Ugh. Okay. Oh, there's ads playing. Well, that's fine. You can please stop doing that. I'll just replace your stuff. You have money, so I'll just replace them. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Gigi, thank you for the $25 donation to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. The property owner sent us some money for helping to address the issue. So that's good. That's good. Oh! Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Still flickering or are we fine? Oh my god, my landlords are fighting. Severe moldenitis. Okay, well, <laughs> let me save the game because we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Out of the kittens, who annoys Snap the most? Oh, that's an interesting question. You know, Shrimp is a little bit more brave and like more desperate to be Snap's friend. And so for that reason, um, I think Snap finds Shrimp a little bit more annoying because, because he's like constantly trying to sit near her and stuff. Whereas Sunny, she doesn't really, she likes her and she'll watch her, but she doesn't try and like get up close to her and stuff, you know? Um, so, <laughs> anyway, here is the start of our toxic mold. Um, as you can see, we have this little toxic mold pile. Uh, in here, this is an example of the allergenic mold pile. This just makes your sim dazed. No problem here, no harm with that. The toxic mold pile is the bad stuff. This is the stuff that can kill your sim. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna let him stay in here until he dies. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him stay in here until the guy dies. <laughs> it took me, so when I did it with Eliza Pancakes, the mold had to grow to like, it got bigger. Um, and then she died from it that way. No, you can't leave your house, buddy. You have to stay inside. Come here. Um, I'm gonna lock his door. Oh no. Unlock, lock for Steven. There. Um, anyway, is it true you can disable the mold if you don't want it? No, you don't even have to disable it. It's opt-in. So beyond disabling it, you don't even have to. It by default is off. You can choose to turn it on. By default, it's off though. And you can choose to turn it on if you want it. So you don't have to disable it. It's just, it already is disabled. You can pick it if you want it. So yeah, and as a tenant, you can customize the house. Um, as a tenant, you can renovate all you would like inside. So you don't have to play with mold. Um, it's only if you want to play with mold that you have that you have the ability there. So it's a lot challenge And you can do it on any regular home lot too. It doesn't have to be a apartment So, okay, I'll let him sleep a little bit um, He's not suffering from oh it grew see 
Oh, he's got it already. Oh my goodness. Deadly moldonitis from toxic mold outbreak. And now he's covered in mold, see? He's outbreaking in mold. And now I wait five hours and then he'll die. It's pretty quick as long as you have the toxic mold, but you got to wait till you get it. Uh, Victoria, thank you for the $50 donation to Able Gamers. It's soon. It's coming soon for us. I liked him, this is a shame. Oh, there's more toxic mold growing. There's more toxic mold growing and you can clean it. You can like destroy it with fire and stuff. Um, I don't know if it has a cure. I think if I leave, he might be fine. It's it like, I'm letting this happen to him. If I had left the house or if I had tried to clean stuff, he would have been better off. But unfortunately I didn't help him. <laughs> Lena, thanks for the $10 to Evil Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, can I see if there's a cure first? Yeah, I can look and see if you can buy it on a computer or something. I assume that you maybe can. I don't really know. Just like how the ones from the other packs that have kind of disease-like deaths work. But I'm not sure. We'll find out. And obviously he can clean it, but I simply won't clean it. Research mold, no. Order, no. I don't know, I think you, I think by the time you get this late in the game, I think I should have cleaned it up, but I didn't. And now I might, I don't know. You have to use the bomb and he'll be cured. Wait, should we save the game and test it quick and then come back? Deploy mold be gone bomb. Oh, stupid. That was horrible. Mold bomb is the cure. That was not, that was terrible. I don't like it. I want him to die, so. <laughs> Wizard Swamp, thank you for the $25 to Able Gamers. This is Wizard Swamp's husband. She loves you and your content and I enjoy what you do. Keep doing it. Thank you. That's really nice of you to say. Okay, anyway, um, you enjoy what I do? Killing random sims with mold? <laughs> Come on, how long do we have? Two hours. Okay, he's walking around. He's a little bit sick. Gonna spend his final moments cleaning. Come on. Come on. His final moments reading is good. He loves to read. This is like his thing. So this will be good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Any minute. 22 minutes. Okay. He's walking around kind of weird too from the mold. I don't think he's doing that well. Gonna get a glass of water. Oh, more molds growing. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. How long do we have? 10 minutes, okay. Here we go, chat. Get ready. No cure? Oh no, there is a cure. I'm choosing not to use it. There is, there is a cure. The cure is, is simply to uh, pay money to mold be gone bomb your house. What? He lived through it? I thought he was gonna die. Do you think he washed it off? Wait, I'm gonna go back. Let me fix the cat cam while I'm here. Oh, thanks, Sunny. You're being really cute, actually. Um, it's rigged, it's rigged. So there is a chance to survive. Maybe, do you think it's because he washed his hands? Surely it's not because he washed his hands. I'll make him sleep it off until he dies. Cause that's what I had happen when I had Eliza Pancakes die from this. She woke up from a deep sleep and then died. So. No! I think he's just lucky! <sighs> okay, we'll try again. It'll come back. There's still mold here, so. He's not safe yet. It's back again. Oh. Oh, that time it got me. Uh, that time it got me. The fungus is among us, especially for Stephen Pond, who is becoming one with the mold.
Yeah. Um. That's gross. Um, <laughs> yeah, Emily, I stream every day. I stream every day. Well, not on Sundays. Most days. Six days a week I stream. <laughs> Thanks for following and thanks for coming by. Um, well. Oh, hi, Shella. Look what I've got. So. Okay. <laughs> Now we have to get a new tenant, because my tenant's dead. So, we'll see what happens. Let me play as the landlords again, real quick, just so we can see. Yeah, his ghost can spread mold, but it doesn't spread deadly mold, it only spreads the allergenic mold. So. Okay, don't, you don't need to break in. Can I get a new sim for there yet? Fill vacancy! <laughs> um. There's two people- THE BOULDER! Oh, he can't afford my rent. Okay, his max rent is 92. I'll- I'll lessen it for you. Let's get the boulder. Let's go visit the unit, shall we? I think the new tenant will still have the mold, so I'll try and clean it up for them. I'll fix it for the boulder. <laughs> so, who's the landlord now? Oh, the landlords didn't die. The- one of the tenants died. Oh my god, I gotta get this cleaned up. <laughs> Someone's gonna live in here! Let me just- oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, knock on the door, quick, quick, quick. Okay, put in inventory, quick, quick, quick. Mold be gone, bomb. There we go, I got it, I got it, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything is good and fine now for the boulder. Here he is. This is, uh, everybody, this is Wayne the boulder. Um, he may look familiar to, to you, and that's because, um, you ever heard of Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> this is Wayne the Boulder. So, he's one of the other, uh, townies that you could have move into your house. There's a whole selection of tenants. They made, like, a lot of people, so. <laughs> if I watch the Avatar show? I haven't. Is it, is, do you think it's also a Avatar reference? It could be both. It could easily be both. Um, that's kind of fun. Um, okay. Very cool. Well, while we talk to him, real quick, this might be a good time to do uh, another set of giveaway codes. I have three copies of Growing Together chat. Um, if you would like a chance to enter to win a copy of Growing Together, it's a PC and Mac code. Um, you can type the word mold <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> I have three copies of Growing Together that we'll do next. Uh, and you can type the word mold in the chat for a chance to win them. Oh. Um, guys, you know how I showed you my controller earlier that was- that was attached to the side of my desk? It did just fall off. <laughs> it was attached with a command strip to my desk and it did just fall off. <laughs> Sorry I scared you, Sunny. I didn't mean to. <laughs> well, Anyway, um, Mouse, thank you for the- for the $50 donation! <laughs> they said, I always thought Steven Pond was a real fun guy. Yeah, he sure is now, isn't he? <laughs> thank you for the- for the donation to Able Gamers, by the way, I really appreciate that. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm gonna go back home with my sim real quick, um. Don't bring Wayne with you. We'll head out. We'll head out. And then I think we might start building in a minute. Um, it'll be fun to build, I feel like. So we can do that. Um, wait, who died? Oh, one of our tenants. We had a bit of a mold problem. Um, it was pretty bad, actually. <laughs> pretty bad. One of the tenants uh, is no longer with us because of it. You know what? Let me just get rid of this, too. I don't need more of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Standard, I'm so sorry about your cat. I'm sending you so much love, my friend. I'm so sorry. It's so hard. Um, and thank you for that donation to, to Able Gamers. I really appreciate that. Um, 
All right, let me save the game quick. Uh, and like I said, you guys, we're doing a little giveaway right now of The Sims 4 growing together. Uh, you can type the word mold in the chat for a chance to win um, if you would like to. Um, it's a PC and Mac code of growing together. It's uh, the like family pack that came out earlier this year back in like March, so. Um, okay, I'll take care of my little plants real quick too. Um, I'm sorry that I'm making everybody spam mold. <laughs> This doesn't feel right, does it? <laughs> this feels bad. This feels bad. Okay, okay. Let's draw the winner here in a second. By the way, everybody just gets one entry, so you don't have to spam. Everyone gets one entry. Equal shot for everybody. All you gotta do is type the word mold in the chat for a chance to win. Um, and I'm gonna draw the three winners here in a second. Mods, if it's- oh, they already got it. Never mind. You're on it, Marissa. Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna ask them to copy and paste the codes for me so I could have the messages ready, but they already got it. Okay, the first winner of Growing Together is going to be... XO Fairy XO. Congratulations, my friend! You are the first winner of The Sims 4 Growing Together. Let me pull up your whisper so I can send you the code. Um, we got two more where that came from, so don't get- don't- don't leave just yet. Ready? Next winner? Elfie underscore, oh, Elfie with two E's underscore is the next winner. Um, and the third and final winner of Growing Together, don't worry, I have more codes just for different packs after this. Uh, the third and final is Ally Lobster. Ally Lobster, congratulations. You are also going to win a copy of uh, The Sims 4 Growing Together. Thought we were starting at four. Yeah, I went live early today because we're doing a big charity fundraiser. Um, we're doing a big charity fundraiser today, so I, I went live a little bit early um, so that we could uh, stream longer, basically, was kind of the idea. <laughs> so we've been live for about four hours almost now. We did a little bit of playing with the with the gameplay of the pack, and we're thinking about switching over and doing some building now. It's kind of the thought process. Um, okay, I just sent all three of you your codes, so if you could just respond to my whisper when you get it, um, so I know you've seen it, um, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. And don't worry, we have more codes where that came from. We do have more codes where that came from. Um, uh, go! Thank you for the $10, by the way, to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Okay, so do you guys want to go- do you want to go start a build now? Should we go do a build? I think we should. Let's go do a build. We've seen the mold death, so we've seen it all at this point. <laughs> We've seen it all at this point. Um, we did talk a little bit about, maybe I'll make a new save for it. Oh, no, you know what we should do? I have an idea. Let me, okay, I'm gonna close the game completely really fast because I wanna go, um, I wanna try and bring the base game save I have from my main Sims 4. So we can bring in the Willow Creek one, and then we can show you guys how it works. Um, this is what I'm talking about, by the way. I literally have a second Sims 4 in my EA library. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Um, so we're gonna open up regular Sims 4 for a second, get a save that has just the base game build that we already did, so I can bring it into that one, because I have no gallery access. And then we'll build the Oasis Springs one in that save too, I think. Um, I think that would be good. We got a tenant revolt and a mold death and that's all I needed. See? <laughs> We've seen it all. We've seen it all. Um, I like it. This will be good. Now just give us a minute. <laughs> while we're doing this, um, while we are doing this, I was going to donate to my own charity stream. Um, so I may as well do that now while we're sat here. Um, I think this is a good call. Um, maybe I will start it. Um, I think I would like to, guys, how do you start a donation match? Why don't I see the button? <laughs> how do you start a donation match on Tiltify? I don't remember. <laughs> Create a matching donation from the donation screen. Enter your details. Why don't I see it? Hold on, this is not going well. Okay, I'm in. Which save is my base game save? Was it this one? Let me find out. Have I gotten paid rent yet? No. But we haven't played that long in this save yet. So. 
Um, well, hold on. <laughs> this is not going well. Where? Where? Donate. I'm confused. I'm confused. Why isn't it on mine? You, the thing is, they sent me a screenshot of it. I don't even have it. It's not there, where, where yours is, Marissa. Oh, I refreshed it, now it's there. Okay, sorry everybody. Panic avoided. It was there, well, it is, it is there now. <laughs> but it wasn't for a second, so I got scared. Um, okay, this is the right save. I'm gonna save the game then quickly, so it's updated, and then I'll copy paste it. That was really confusing. I was like, where did it go? <laughs> How is this even possible? <laughs> we are fine. We are fine. We are fine. Okay. Um, public name. Lil Simsy. Okay. Um, that is right. That is right. Next. Donate. I got it. Now wait for it. Donation match. $5,000. <laughs> okay, so what that means is, basically um, what that means is when you donate right now, it's gonna be doubled essentially because I'm matching your donations up to $5,000, I've decided. So anyway, <laughs> if you donate right now, it'll get matched by a lovely person named Lil Simsy. <laughs> okay, let me really quickly um, grab that save and put it into the other save. I'm sorry this is like so annoying. It, it takes a lot. It's like a whole process, but... We'll get it, it'll be fine. Um, I will take those. I will put them in my Sims 4 beta saves folder. Um, this is what I'm looking at right now. I'm trying to put them in the beta folder and then we should be able to open this and then we can do it. Gotta do a little switcheroo. <laughs> Hopefully it's right, I don't know. <laughs> no, and thank you for the $10 Sable Gamers too. Maybe I should move Sunny's little camera down. There we go. I like how they have the donation donation match in progress thing. That's kind of cool. Their overlays are pretty fun. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Yay! This matching stuff is cool that Tilsify has now. Um, all right, Vegan Ashes, thanks for the $75. Survive Eternity with the $25. Thank you so much. Requires get to work, that's okay. Play with missing content, that's totally fine. That is totally fine. Um, so I wanted to test this because these are the apartments that we built a couple weeks ago. Um, oh my goodness, you guys, we just passed. Sunny's gonna wake up, watch. Oh, she did open her eyes, but <laughs> we just passed $12,000. <laughs> uh, we also have Brielle and, and Haza and Lady and Mar and Katie. Thank you with the huge donations, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Oh, I should move down the not final software too because the banner hides it, I didn't realize. That's a good call. Okay, so we built this giant set of apartments with the base game um, uh, like last week and I wanted to swap it into a residential rental so that we could like try and play with it for real and like make it work. Um, I was pretty excited about this thought process, <laughs> so um, I'm curious to test it out. Uh, Breville, Zoria, Brielle, thank you all for those donations to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so we'll make this one unit number one. And then unit number one. This is also unit number one. And then this room. And then this room. This space is shared, that space is shared. This will be unit number two. So anyway, this is kind of how you separate it. You do it by the rooms. So those are both number two and number one. This will be number three. And the max that you can have per building, or per, per lot, sorry, is technically six, but with cheats, you can have more. So we're gonna use the cheat too, so I can show you that. Um, Taylor and Daisy Duke, Christine, Jonesy, thank you all for those donations to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, you can change the room outline colors if you'd like to. You can swap the colors, which is kind of fun. Um, so you can change the colors to a different one if you wanted to set it differently. That'll be number five. Morgan with the $10, Nye, and Spice, uh, Isri, Kopo, the bunny. Thank you all so much. Um, 
Okay. Number five. Do you think it'll run up to the building of 12? Um, I think, I think that it will be quite laggy in build mode, but it'll run in live mode perfectly fine. It's, it's just gonna have some trouble in build mode um, when you have like max units. Okay, so that's all six units in this side set up. And you see how now it says like, oh, you can't create more units because the max is six. Um, there is a cheat that you can use to, to increase that. Um, let me just triple check it before I tell you the wrong one. Okay, I was right. The cheat is bb.increaseRentalUnitCap on bb dot increase rental unit cap on um, and with that it updates the rental unit cap look um, so you can see the rental unit cap is updated um, and now I'm able to make additional units I may have to go out of like click off of it and then do it yeah now I can create a unit so I can make number seven <laughs> um, Carrie thanks for the five dollars Kayla with the fifty dollars <laughs> Holly and Louise, thank you for those donations to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, I missed one room. I did? I don't think so. We have the full purple. The staircase landings are shared spaces. If you mean that. Um, this is number seven. This is number seven. This is number seven. This is number seven. On top floor. Oh, and number six. Oh, I didn't do their extra bedroom. Oh, good call. Thanks, chat. Sorry, I actually did miss that. <laughs> uh, and Mel and Lola, thank you for the donation. Stable gamers too, thank you so much. All right, this will be unit number eight. I, you guys, I really like this pack. I'm gonna use this so much. I love the fact that I built this whole apartment building like custom. I just think this is like the coolest thing in the world. I'm sorry, but this is, absolutely made my life the fact that I can do this how cool is that this is number 10 maybe I'll have the land grabs come by it so that we can like put tenants in it so we can see what it looks like too um that's all of them right yeah I think so okay this will be number 11 can you move sunny so you can see it oh wrong thing yikes yeah I can move I'll just turn sunny off for a second <laughs> Um, so you can see all of the markings. This is number 11. And then this one is number 12. Is that your bathroom? Yeah, you're number 12. This bedroom belongs to number 12. And then this belongs to number 12. I'm lagging a little bit when it's trying to turn them, but that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, so now we can see all of them. And then look, you can like choose to hide the units um, that you don't want to have visible straight away. And now we have the whole place all set up. And then you can determine, like you can set lot traits separately for each of the units. So you can have like one of them have a lot challenge and not another one. Um, you can have that all set separately for each unit. You can label each unit separately. You can change the color of each unit separately. And if these lines bother you, you can just turn them off with this button. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> this button uh, turns the lines on and off. So pretty easy to find. Uh, but I like how you can have individual lot traits. I think that's pretty cool. Um, SK who says, stole my human's credit card to donate. Meow. <laughs> and Ghost and Kim with the $50. Uh, uh, Amali and, and, and Kim and Jen and Becky, thank you all for those huge donations. I'm so sorry, there's a lot going on right now. We just passed, did we just pass $13,000 raised for Able Gamers? <laughs> Dream Goddess, thank you so much too. Thank you so, so, so much. This is so cool, Lunar with the $25. Yeah, we've raised $13,000 today, fight. $13,000 just today. I've been live for like almost four hours now and in four hours, this much money we've raised. Um, Okay, so that's all the units set up. Let's bring Nancy Landgrab in and have her buy it <laughs> so we can look at it. Cause I wanna see, I wanna see. Um, you think the gameplay part is gonna be boring? You think so? I've played it a lot and I actually really enjoy it. I, I'm gonna use this all the time because I'm really excited about, um, I'm so excited about like getting a chance to play with and like live in my own custom apartments, you know? So I, I think I'm gonna really like the gameplay. <laughs> Um, okay, so here's what it looks like from the map view. All the separate units. 
Isn't that cool? Okay, let's get let's get the land grabs. <laughs> let's get the land grabs. But I've really enjoyed playing with it in the time that I've been playing. So if that makes you feel any better. Um Okay. Um, let's see. Nancy, let's have you. <laughs> First of all, you're gonna need some more money. <laughs> Oh, Bella, thanks for the $100 donation to Able Gamers. Oh my goodness. Um, that is very generous of you. Okay, I'm giving Nancy, I think that's enough for her. And then you can buy a residential rental like this. Just like how you buy any of the other businesses. Um, in Like when you buy a rental or, a, sorry, when you buy a restaurant or whatever. Um, it works kind of like that. Um, and then she can purchase all of these. Oh, look, it says, what did it say? This lot contains over six units. Oh, cause you normally would be able to see all of them there, but you can't see it here. Cause I have, I cheated to have too many. Oh, I don't have enough money. Hold on. And you can buy several. Yeah, you can have more than one if you want. Color of magic, your cat Luna wanted to say hi to the void kitties. <gasps> Sunny, did you hear that? Oh wait, you can't see her. Sunny, Luna wants to say hi to you. Would you look at them and say hi back? Okay, no. <laughs> No, that's fine. Um, but yeah, you can buy multiple residential rentals if you'd like to. Gain a million smillions in one single household. Who, me? <laughs> Jenny, thank you for the $50 stable gamers as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, the cheat to get more units is BB dot increase rental cap. No, BB dot increase rental unit cap on is the cheat. I bought it. Oh, there's an ad playing. That's annoying. <laughs> it's okay. They don't have to. Uh, they'll, they know how it works. I won't make them miss anything in game once we're actually playing. Yay! That's pretty cool, though. That is pretty cool. There's a better cheat than Motherload. Yeah, you can do um, the money cheat. The cheat that's better than Motherload is you can just type money, space, and then however much money you want. But <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to have to cheat so much. <laughs> so. Um, it took a little longer. Yeah, you can move tenants into units that don't have landlords yet, Jenna, because it'll just generate you one if you don't have one, because you can like live yourself in a unit. So, and then it'll just generate you a landlord. It's kind of how it works at least. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I think... Whoops, sorry, I'm getting the next uh, thingy ready while we're sitting here waiting for the ads to finish playing, just so I can kill some time. Okay, okay, is there a money limit? I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> um, how does it work in the apartments in city living? Well, so you can't turn those into an apartment because they're already an apartment. Um, you have to be able to switch the lot type. Um, so kind of like how here, I can't do it because it's already a residential rental, but um, you have to switch the lot type into a residential rental instead of res regular residential. And you can't change the lot type of the city living apartments. Um, so you can't do that. Just like how you can't make the city living ones into like a haunted house from paranormal or into a tiny house. They're just, they're stuck as like a special lot. Um, so you can't change this, the ones in city living. I also, I don't have info about cross pack compatibility cause I only have the base game and the pack. Um, they didn't give me, what is, what is that? That is incredibly strange, that weird glitch that's happening. Um, but they, I only have the one pack, so I can't test it. Um, Amanda, thank you for the $25 Sable Gamers too. Um, well, the Eagle I saw ones are the same thing. It works the exact same way as the City Living ones do, so. Um, okay, anyway, I wanted to fill the vacancies, I think, in these, just so we can see. I have to return home first though to do it. Um, but I wanted to fill it so I can show you what it looks like when the vacancies are full and then we can build <laughs> and then we'll build, I promise. Um, so yeah, the, these are the ones we built the other day, Elsie. We wanted to test them out and see how it works in game. I really, I really like this apartment complex. I'm actually really proud of it. <laughs> so Christine, I don't think that you can be a landlord of apartments in San Mishuno or any of the Eco Lifestyle worlds. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. I don't think that like those apartments work the same way. Ooh, this one is fancy with desirable amenities. Um, 
This one has space for people that have a kid. So, how about you? Yeah? Our first tenants! <laughs> um, this one was the one... Maybe the elder couple can live there. Okay, now I want to travel to the unit so we can see it. Just so you can see what it looks like when you're actually playing. Because it's just cool, so... <laughs> Um, look, 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 look! Oh, this place has space for a baby, I forgot. Oh, maybe they take care of their grandkid. I don't know. Look! They're not even in here, I don't know if they're- Oh, they're both outside playing chess. This is the couple. We've got Ashton and Brenna. And they share this place together. Oh, here's one of my other tenants. That's Nancy Brock. She lives in this one. And then when you're here, it has like all the units are, are blurred out except for yours, which is actually really good because that way um, you don't have to load them all in. That's the benefit of the loading screen. I hate to say it, but it's true. So <laughs> um, that's kind of how it works. Hey, welcome in, Katsy. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. We're currently playing early access to the new four rent pack. Um, we were just, I built this like base game apartment complex last week um, in preparation for the pack and we were just testing it out to see how it works. I have like Nancy Landgrab as the landlord <laughs> and we were just looking to see how it works. It's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool. So we were just looking at that and now we're thinking about starting to do another build right now is the vibes. Um, so welcome in. No, the apartments don't have to be one floor each. You can make them as many floors as you want. The, the apartments are based on rooms. So you assign each room to a unit so you could have like a first second and third floor all be together it's it's just based on the rooms so um you have a lot of room for customization there basically um a well, basketball thank you for the dollar they said dollar train anyone i mean there is currently a donation match going on i am actively matching donations right now so if you donate right now it'll be doubled so if you give a dollar it's like two dollars so <laughs> we're raising money for Able Gamers, um, which is a charity that helps work to make video games uh, and video gaming in general accessible to everyone. Um, they do that by helping to, oh, let me get the cat cam back. They do that by helping to uh, like work with folks who have disabilities to figure out what their needs are and then pair them up with like appropriate assistive technology or like adaptive controllers um, so that they have access to games just like we do. Um, and there's a whole wide range of things that they can do. There's some really impressive tech out there um, for, for different controller types to work with people with disabilities, to work with people's disabilities. Um, so like, for example, my friend Steve, he plays games using a thing that tracks his eye movements because he can't hold a controller. Um, we also have, there's a lot of things like, I was telling chat earlier about one um, where they made an adapter for people's power wheelchair so they can use the Joy-Con on their wheelchair to control like Rocket League, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's a lot of really impressive tech out there uh, and Able Gamers works to help get that tech into people's hands so that everybody has access to games. So um, it's pretty fun. It, it means a lot to me. Obviously I'm gonna do my little spiel again, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but video games have been so special to me in my life. It's like the light of my life is, is playing video games. Um, and I've met all of my friends through games. I met Dan basically through games. Like video games have opened so many doors for me. Um, and it's really meaningful to me that Able Gamers works to give that same access to everybody. Um, especially because a lot of disabled folks, they they have to struggle a lot with social isolation sometimes. Um, and, and so having access Access to like the world of video games and the social world of video games and like playing online with people makes a huge difference in people's lives. Um, the kind of things that you might not think about, um, but it, it really makes a big difference for a lot of people. So um, that what they do is really, really special. Um, so thank you for helping us do this. <laughs> um, thank you for helping us do this. Uh, and Tisa, thank you for the $25. Uh, Nai with the dollar. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, the cat in the cat cam is sunny, and also I'm gonna do a giveaway real quick while I get this, um, our next build set up. So I have a couple codes for, ooh, I've got codes for Cottage Living. You wanna do Cottage Living? Uh, if you would like to enter for a chance to win The Sims 4 Cottage Living, it's a PC and Mac code, you can type the word cow plant in the chat. Um, you can type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win. Um, Anonymous, Dollar Train, 8 weights. Uh, we got Ivy with the $25, Elsie with the Dollar Train, <laughs> Atomic uh, with the $25. Elsie says, did you know that one plus one equals two? 
<laughs> well, your $1 actually equals $2 today because it's being matched right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so chat, oh, this is a bad time to ask because the chat's spamming a little bit with the giveaway, obviously. Um, but we, uh, where do you want to build it? We wanted to build it, I think, in Oasis Springs, this new, this new rental unit. Do you want to do it like in the downtown area of Oasis Springs? Do you want it to be townhouses? Do you want it to be like this sort of uh, like Mediterranean style? Should it be be a more mid-century style? I, I don't know. Are we doing an apartment building? Are we doing like like three townhouses together? We just passed fourteen thousand dollars raised for Able Gamers. <laughs> Sorry, Sunny, I didn't mean to wake you. Um, Shadow, thanks for the fifty dollar donation. Uh, we've got Tyler with the ten dollars, Emma with the fifty dollars. Ash, Heartthrob with the $25, Tia with the dollar train. Thank you so much, everybody. I don't know, I'm getting a lot of um, conflicting options here. So I kind of liked the idea of doing townhouses. I was actually, I was thinking about building something like this last night when I was off stream. And then I was like, no, I should wait till I'm on stream. Guys, I just tried to Google Mediterranean townhouses and I looked up Mediterranean house plants. I was sat here like, why is that? What, why are those pictures there? Um, cause you said house plants. So, sorry, everybody's typing cow plant. So I think that my brain is just like, it's turned to mush while I'm trying to do this. Sorry. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> Victoria, thank you for the donation. Renly, uh, Tana, Tia, thank you all for those donations to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, Okay, so, um, okay, so this is a really tiny, tiny image. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Can you see it? <laughs> no, no one can see it. What if we did something kind of like that though? Like a series of them all attached. That might be kind of cute. And they can have like a pretty fence in the front. And plus we could probably use the new fences for this because it kind of matches the vibes a little bit. Um, AJ, thank you for the donation. Gail with the $10. Victoria, thank you for those donations to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, with shared spaces like bathrooms. Oh, that's like a sort of different vibe is to have them share bathrooms. I know some people wanted to play test that a little bit. Um, so you're kind of talking about like, say we were playing with the land grabs. Um, and trailer park. I see the spams about trailer parks. I would like to do one of those kind of builds too, but I might wait until we have more packs um, before we do that. Um, so just just so you know. Also, we are still doing giveaway of The Sims 4 Cottage Living. You can type the word cow plant in the chat, but they're talking about like, oh, I just closed the donation tab. I can't see any of them. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, I was trying to, oh God, I clicked on the wrong tab. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Um, sim simply Angelique Crossing, thank you for the donation. We got Sarah, uh, Malin, Caitlin. Araya, um, Chiola, thank you so much. Um, you are so generous for that donation. Thank you so much for doing that. I cannot thank you enough. Um, uh, and Gail, thank you everybody for, for this. This is so cool. Um, okay, I think, um, I think, oh gosh, Ben, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that it deleted your message. Uh, it's, that was a, it was a, ca a, a character count thing. You didn't do anything wrong. Um, you didn't do anything wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have Twi I have Twitch automatically delete messages that have too many characters. Yours was fine. But sometimes, you know, when people put like, they, they make like images out of text. <laughs> this all started a few years ago in the heat and the height of Among Us when there was this copy pasta going around where it was an Among Us character with a, I don't wanna say it, with a body part. So I had to, I said, no, we can't type things in chat that have too many characters. Um, you can't do that. <laughs> um, so, so anyway, long story short, I have a character limit in my Twitch chat, but sometimes it gets honest people that are just typing regular messages and they're not supposed to get deleted. But you know, um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, now you understand the problem. <laughs> Thank Jinx, thanks for the $100. Uh, and Mar, 
Um, cats are cold. Two of your Sims cats died and one of them disappeared. Oh, that's very bad. I'm sorry. Um, that's a bad glitch. Toshi, thanks for the $50 Sable Gamers too. Uh, okay, what people are saying is like, if we made this into a residential rental, and then imagine that I turned this into like unit number one, and they had a private bathroom, and then I turned this into unit number two, and they had a private bathroom, probably a private balcony too, because um, this one has a... And then the rest of it is a shared space. This is kind of how I envision myself playing most times. So what you could do is like maybe when, when Malcolm Landgrab gets old, you could have him have this as his own space, his parents have their own bedroom, and the rest of the house is shared. And this is like, if you wanted to have like a basement unit that you rent out to grandma, like that's probably how I'm gonna end up playing a lot of times, um, is, is doing stuff like that. Um, and you could do it for like university housing, you could have like all separate units. There's just so many ways to use this because you can customize it by the room. So you can like totally individually decide which one is which and which one goes where. Um, so I really like the idea of that. I, I don't know, I just think it's so fun. <laughs> uh, BPG, thank you for the $10. Video games meant a lot to you when you were sick, would love to help others. Yeah, you know, um, when my dad was first diagnosed and when my dad underwent his bone marrow transplant, um, when he was on, he, my dad is still on chemo. He does like maintenance chemo still, but like when he was first diagnosed, they hit him hard with the chemo. Like, like it was, it was rough, right? Um, and one of the really unfortunate side effects of the chemo and the steroid they put you on is the chemo, the chemo makes you extremely sick and then the steroid makes it so you can't sleep. <laughs> so my dad was like taking this, this chemo and the steroid at the same time, miserable, can't sleep, literally up all night constantly. And he would play Ark, like Ark Survival Evolved or whatever, that the dinosaur game. He would play it like all night, all night for years or for like the whole time, you know, um, when he was undergoing all of that. Um, He's still on the both of those things now, um, and it still sucks, but it's not as, as heavy of a dose as it was like when he was first diagnosed. Um, but but like video games are such a like a lovely thing for stuff like that, you know, because he's like awake all night by himself um, and he was playing a lot of games. So um, anyway, I didn't mean that as a sad story. I meant that as like a, I relate to what you're saying and a lot of people have that experience. Um, games are a powerful thing for stuff like that, so. I forgot about the giveaway. <laughs> okay, sorry, we're, we're currently doing a giveaway for, for The Sims 4 Cottage Living. I was talking, I forgot. That's why they're all saying cow plant because there's a giveaway still open. Um, type the word cow plant for a chance to win cottage living. I'll draw the winners in a second. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> type the word cow plant. Uh, we got three winners for a PC and Mac code of cottage living. Um, and I'll, I'll draw the first one now because you guys have typed, typed it a long time ago. It's JXN Holden is the first winner of Cottage Living. Um, I will get you your code in just a minute. Uh, and then we got two more where that came from. And don't worry, I have a lot of uh, codes. I bought, I bought like quite a few codes this morning before I went live. So we have more where that came from. Um, the second winner is going to be Miss Madeline. Miss Madeline, congratulations, my friend. Also, you're gonna get a copy of Cottage Living. Um, let me open up your whispers so I can send you your code. And the third and final winner of Cottage Living is Susie Nami. Susie Nami, congratulations. You are also gonna get a copy of Cottage Living. <laughs> and again, I have more where that came from. I don't have more codes of Cottage Living, but I have more expansion packs. Um, I bought all expansion pack codes today. So, um, the only expansion pack I don't have, um, is so, um, is, is this one. Oh, no, that's not true. Why did I say that? I don't have all of them. I bought a lot of recent ones, but not this one. I don't have this one, um, because this one is not out yet. So, <laughs> okay, sorry, I sent them all their codes. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, those are for PC. They're not for console, unfortunately, Silent Night. But they are global. They are global. Um, Plant C, thank you for the $50 donation to Able Gamers. Uh, Control Shift C, Jupiter. Um, we got Jenny with the $50. Thank you so much for those donations, everybody. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, okay, let's go and see. So no, but two, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm so sorry. I didn't buy any of that one. I didn't buy any of that one. Um, okay, so let's start building 
If we're gonna do a set of townhouses, should it be over here? Or should we do it on like a... What if we did it on this lot? Because it's a 40 by 30 lot, there's a little bit more space. And then we can have them kind of match these. Trailer park? Guys, I see your trailer park spam. Trust me, I've seen so many comments about it. I think I want to hold off until we have all the packs. Um, I, we're, this is going to be kind of a generic base game build because we only have the base game and this and the new pack. So I want to wait until we have like more options when we have all the packs for, for the future, you know? Did I buy a My First Pet Stuff code? No, and thank God I didn't because um, all the packs are free. <laughs> Um, all, not all the packs. Sorry, my first pet stuff is free right now, so you sh no one should be spending money on it right now. It's free. Elder community slash retirement complex. Oh, see? That kind of thing is so fun! I love that idea. I love that idea. Wait, guys, I have an idea. This is a little bit different of a vibe than what I was originally gonna go for, but imagine for a second, what if we had the units kind of like this, okay? And then they have like a, a shared um, like courtyard and pool space in the middle. Okay. I think that looks kind of cool, right? So then they have like a courtyard with a pool. We'll get like a nice fence. And then that's all shared. And then they have like a few separate units all kind of in rows. I don't know. I, I think I like that idea. Buffy, thanks for the $25 stable gamers. Uh, and Pink with the dollar trade. Thank you so much. Um, I love that. It's giving smiley face. It kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is giving smiley face. Okay, should I record this? This is the problem. I never know if I should post speed builds that were made during the CFE because like the watermark is so annoying. Cause like it's fast right now, but imagine I speed this up and then it's like do 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 <laughs> zooming around. Uh, but I'll record it anyway, just in case. How about that? There's no harm in recording it and then not using it. So, um, but <laughs> it's not that bad right now. But I think when it's sped up, it's kind of bad, right? You hardly pay attention. Okay, that's good. That it doesn't bother you. That makes me feel better. Okay, let's start. But it's, it's good to record it just in case we do end up wanting to upload it, right? So, okay, how many units should this be? That's the question. I guess they're gonna be two stories, right? So, um, they can be like that. So that'll be four units back there. And maybe they can have some bigger houses in the front. Why does it move around? Um, it moves around because this is like a, it's a separate version of the game that they've made on purpose, um, to like deter leaks. <laughs> um, so it's, it's a special early access version and they put the watermark there so that people can't really leak it is kind of the, the idea. Um, so there's a watermark so that way if uh, something leaks, they would know. Um, problem is... Like, footage, it moves around so it's fine. Screenshots? Not that hard to, uh, to avoid, <laughs> you know? Like, it can be, unfortunately, photoshopped out kind of easily from screenshots. Um, but it's rare that people leak stuff from the CFE. Um, did we just pass 15,000? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. $15,000 raise for Able Gamers. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? That's so cool. Thank you all so much. Um, Sebastian, I'm so glad that we can be a distraction for you, my friend. I'm so sorry. I'm sending you so much love. Um, uh, and Anigo, thank you for the $25 too. Thank you so much. What, what do I do? I'm still, by the way, I'm still matching donations, just so you all know. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't met the match yet, so anytime you donate, probably for the rest of the stream, um, I, I will, uh, it will be matched by me, which is kind of cool. Um, so, maybe I'll, I'll, should we, like, should we raise the goal? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe? I think so. We should raise the goal. Let's put it up a little bit. We have a little bit more time, so... 
17,500, how about that? <laughs> how about that? Okay, so what I was thinking, right, is that we would have um, kind of like a big pool space, like over here. Well, I kind of would like for the units to have backyards. So I don't know. I kind of want to have their own private backyard. Well, what if, okay, what if we did private backyards instead of the, the private courtyard that they have in the front? And their front is a little bit more shared. I think that's better, right? Oh God, I'm messing up big time. Okay. Maybe not two buildings in the front. I kind of like the idea of the two buildings in the front. I know it seems kind of weird, but I kind of like the thought of it because it's because it's kind of weird. Like, I think it's kind of fun. The idea of having like a, a courtyard in between them all, you know? I don't know, maybe it's a bad idea. <laughs> Molly, Arakantha, thank you both for those donations, those huge donations to Able Gamers. Um, okay. And then maybe we have like, well, so these people, I think that their, um, their unit is gonna be like, kind of, Well, maybe I'll do it like that. What if, what if their units were like, kind of this way? Okay, maybe. We'll change the shape of them, but these could be like slightly bigger units, perhaps? I don't know. And that makes them six units. Sunny, you are sitting so funnily. That's really, really weird. Oh, hi, Steve. Welcome in. Steve, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, wait. Okay, um, what I'm going to tell you right now is gonna sound so bad, but it's not my fault. Okay? Good, we're on the same page. Um, basically, we discover there's a Sim Townie, new Townie, just in the pack. Guess what? The guy's name is Steven Pawn. Steven Pawn is the full name of this townie. Turns out it's a play on Stephen King, but I swear to God, the guy's name is Stephen Pawn. Made us laugh out loud, right? Well, the, the, the problem arises now. You're not gonna like this part. Um, he's dead now because, because I was his landlord and I let his house get infected with mold and then he died. But it, it um, so, <laughs> it sounds really bad, but, but it was for science. We had to experiment with the new pack stuff. The people, they had to know what came in the pack. So I had to show them. Anyway, <laughs> Sarah, thanks for the dollar to Able Gamers. And Riley and Molly with the huge donations. We got Jean with $100 and someone else anonymously gave $100. Thank you so much. Also, that's Sunny. She's a kitten. Um, okay. So here's kind of like our little townhouse complex vibe that we've got going on here. Um, I can scoot that over probably. I think I'll have these units. I think I'll have their front doors be on the side. I think that seems pretty good to me. And we'll make them a little bit more interesting shaped, but this is kind of just like the starting point. Yeah. Um, four units back, four, yeah, there we go. Could I raise the pool up? Oh, I guess we maybe could. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet. We'll have to see. Um, Clover, thank you for the $50 Sable Gamers as well. Thank you so much. What are we building? Oh, we're gonna try and build like a apartment complex. I guess it's more of like a townhouse complex than an apartment complex, but we're gonna try and build a set of little townhouses using um, the new pack. 
and have oops and have them be functional we we just did a set in willow creek and then earlier today and yesterday we built some in the new world so we're we're trying to do some in oasis springs kind of as like a fun um a fun change to like try out some of the new stuff and the new items um so that's what we're up to right now this is a 40 by 30 lot and it's kind of nearby to where the calientes live if you're familiar with um with those sims um your cousin lives in one of those yeah i lived in a townhouse for years i lived in a house kind of like this for a long time well ours wasn't this fancy this is gonna be fancy but <laughs> i lived in a townhouse for a long time um I moved out too soon. I should have stayed another year. <laughs> then I would have been there when the pack came out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kushi, thank you for the $25. Table gamers, uh, I really, really appreciate that. Oh, also, if you guys are just tuning in, I know I usually go live about this time, so you might be just getting here. Um, so if you're just tuning in, you are going to be so excited to hear that, guess what? My cat, Snap, you know, you know my beloved, my beloved cat, um, who I've had a lot longer than these two little things. Um, she was in here for like a while earlier. We had Snap on the cat cam and then all three of them were in here and I had all the cats on the cat cam for a little bit. <laughs> so it's been a very fun day. We had, we had a lot of cat happening. <laughs> um, lots of cat going on, on, on the, um, stream today, so. I thought you would be excited about that. <laughs> oh, now she's standing on the window. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, but yeah, we had, there was a lot of cat going on. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I don't know if I like these or not. I think I might want to stagger them a little bit more. I don't know if it's a good idea. That's gonna end up making some of them bigger than the others. Oh no, that looks terrible. Never mind. Don't stagger them a bit more. Bad idea. Bad idea. Do my kittens bite the window blinds? I don't have blinds in these windows, so thankfully not. Because that would be bad. That would be bad. Is it gonna be base game? It'll be base game and the new pack is kind of what we're going for. Um, it'll it'll be using both the base game and the new pack, I think. Once there's like trim and windows and stuff, it'll come together be better. Um, hey Faz, thanks for the five dollar staple gamers too. Guys, I didn't see. Did Steve ever type about after I said that uh, Sim Steve died? Cause just so we're clear. It wasn't him. It was it was a random. Oh, he did. Okay, good. Sorry, I didn't see. I had to make sure that he's not mad at me. I didn't do anything. It was it was the game. So, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm liking this so far. I think that's kind of cool. I am probably gonna put like a, something like that in. Do you guys think we should use all the new stuff like this? I think so. Pigeon, thanks for the $25, Sable Gamers, and Kyra with the $15. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. And OG, thanks for the $50, Sable Gamers too. What is going on right now? <laughs> Did we just pass $16,000 raise? <laughs> Oh, sorry, Sunny, if I scared you with that. My bad. My bad, my bad. Okay. Okay. Um. Sunny's in her own world. She really is. She's, she's busy. There's much to look out out that window. There's actually nothing to look out out that window. <laughs> That window looks at the neighbor's roof. The houses are, you know, close together and neighbor's roof. <laughs> there's not much to see, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't think there's probably any birds either, but it's okay. <laughs> as long as she likes it, that's all that matters. I think we should use the new windows too, because these look really good, I feel like. Um, 
I think it'll be a nice touch to, to include the new stuff everywhere as well. Okay, maybe I'll just... No, go back down. Go back down. No. No. Where did it go? There we go. Sorry. One, two. Okay. Oops, I messed it up. One, two. One, two. Okay. Yeah, I think that the new stuff actually fits in Oasis Springs quite well, I would say. So that's pretty good. Um, it, it looks pretty, pretty decent in Oasis Springs. Okay, I might try and give them, like, a slight little bit of separation for their units. Um, even, oh, that's in the wrong spot. <laughs> What did I just do? Okay, that goes there. That way they have like a little bit of separate space. And then I can put some landscaping here and we'll try and make them all look kind of unique and, and cute like that. So, um, shout out to fellow retail warriors. Take care of yourselves in this busy season. Thank you for the donation. Seriously, anyone working retail right now, our, our thoughts are going out to you. We love you um, and you got this. <laughs> You'll get through it. You can do it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, out the front door, straight into the pool. Yeah, isn't that kind of nice? I like that. I think that's cool. Okay, should we put something like this to cover their landscaping, maybe? I don't know. I think that's gonna be nice. Oh, Raccoon, don't worry. Uh, so, I don't know which one you forgot, but I'm gonna post in the Discord tonight. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of, like, Google Forms, uh, in case you, like, didn't get to fill out the form, or if you, like, forgot to claim the, the reward in your donation, or whatever, so I, I will make sure that I, um, I, I give you some Google Forms so I get your Discord usernames and all, all that stuff. Um, so if you forgot to claim it, it's totally fine. I'll, I'll get you access to the form for it, so it's gonna be alright. I, I haven't made it yet, because obviously I'm still live, but... Um, there will be a Google form to make sure you can get all your rewards, even if you forgot to claim them on Tiltify. Do not worry. Um, okay, I don't know if this big stuff is good or not. Um, oh, that looks really nice. Oh my goodness, that's perfect, I think. Wait, you guys. This is kind of like exactly what I was going for. I really like those back balcony, balcony items. And we can put, maybe we can have um, like shorter windows on the second floor and the rest of it. But this kind of looks like a, I don't know, some sort of, it almost looks like you can open it and step out there, except you can't. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. I like that. Um, okay. Are you reading subs today? Fanta, I'm so sorry. I don't, I, to be completely brutally honest with you, I don't even have the sub thing open. Um, I've been trying to focus on reading the donations on purpose. Uh, I do not mean to like disregard and ignore your subs because I love you all and you are very generous for subscribing to me. <laughs> uh, but I usually during the charity streams, I try to prioritize reading out the charity donations um, instead of being like, thanks for subbing to me. <laughs> Thank you for paying me, <laughs> you know? Um, I hope that makes sense. That's kind of the goal. Um, but anyway, Jess, thank you for the $40. Your orange cat, Rosie, wants to say hi to Sunny the Void. I almost named her Rosie, I swear to you. But then I wanted to name them all S names to be like sewer this, sewer that. I almost named her, I almost named her Rosie. That's so funny. I like the name Rosie a lot. I was, I wanted to give her a human name. The thing is when I named these cats, I didn't know that I was gonna adopt two of them. <laughs> I didn't know that I was gonna keep any of them at all, so I, I kind of gave them like, I was thinking, oh, just pick like some sort of generic names and then we'll change them if, if we adopt them or whatever. But then I ended up keeping their names, so. <laughs> oh my god, Natalie! Thank you for the $125 donation to Able Gamers. Thank you, and Mallory as well, both of you. Thank you both so much for those massive donations. And good luck with your finals, by the way. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, ND, thank you for the $10 too. Thank you. Um, okay, okay. I'm feeling good about this so far. Those look pretty cute. 
Um, for rent, let's get, I guess we can do two on the upstairs of the little ones, right? Does that look good or do you think it looks weird? Um, that one is actually scooted over and that lines up better with the downstairs and that's in fact better. So, okay, collection of little identical townhouses. Um, love how Kayla thinks shrimp is a generic cat name. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. I don't know. I just, I, I kind of just like gave them some names. I, we didn't think about it that long. Um, and, and now their, their names are stuck. So, <laughs> so yeah, I've got four rent right now, Barbara. They're letting us for the first time ever. I'm actually able to stream with the CFE version of the game too, um, which we can't normally do. So this has been kind of exciting. Um, it's been an exciting few days. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, no, my parents, they, they kept the name, the names of the other kittens too. We kept all of their names. Um, okay. So let's put this like this. Let's get this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the back of these buildings either, but we'll see how that goes. Um, Okay, so these ones obviously are slightly different and they're slightly bigger than the other ones are. We have a little bit more space in these. Um, so I'm gonna try to like, I don't know. Oh, she curled up in a little ball. She's so cute. Um, I'm wondering if maybe I should put like, oh, you know what I should do actually is put it further forward on the lot so we can get some landscaping. That makes their little patio smaller, but they have a bigger house, so they'll get over it. They'll be fine. <laughs> Elmi, thank you for the for the uh, seven dollars to Able Gamers as well. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Okay. So what do we think about that for the side of the building? That was kind of my initial thought. And then maybe I'll put, I don't know, like some sort of landscaping down here in the front of the building. Seafoam pudding and Leah the dog with the $25 staple gamers as well. Fanta, thank you for the dollar. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, okay. Okay, you think it's too much? Oh, really? Give me, give me time. I think we'll make it work. I, I believe that we can make it work. I believe. Not too much. Okay, someone else said not too much. <laughs> I don't know then. I'm thinking the front door is gonna be on this side. Um, I like having a lot of windows on the front side of the building. From the gallery photo, it's gonna look like this, which is gonna be kind of weird, but it's okay. It is okay. Um, all right, Marty, oh my goodness, thank you for the $100 to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, that is very, very, very generous of you. Okay, there we go, something like that kind of what I was envisioning. Um, okay. Column, column. <laughs> Nada Devil, thank you so much. You worked in retail this time last year in one of the biggest malls for near, nearby for thousands of people. Oh my gosh. That is chaotic. I, I bet it was really busy this time of year last year in like the big mall. Ooh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You made it through, you made it through. Um, yeah, Faith, you got a fundraiser going on right now. We're raising money for Able Gamers today. Um, we have today so far raised almost $17,000 for Able Gamers, and I am currently matching donations. So if you donate right now, uh, I will match your donations. So it will basically be double. If you give $5, actually it's 10, because I'll donate as well. <laughs> so, uh, Jamie with the $100, actually $200 though. See, <laughs> you can you can actively spend my money. 
If you donate right now, you'll watch it go up. That's my money spending along with yours. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can actively cost me money too. Um, okay, I'm gonna give them, I think I'll put like a little overhang like this and then I'll copy this. Spend Simsy's money, spend Simsy's money. That's the spirit chat, you got it. Um, oops, no, no, there we go. Oh wait, I don't really love that to be honest. Maybe I'll put this on the edge. I think I don't like it because it makes the, the side of the building like, this side's kind of in its flop era. You know, but we'll figure it out. It'll be okay. <laughs> we can get through this. Yeah, the stuff from this pack really does match the world quite well, doesn't it? I'm I'm impressed by that. I think that's cool. Um, oops, okay. So they are gonna wanna have a slight privacy wall for their front door, huh? Um, and they're probably also gonna wanna have a slight bit of landscaping in their front yard like the other ones had. I don't know how we'll do this just yet. We'll see. But that's kind of what I was picturing. I think. Maybe the pool should be longer and less wide. We can maybe do that. We'll see. It's actually a really big pool. It doesn't need to be as big as it is. Um, the pool is like exceptionally large at the moment, so. Um, okay. Okay, okay. I think I may give them also a little column for the supports on this thing. I don't know. I don't know. We do also have this, which I don't know if it's gonna... It takes up a lot of room, but it does look cool. So who knows, maybe I could use that right there. That comes in the same, like, uh, maybe it should just be white. We'll see if we can make that look good or not. I'm not really sure yet. This is not really how this is intended to be used, but I think it looks cool, so. <laughs> Randalina, thank you for the hundred dollars to Able Gamers. We got Steel Malia with the fifty dollars, and Kayla Olivia with the fifty dollars. I love your name. We just passed seventeen thousand dollars raised for Able Gamers, by the way, Chad. This is very cool. Thank you so much. Um. Okay. Grab that. I'll put that there. Um. I can put two, I guess we could do two like smaller windows up here. Can I scoot them like that though? You can't tell from the bottom, right? No, I haven't saved recently. I probably should. <laughs> Let me do that quick. Steve is fun, who says, I'm just here to spend Kayla's money. Steve, I get it. That was a good call. $10, but it was actually 20 because you spent my money. See? <laughs> See, that's the spirit, that's the spirit. Okay. Um, I'm liking that so far. I think that this part is looking kind of bad, unfortunately. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Front gate? Oh, it would be nice if we had a front gate, huh? Does it, if I put this here, oh, what? Please don't be a room. Please don't be a room, that's bad. Maggie, thank you for the $50. Love Able Gamers, been watching the charity stream since you were in college. Oh my goodness, that makes me feel old. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed the charity streams. That means a lot to me though. Um, Maybe the market entrance, like the big fancy one? Oh, that could be an idea. What are you doing? Oh, why is that happening? Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. We have to kind of cheat it a little bit. 
um, by taking this and grabbing it. Uh, and Moni, thank you for the donation table gamers too. Okay. That's the way. Build and then move. So we do have this really lovely gate, which to be honest, looks perfect. That one, technically, I think it's supposed to match the other fence. I think that matches this fence, but that is like the exact vibes we're going for, so. Can I use the like more reddish toned roof or is the, no, no, keep the orange one, it's fine. That looks so good. I could probably give them a side gate. Oh, the pool's not centered though. Well, we'll we can figure out the side gate later. I really like this build. I think this is so cool. <laughs> I really love that we can do this now. I like this whole pack, the whole concept has just completely changed my life. I know I'm being so dramatic, but like it really has changed everything about how I want to play with this, you know? Um, looks like a hotel you've been to, really? That's so cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna give them, I think I'll give them like a little bit of an overhang on the back too, because we need to have a place for the back door. Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, one sec. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's good for the outside. Do I want to put this? No, I don't. Okay. Would I ever build Sulani apartments? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is going to absolutely devastate you and ruin your day. You can't build rental residential lots in Sulani on the the waterfront lots. You also can't build them on, um, you also can't build them on the penthouse lots from San Maishuno. I'm so sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. So sorry. I know, it's horrible. Um, but that's just how it works. I can't play test that either. I only have the base game and the, the pack, obviously, um, as we know at the moment, so I can't play test it, but um, that is what they have said, unfortunately. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. I think I'm gonna put out here, I'd like to get like a slight, um, Something like this. So they can have a slight overhang for their yards, perhaps? Oh my goodness, Romantic, thank you for the $75. Uh, Ginger Snap, thank you for the donation to Able Gamers too. We just finished the goal. I raised the goal to 17,500. I didn't think we were gonna get there. <laughs> it's going up really quick. Thank you all so much. Should I increase the goal again to 20,000? <laughs> Thank you all so much for helping us do this. This has really, really been such a uh, amazing, amazing stream. I'm so grateful for you all. This is really cool. Um, let's just commit. Let's commit. I'm still, the donation match is still going on. We've only spent, only spent, you guys have only spent 3,000 of my dollars and I pledged 5,000 of my dollars. So there is still $2,000 of matching donations available if you have not donated yet and you've been thinking about it. If you donate right now, um, I'm matching right now. So, um, you've, they've only spent 3,000 of my dollars. <laughs> so, you still got 2,000 more that you can spend, chat. I'm just saying. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds really bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Spent? Yeah, well, so I, I'm matching donations. I, it's kind of a, a, you know, I'm joking a little bit because I already pledged to match that much, but, um, when you donate right now, because I'm matching, you can like basically spend my money. Cause when you donate, I'll donate because of you. So that is how it works. I'm gonna give them a sliding glass door for their backyards. I think that's kind of nice to have the like nicer private sliding doors. Um, 
You loved the long YouTube video, did you? I'm really glad you liked it. Um, yeah, I, I posted my longest YouTube video ever today. It's uh, over like an hour and a half long. It's like an hour and 48 minutes or something. I forget exactly how long it was, um, but I posted my longest YouTube video ever earlier. <laughs> so, um, it's been a big day for content, streaming for seven hours and also posting a two hour long YouTube video. <laughs> How much more content can you make in one day, Kayla? <laughs> Katie, thanks for the $125 donation to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's you you kinda um you're gonna be like sick of Lil Simsy after this. <laughs> this is the kind of video that I personally would watch over the course of multiple days. Um, because it, you know, it's a it's a long one, but I I wanted to give you guys like a bunch of gameplay content of the new pack. So that was the idea and it worked. <laughs> Hopefully you liked it. Um, but there's also three hours of regular Simpson content every day. Yeah, that's true. I do, I mean, I post a, or I stream every day. So I, that's a lot of Simpson content on a daily basis too. Oh, that looks bad right there. Maybe I'll give them, what if I gave them a wall? in between those. So they have a little bit more privacy in between the units. That might be kind of nice, right? That's like ideal, uh oh, ideal scenario is to have a wall there so they don't have to look at them that much. More privacy between yourself and the neighbors. This one can be open though. Oh, that looks bad, never mind. Put the wall, put the wall. <laughs> GT Monica, thank you for the $100 donation to Able Gamers. What is going on right now? Did I press the button for 18,000 yet? What is going on? <laughs> uh, Kate with the dollar, Lolly with the $25, Michaela with the $20, we got Victoria with the $20, Bonnie with the $10, Jenny with the $75. Uh, G Pettigrew with the five dollars, Molly with the five dollars, Charter Sauce with a hundred dollars, uh, Katie with a hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> Thank you so much. What the heck? <laughs> you, when I said you could spend my money, you said absolutely I will be doing that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sunny is like deeply asleep. We can't really even. I can, I can try and um. Hold on. Let me. Oh, wrong thing. Help! 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 Ah! I pressed like every single scene by accident. I wanted to zoom her in for you, um, so you can see her a little bit better. Cause the tiny cat is asleep and you can't really see her when she's that far away. I'm <laughs> sorry, I, <laughs> I pressed like every single one of my scenes. <laughs> I was trying to find that one. I <laughs> it was like a slideshow of all of Lil Simsy's uh, Twitch scenes. There you go. There you go. Um, you're doing so well, yeah, I know. <laughs> Rue, thank you so much. They said, as someone who is disabled and needing more accessibility in games, I just want to say thank you so much for doing this. It really means a lot. Rue, thank you so much for, for the donation. That means a lot to me. Oh, she woke up. Hi, Tiny. If you're just tuning into the stream, by the way, uh, and you're wondering who the heck that is, and also why her arm is shaved like that, because you can kind of see it if you look up close. Um, this is little Tiny Sunny. Um, she got spayed a couple days ago. So she's got a bald spot on her tummy and on her arm where the, um, where the IV was <laughs> and stuff. Um, but she's a, she's a little tiny kitten that I found in a sewer. I'm, I, you can't make this stuff up. I found her in a sewer a few months ago, her and her brother and her other brother and her mom. And I adopted her and her brother and my parents adopted the mom and the other baby, so. Um, Exciting stuff. <laughs> no, Shrimp's neuter appointment is next week. Um, he's got a he's got a big day next week. <laughs> Sorry, that's a, a horrible way of describing it, but it's true. <laughs> Shrimp's big day is next week. Oh yeah, the mom has been spayed. The mom the mom got spayed a while back. The vets wanted to wait until the babies were six months old to spay them, um, but the the mom got spayed as soon as she stopped nursing. Um, Following the vet advice on these ones, because I I don't know, but um, the vet wanted to wait until the the baby stopped nursing to neuter mom or to neuter mom to spay the mom, um, and then we uh, 
got the babies when they were six months old was was the plan of the vet so um it's been six months well we found them when they were about five weeks old um and they're about six months old now so um that is the situation um should i give you some like little a different kind of bush perhaps for some privacy Lucy Gal, thanks for the $20, Ananas with the $10, and we got Alice with the $50 to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, that is so generous of you. Thank you. Where did the mama cat go? Oh, my, so my parents adopted her. My, my sister, so the mom cat, um, she had been a stray that my sister had seen around for maybe like a month or two um, before we found out that she had babies. We had no idea she was pregnant or that she had babies, obviously, until we saw the babies. Uh, but she had been a stray that my sister had been seeing around a little bit. Um, and we weren't sure if she like belonged to a neighbor, but she seemed quite small and skinny. So we thought she probably is a stray, um, but we, we didn't really know. So they were thinking about trying to trap her. My sister had been leaving food out for her, trying to figure out if we could catch her and then maybe bring her into the vet to see if she was microchipped, all this. That was kind of the vibes. Um, that was the situation. She was just trying to get Frankie to like her better so that she could try and catch her and bring her to the vet. Well, then the neighbor calls us and she says, hey, is that little black cat yours? And we said, the, which little black cat? <laughs> and she said, you know, the little black one. And we said, well, no, it's not ours, it's this stray. We've been feeding it and maybe trying to catch it. Um, and she said, okay, well, it has kittens. And we said, what? Um, are you sure? And she said, yeah, they're all in the sewer. They just went in front of my house. Um, <laughs> and so we thought that Frankie was a kitten because she was so small and she is a kitten, but she also had babies, three of them. Um, and so we took them all uh, and we brought them to the vet and then I uh, kept them together, raised them together until the babies were old enough to be weaned from mom um, was kind of the situation. We just got $19,000 raised for Able Gamers, by the way. <laughs> Blaze, thank you for the $2. AG with the $50. Uh, we got Whiskey with the $25. Scholar with the $10. Eccentric with the $10. $20, sorry, oh my goodness. Um, uh, for, from you and your brother. Uh, and we also have Jazzy Jen, who just donated $250 to Able Gamers. <laughs> thank you so much. That was so unbelievably generous of you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what do you guys think about that landscaping? With the little orange flowers? Is that too much orange? Should I try and get like another color? What if we did the dark blue? That might be kind of a fun addition to the like orange with the contrast. So we've got another color going on. I think I like the blue. You like the orange? Oh, okay. I don't know what I wanna do. Um, I think I like the blue. I feel like that looks kind of good. We'll do similar landscaping in front of each of them, but then I'll furnish them all differently. Like we'll try and have some more personality in inside the like front yards and stuff. I don't know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Can't really see the blue. Yeah, that's the only problem is you can't really make out the dark blue. We could do like the purple because that's a little bit more obvious. Might be a little better than the blue. Do you like the purple better? We could also just do red, but I kind of, I want to do something. I want to have like another color incorporated because everything is red and orange right now. So I'm trying to get another color to look at. I think, I don't know. I like the blue, but the purple is easier to see. So I'm not sure what's best. My husband, Jeremiah, thank you so much. You just used Able Gamers as an example to explain the connection between disability and gaming for your college essay. This charity means a lot to me as a disabled person. Thanks, Simsy. That's really cool that you got to write about them for school. That's amazing. Um, that's really, really cool. I'm glad, I hope that you did, I, I hope that you did well on your assignment. That's awesome. Um, and Sydney, thanks for the $50 sample gamers too. You guys, this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, okay. What if each has a different color flower? I think that what I wanna do with these, because these are like identical townhouses. So there's like kind of different types of row homes that you see in real life. Um, there's the type like this, where everything is identical and it's like copy paste and and like probably some like management company runs the building and you all pay HOA dues. Um, 
that's like the first kind, <laughs> right? Um, that's like the first kind of uh, uh, townhouse type. Um, this is bad. I don't want that to be down. I want that to be... Ugh. I'm gonna have to redo all that because it made itself a room. Uh, but then there's there's also... Wait, what did I say first? There's two kinds. One that's like all identical and one that is like sort of all separate. Everyone owns the whole exterior. They can do what they want on the exterior. Those are like the two different kinds of um, townhouse types. And this one is, is like the... They probably hire a landscaping company and the landscaping company does all of the exterior stuff. Um, and, and it's all identical on the outside, but their interiors are different. I, I'm kind of basing this off of like my old house, the townhouse that I used to live in. I should clarify, my townhouse wasn't this nice, <laughs> but it was like a row of all completely identical houses. So um, that's kind of what I'm going for. Is Twitch lagging? Oh, that's bad. I think it's Twitch and not me though. Sleepy, thanks for the five dollars to Able Gamers. Uh, Marty, thank you for the forty nine fifty eight to Able Gamers. And Sydney, thank you for the fifty dollars. I really appreciate that. Oh yeah, we'll change the pool trip. I haven't done it yet, potatoes. I just I just had like the default one there still for now. I hadn't changed the pool trim yet, guys. There's like nine hundred dollars left of of my match. By the way, you've got like nine hundred bucks left of my money to spend if you are. Uh, if you are interested uh, in donating and you were, have been thinking about it, now is a good time because I'm still matching um, and it, it hasn't gone away yet. I, I promised to match $5,000 and the match has about 900 left still. So you can make me spend a little bit more <laughs> if you would like. Uh, Theory, thank you for the $25 stable gamers. Um, okay, I, I think I might put it up on the platform because then we can get a slightly more interesting situation going on here. Um, can I do a little staircase? If I put this staircase like this, does that look bad? Oh, let's use one of the ones from the base game because the tile ones look cooler. Oh yeah, that's way better. Way, 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 way better. I like that. Are all four of these different, but they have the same color? tile or no no of course they're not very orange that's okay doesn't that look kind of cool with the staircase in front what do you guys think about that i like that better okay good <laughs> madam thank you for the 25 dollars stable gamers and casey thank you for the donation all right i think now is probably a good time oh never mind there's ads playing okay i was gonna say now's a good time for us to do a um a giveaway, but there's ads playing, so let's hold off on that one for a sec, probably. Um, that is messed up now. Why did that one work and the other one didn't? Oh, because of the... It's on the foundation. I see. I see. I'll do the giveaway as soon as the ads stop. Don't worry. Do not worry. Now I have to place them all again. Oh, is that still in the same... Oh, it's fine. Okay, good. Okay, good. Place that like that. And then last, I take this one and I place it right there. Oh, that's nice. There's no ads? That's good. Not everybody gets ads. I don't know how they determine who gets ads and who doesn't. Um, but not, it's, it's, it's like kind of random that time. As long as you're um, subbed, you won't get ads, but Everything else is kind of fair game, I think, um, is sort of how it works on Twitch with the ad situation. So if you didn't get one, that's lucky. <laughs> um, you win, basically. <laughs> oh my god, Laura, thank you for the $100 donation to Able Gamers. Uh, and Meg and Lennon, uh, thank you for those donations too. Guys, we just passed 20000 Sorry, Sunny. Sorry, sweetie. We just passed $20,000 raised for Able Gamers today. It's only been like five hours. That's unbelievable. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. I I really cannot thank you enough. This this cause really means a lot to me. Um, and it's really cool that you all care and, and you're like interested in helping and and um, and you're so generous to share your money, especially at a time like this where where you know with the holidays and, and with <laughs> inflation and all this everything's so expensive. It's so generous of you to do this. So thank you so much. I I uh, always feel very guilty asking. 
but I'm incredibly grateful that people are willing to donate. This is really cool. <laughs> That's, that includes the match, Sarah. That includes the match. Um, that does include the match. It's been counting the match in like the, the donation bar the whole time, so. Um, but we just raised $20,000. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. In one day as well. What is the white spot? Oh, on the cat? She got spayed on, it's, the angle is weird, but she got spayed on Tuesday. So her arm is shaved a little bit. Um, that's that's her paw. It's hard to tell. Here, I can pet her, so maybe she'll move. Um, this is her head, and then she's covering her face with her little paw. Um, sorry, Sunny, this is her little paw. <laughs> um, sorry, sweetie, I'm sorry. But her, uh, she got spayed on Tuesday. So they shaved her tummy and also a little bit of her arm because she had her IV, so. She's bald in a couple spots. <laughs> um, no, she doesn't have to have the cone on. She, um, so the vet said her stitches are interior. So there's not a risk of her pulling out her stitches. The risk is more that if she over grooms, she can get a rash on her tummy where this, this, uh, the wound is, but she's not been grooming it at all. So the first few nights I made her wear a, um, a little cat onesie, like to hide it from her. Um, and then during the day I would let her, like I would supervise her cause she hates it and she gets so floppy. Um, but she doesn't touch it. She doesn't mess with them at all. So she's not like, she really hasn't, she's been grooming herself and she mostly grooms like the, the line where her fur starts and stops where it's shaved, but she doesn't mess with the actual, like the wound. So she's okay. Like she hasn't done it a single time this whole time today. She's been on camera like all day, you know? Um, so she's, uh, it's good. I can show you a picture of her in her little onesie though, if you want to see. Um, it makes you feel real guilty because, so I also bought a cone. I bought her like a soft cone so I could see what worked best for her. So I knew what she would be most comfortable with. Um, and, and she liked the onesie better than the cone. The cone freaked her out. She did not like that at all. She was running like wild and panicking. Um, the onesie, she just flopped over and laid down. Cats don't like wearing clothes. So she kind of just got floppy when she had to wear it. Look at this. It is kind of cute though. It is kind of cute. This was the first day. So. <laughs> anyway, she was just a little baby. She's just a little onesie. <laughs> but it like Velcro's on the back and then it's like solid fabric on her tummy. It's got a hole for her butt and all of her legs and stuff, obviously. Um, and then it, it uh, was like protected her tummy so she wouldn't get, um, she wouldn't get messed up at all from her surgery, surgery stitches. Oh my God, what did I just miss? Cor <laughs> Corinne just donated $500 to Able Gamers. We are now at 21,000. Uh, it finished up the whole match and my donation came through so it officially charged me now. <laughs> um, it was counting in the total the whole time but it just now charged me because the match got met. Um, and Michaela, thank you for the $25 too. Corinne, thank you for donating $500. We just passed $21,000 raised for Able Gamers and it's it's only been five hours. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, Martha, thank you for the $25 too. There's not a match bar there anymore so I can put the cat cam up a little bit and I can put the not final software up a little bit too. There we go. There we go. Should we raise the goal? This is bold and brave, okay, chat? But I'm just gonna go for it. I think we can do 25,000. I think we can do 25,000. We've got three hours, right? No, we have two. Oh, we have two hours. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get off stream at seven. So, this'll be good. This'll be good. Staff, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers, too. If you guys are maybe just tuning in, um, and you've never heard of Able Gamers before and you're, you're kind of wondering about who they are and what they do. Um, Able Gamers is a charity that works to help make video games more accessible to everyone. Um, so when I say that, I mean by doing things like helping to get disabled folks access to like specialized controllers or other assistive tech that like fits their needs so that they can play games. And that ranges from a, a very wide range of really impressive technology. Um, I've, I've been talking a lot about how, for example, like, um, and this one's kind of simple, like these kind of controllers you can just buy, they're, they're really common, but um, like, a, like a regular controller, you know how it has buttons on both sides. If maybe you can only play with one hand, it's hard because you can't, you can't really reach the buttons over there. Um, so they make controllers that, for example, have buttons on the back. It has like these buttons back there 
so you can play it with just the one hand, um, which is pretty cool. They have um, a lot of controllers that maybe have like, um, uh, they're like big controllers. It has like all these same buttons, but across a big thing that can sit in your lap. Cause some people have a hard time holding this. Um, it's like a little heavy for them so they can sit it in their lap and then like press them a little bit farther apart and not have to hold it. Um, they have controllers that uh, maybe with a foot pedal, you know, like all kinds of different special stuff, depending on your needs. Um, they can help figure out what you need and then get you paired up with it. So that way everybody has access so that everybody can play games. Um, accessibility is really important and really powerful. And it's really cool what they do to help give that same access to everybody. Um, and thank you for helping us do this. <laughs> I know we've been talking a lot today about how much games mean to all of us um, and how we, I think we all are kind of on the same page about how uh, meaningful it is for us to help give that same ability to everybody, you know? Um, so it's a really cool charity. <laughs> it's a really cool place. Um, and also just to clarify again, even if you can't donate today, I don't want you to feel bad about that. The goal is never to like shame you because you can't donate. The The goal here is, is to, um, oops, this shouldn't be raised up. Uh, the goal here is just to help spread the word about Able Gamers. So even just you being here and like watching the stream and talking to us about this, that is, is more than I could have ever hoped for from you. So please don't feel bad if you can't donate. Um, I, I really mean it when I say that you just being here and hanging out with us is, is more than enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and actually I have a couple giveaway codes um, that maybe we could do now if you guys are interested. I have some codes for high school years. If you want to do a giveaway of high school years real quick, um, that might be kind of fun. So if you would like to enter, what should you type? I know. If you want to enter for a chance to win The Sims 4 High School Years, type the word cat in the chat. <laughs> Just cat, C-A-T. Uh, it's, a, it's a PC and Mac code for high school years. Um, we've been doing some expansion pack giveaways all day. Uh, we've got another one. It is global, so no matter where you are in the world, it'll work, but it's a PC and Mac code, so it won't work on console. I'm so sorry, but it does work on computers. Um, you can type that word cat in the chat for a chance to win. Did we just pa <laughs> $22,000, by the way, for Able Gamers. <laughs> Stoom, thank you for the $100 donation. Thank you so much. They said you inspire so many people. Don't be nice to me. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. I only do what I can because of you people, so thank you. Uh, Bentley and Finn stole mom's credit card with a paw print emoji. <laughs> Impressive dogs, they have learned to type. <laughs> um, dollar Tree, thank you for the dollar as well. Um, your little brother loves gaming and has physical disabilities, so it's very close to your heart. Let's do a dollar train. Thank you so much. Um, uh, Soxy with the hundred dollars, pretty yum. Anana for the seventy-five dollars. We got Sav with the fifty dollars. Sterling with the fifty dollars. Thank you so much. And you all can type that word "cat" in the chat, like I was saying a second ago, um, to enter for a chance to win the Sims Four High School Years. Should we use the new foundation? I don't think so. I don't think that looks very good with this style of building. I feel like we should go for something a little bit more like simple. I don't like, I don't think the stilts look nice, right? I actually don't think any of them look nice and I'm regretting putting a foundation, but it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. I don't like how this one is completely flat because we'd have to use that wallpaper and I don't like how it's like raised up. And I don't think the brick is good. What if we did this, but we made it lower and it's like only two high. No, it doesn't look good. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going through a lot right now trying to decide what to use. Um, I have, I bought a bunch of codes this morning, Boris, for a lot of the expansion packs. So we did like Cottage Living, Growing Together, Horse Ranch earlier. Right now we're doing high school years and I have three more expansion packs that I have codes for left um, that we'll do. So if you just missed it and uh, you're just getting here, we're doing a little giveaway of the Sims 4 high school years right now. And you can type the word cat in the chat for a chance to enter. Nope, a chance to win, not a chance to enter. You just, you are entered <laughs> as long as you type it. Um, everybody just gets one entry though. So don't worry about spamming it. Everybody has an equal shot. Um, okay. 
Okay, and don't worry, when the bot says added 17 entries, the bot doesn't type in chat every time it adds someone to the giveaway, uh, cause it, it gets a little bit too overwhelmed to be spending them all, to be typing them all. I can see them all loading. I promise that your entry goes through. There's like almost 900 entries total right now. I can see it. It like scrolls up. Um, look, that's what the bot looks like. Um, so I, I promise your entries are counting. <laughs> it can see them all in there. It can see them all in there. So don't worry. Um, Rachel, sweet music woman. Thank you both for those donations to Able Gamers too. It's getting up there actually. Might get to a thousand entries. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Um, but yeah, don't worry. You can type it. Um, all you gotta do is type it once. It counts as long as you typed it once. Every person only gets one entry. But if it makes you feel better to spam it, you can. Cause I get it. Like I would want to type it like three times just to be sure as well. <laughs> like what if I spelled it wrong, you know? <laughs> Uh, we're doing a giveaway of The Sims 4 high school years right now. So all you got to do is type the word cat in the chat for a chance to win. Um, and then we will draw the winners, okay? I'll give you a couple more seconds. Let me finish placing these lights down. And then I'll draw the winners, I think. I got three codes for high school years today. Um, this one is raised up and I'm not really 100% obsessed with that. But maybe it's okay if the patio is level in the back, because we can just hide the foundation. Oops. I can do something like this and then just hide the foundation and then we can like, I don't know. Have it raised, we don't, have to, we don't have to have stairs back here maybe. That seems pretty good. Age, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, wish you could have seen my panel about charity streams. Oh, that's really nice of you to say. Yeah, I did a panel about charity streaming at TwitchCon. Um, they did stream it, but I don't know if the VODs are still up. I'd have to look and see if I can find it. Um, and you don't need to watch it though. It wasn't that good. <laughs> it was okay. It wasn't that good. And AWC, they flip $50 to Able Gamers too. Okay, so I have, we're doing a giveaway of high school years right now. Type the word cat in the chat. There's been 1100 entries, almost 1200 entries. And I've got three winners, so I'm gonna draw them now, okay? Ready? The first winner of the Sims 4 high school years in three, two, one. The fern plant, the fern plant. Congratulations, my friend. You're gonna get a copy of high school years. Um, let me get your whispers open so I can send you the code. Congratulations, fern. Um, the second winner, logical Alex. Is that Tittles? Chat. I'm gonna need a fact check on this. Is that, is that Tittles the turtle? Or am I making that up? It is. <laughs> it's Tittles. <laughs> Their profile picture on Twitch is Tittles. <laughs> oh my God. Well, congratulations, Alex. Um, you have also won a copy of the, <laughs> of the Sims 4 high school years. Um, let me pull up your whispers too. Uh, and then let me get the last one. I, I keep them all on a spreadsheet too. So the last one is Marie URL. Marie URL is the last winner. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, um, let me send you all three of you your codes um, and then we'll, we'll keep building, shall we? <laughs> I feel so silly doing like all these giveaways of not this pack when I'm playing with this pack, but this pack's not out so I can't give it away yet. <laughs> um, okay, wait, copy. This one and then paste. Don't worry, I do still have a handful more codes where that came from, so we're not done yet. We do have some more giveaway codes. No more for high school years, but we do have some more giveaway codes still. Um, sad that you didn't win. I know, it stinks. This is the thing, right? With the with a stream this size, like there's there was twelve hundred people that just entered that. Like, well, there's actually exactly twelve hundred. I didn't realize that. But look, there was twelve hundred entries, so it's just it's hard, only, there's only, I only had the three codes. If I had 1200 codes, by all means chat, I'd give them to you. <laughs> but I, I don't have, I don't have enough um, to go around to everybody, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I just don't. Um, I didn't buy any for university. I'll tell you right now, the next three codes that we're gonna do are Snowy Escape, Get Famous, and Get to Work. Those are the three that I have left. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll do those throughout the next couple hours, probably. Um, but those are the ones that I bought. I'll be live till about seven wisdom. Yeah, I think so. That's the plan. Uh, B, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers. 
Christy with the $420, um, Anonymous with the $25, uh, Day and AV, who look like they're maybe a hamster. Is that your hamster? Did your hamster just donate? It's a tiny emoji. And if I'm being honest, I can't tell what that is. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that a chef emoji and then a hamster? Hard to say. <laughs> hamster check. <laughs> I'm not sure. Either way, I like it. And Chrissy donated on behalf of their two cats. Remy! Oh, it's a rat! It's a rat. I like that. That makes that makes way more sense. <laughs> that makes way more sense. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Do you think I could put like a skinny tree in this little section? That seems like maybe a bad idea, I don't know. Maybe I could do some skinny trees back here though. To fill up some of this space. That could be good. One, two, maybe just two of them. I guess that helps cover the whole side of the building. You know what? The debug from this pack, you guys, wait, look. Testing cheats on. The debug from um, the new pack has some really good pots. Like planter pots. Um, no, we're building this in Oasis Springs. Um, we, we did some building in the new world earlier, so we kind of wanted to try and build something a different style. Um, this is actually just Oasis Springs. It isn't even the new world. <laughs> Um, but we're, we're building a, something in Oasis Springs so we can try and use this stuff in like a different way. If I'm being honest, I've built like 10 or 15, maybe 12. I think I've built like 12 houses using the new pack off camera this week, <laughs> all in the new world. So I was kind of excited about trying to do something here instead. Um, okay, maybe I could put some little planters like these two right here and we can try and like line them up. Does this lot fit in the new world? Oh, I think it will. Hold on, I can actually check that for you. There is a 40 by 30 lot, but I don't remember if the 40 by 30 lot in the new world was facing this way. So we can go look. Um, we can go and check, shall we? In the new world. Oh, it looks like it will. Yeah, look. Oh, we could have built it here then. You know what I can't do? Move it. Oh, never mind. It's horizontal. It's horizontal. Whoops. <laughs> um, it is. It is in fact horizontal. So never mind. That's nice though. It's nice to have more horizontal lots. Also, I can't move it because normally you would say, "Oh, just save it to your library." Watch this. It will never work. You know why? Cause this version of the game that I have right now, no gallery access. <laughs> so I can't, uh, so we couldn't even move it if we wanted to. If I wanted to build or like play in this lot, I have to play in it in this save too. I can't like bring it to a different save. It's really annoying in this version of the game. Oh, it looks cool. Oh guys, this is exactly what I wanted. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, you can make the apartments anywhere. I'm building them here in Oasis Springs. You could build them in any of the lots. There's a couple lots that you can't build apartments on. Like, you know the secret lots? Um, you can't build apartments there, but you can't change the lot type of those. So as long as you can adjust the lot type to a residential lot, then you can you can make a, um, you can make this. Could you copy the lot? No, unfortunately. <laughs> Let me show you guys really quick. I'm kind of excited about this actually. Really quick, I kind of want to um, set these units just so we can look at them from the map view. I'm, I'm kind of into the idea of going to look at them. Oh, that's number three actually, sorry. I want to see what it looks like from the map so you can see. That's number three. This will be number four. Number four. Number four. 
So this is how you set the units, by the way. Um, you can pick them by room and, and assign like what unit they belong to, which I think is really, it makes sense. It's kind of like, I think ideal scenario for how it could be organized in The Sims 4, um, based on how The Sims 4 works. Okay, so, that, so that's all the units all assigned, right? And then I go to Manage Worlds and look at this. From Manage Worlds, um, you can load into the whole lot. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> From Manage Worlds, I can click on it and I can press this button to build on the whole lot or I could individually load into these units and I can see them all separate. Isn't that kind of cool? And then I can like, if I wanted to, I could, for example, I could choose to move someone in here. I won't because I don't want to build with a person there yet, but um, you can move people in from Manage Worlds just like a regular lot. It kind of like becomes its own lot. Isn't that so cool? I was just so excited about this. <laughs> yeah, they're completely empty and, that, and yet there's still two stars somehow. I guess they have some nice amenities because they have a pool. So that's good, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> yeah, the mechanics of this are so good. Like this is, this is like ideal scenario, exactly how I wanted it to work in The Sims 4. Like exactly best case scenario, exactly what I wanted out of this is what we've gotten. So um, I'm pretty excited about it. I need to get my debug stuff again back. I messed it up. BB dot show hidden objects. BB dot show live edit objects. Okay. Debug. Worried about the bugs and the lag. Yeah, there's some lag in build mode. Um, specifically when you're putting wallpaper down, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty bad actually. Um, should I do these or should I get palm trees? What if we got like some pretty palm trees and I put like two of them over here? Where did my things go? You can use the island living palm trees because these are, they, they pulled them to debug for this pack. So exciting stuff. Um, where did my where did my stuff go? Also, look at this nice. This is a debug fence. The debug stuff is really good. I really like some of these bushes. This palm tree is quite nice too. If we wanted to use like a, a different kind of tree, but hundred limit will fill up fast across worlds. You know, tricky. I I agree. I think that like it seems like the hundred limit will fill up fast across the worlds. But also when I think logically about like how I anticipate myself playing with this pack. Oh, talk about build mode lag. Um, I don't think, I don't think that I'm that worried about it because when you sort of think about splitting it up between like the 22 worlds or whatever, I forget how many exactly there are. That gives you like about four units per world. But like when I'm building these, I use six here but maybe in the next one, uh, in like Magnolia Promenade, I'll do a two unit building. Um, and then maybe I'll do a three unit building somewhere else. And, and they're not all gonna be exactly the same size. And I also don't know if I'm gonna end up using all of those, like, I, I don't know. So I, I don't think that I'm that worried about it. I don't think. Does that make sense? Um, no, you can't, people keep asking this. It's a good question, but, um, so you can't, you won't be able to make rentals inside of apartments. Um, the question is like, could you take the city living ones and then make a rental in there? Uh, and the answer is, is uh, no, you won't be able to make rentals in there um, inside the city living units. Cause the city living ones are, they're not like, you aren't able to change the lot type there. I wish that I had more of the packs so I could show you what I'm talking about, but, um, some of the lots, you can't change the lot type on them. Um, so like think the secret lot in Willow Creek, the one in the tree, you can't change that into a bar. So you can't change it into this either, right? Um, and the apartments, you can't change the lot type of an apartment into a rental residential because it's an apartment. So you can't like swap it into a different thing. You can't make like a bar in the apartment either, you know? Um, annoyingly, they've said that you can't turn the penthouses into apartments, which I was kind of sad about. And for some reason, you also can't build apartments on the beachfront lots in Sulani. I think specifically the beachfront ones. So if you built it on like the full ground ones, I think it should be okay. But the ones that are half water, you can't. 
I know. I'm sad about that too. Some of the lots, like, you think about, like, the bluff slot in Windenburg from Get Together. That one is a secret sort of lot. It's, like, a special lot, so you can't turn that into a different lot type, so you can't make it into this either, because it's just the bluffs. So those make sense. Um, but, but yeah, it's kind of sad to think about how it won't work with um, some of the other stuff that we have. Um, but Tartosa you should be able to do. All of the other ones should be fine, as long as it's not a secret lot or, like, a special lot. You'll be able to do it. Any secret special lots, you can't do it there. But everything else should be fine. And yeah, you can just live in them 910. You don't have to be the landlord. You can just be a tenant. Um, you can just play as a tenant, no landlord, and and um, the game will assign you a landlord, but you don't have to be the landlord. That's kind of how it works. Um, what's my favorite part about being a streamer? Ooh, that's a fun question. To be honest with you, and this is gonna seem like, oh, of course you're saying that right now. It, it's the community and the fact that we can do stuff like this. Like we've raised almost $22,500 today in just a few hours for a charity that's really important to me. <laughs> um, so I would say that that is probably my favorite part about being a streamer is just the community aspect of it. It's really cool hanging out with you guys. I kind of like you or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I, I think it's really cool getting to like hang out and play games together every day and, and then do stuff like this. So that's the answer. That's the answer. What's the charity? Great question. It's a charity called Amer Able. <laughs> I almost said it wrong. I almost said Amer Gable. <laughs> Able Gamers. <laughs> Able Gamers is what is what it's called. Sorry. Um, I've been talking a lot today. Bear with me. <laughs> Um, it's a charity called Able Gamers, and they work to help make uh, video games accessible to everyone. So they do that by helping to get uh, disabled people access to like specialized controllers or like other assistive technology, so that everyone can play video games. Um, so they they help uh, get people access to sometimes like uh, really special controllers that um, maybe it's a foot pedal, maybe it's a controller that has special buttons, maybe it's a a controller that tracks your eye movements, and and if you can't use your hands, it can track your eye movements so you can play games. I mean, there is a a really wide range of really special technology out there um, that they help uh, get people paired up with so that that way that everyone can have access to the to games just like a lot of us get to play. So um, it's really impressive. And the, the donations obviously go to helping to, uh, to support them and helping to help them provide this access to people. So, oh good, Ads started playing. <laughs> I think I was almost done talking. <laughs> Story lady, thanks for the $10. Um, for, the, for the donation to Able Gamers, Kaylee with the $25, Gremlin with the $5 for your kitties. Your recently neutered kitty wanted to donate. Nice. <laughs> uh, Katie with the $50, Red teaches. Um, you're a special education teacher and you know the work that Able Gamers does to help people like my students feel included and accepted the way they are. Thank you. Thank you, Red, for what you do. You, you are amazing. Um, a lot of, there's been a lot of special education teachers in the chat today, and I just want to really emphasize, thank you for what you do. Uh, people working in education are, are like miracle workers and you are amazing humans and you, what you do is so important. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for what you do, teachers. You are all, all of you are so important. Um, and also Sam uh, talking about their favorite DVD streamer, Puppers, uh, who used accessible controls for helping him play as his health decreased. And he used foot pedals a lot uh, to absolutely spin killers in the game. It was amazing to watch. Um, I, I really love Puppers. Um, thank you for sharing that about him. Thank you. Um, says there's a giveaway still. Oh, does it? I didn't close it. It's not open. It's not open. Uh, we'll do the giveaway again in like 20, 30 minutes probably. That was for the last giveaway still. Um, there is not one open right now. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. Um, okay. I actually, you guys, I think that the landscaping of this is looking really beautiful. Right? I think this turned out really nice so far. And our story lady, Sam, thank you for the subs. Subs! Oh, donations to Able Gamers! Sorry, streamer brain, sorry. <laughs> Donations to Able Gamers. I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. Um, okay, there we go. <laughs> Alyssa, thank you for the $50 donation. And her too. I need to move the camera on, Sunny. You can't even see her. Hold on, sorry, everybody. There we go. Better cat angle. I mean, you can barely see her when she is there. It looks like a little blob. Like, <laughs> oh. Well, that's angled terribly. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it 
looks like a little blob. You can't really make out what it is. But that's okay. Um, that's okay. Is the last donation not updating? Um, oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just using the default Tiltify alert or thingy, so I think the number's not changing. The, or the, the number is, but the donation up there is not for some reason. Um, it said that for hours. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, maybe I can try it. Let me see if I can try and fix that then. Um, overlays. Maybe if I try to like... Um, hold on. Let me see if I can fix this. Let me pull like a new overlay um, thingy that I can copy and paste. Uh, this one, save changes, refresh, perhaps. Okay, this one, I think, let me put this on there. Oh, there we go. Well, now it has the top donation. Is it gonna show the correct recent donation? It should like toggle between those two. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, sorry Danny. <laughs> I went and replaced it to put myself on there. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> um, well, we'll see if it, if it rotates to show us Danny or if it shows something else instead. We shall see. We shall see. Um, Amanda, thank you for the $15. Thank you so much for the donation to Able Gamers. Um, okay, I think I might take these big windows again. Cat lady with the $100. I relate to your name a lot. Big, big, big relate to your username. <laughs> Clearly. It worked? Oh, did it, did it, did it filter between it? Oh, I didn't even see. I missed out. Well, that's good. It did? Okay, good. It's a miracle. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Sierra. Yeah, I went live pretty early this morning. Well, no, it was actually noon. <laughs> I went live at noon today. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Um, I wanted to be live a little bit longer today because we could play more of the pack and then we could also um, do a longer fundraiser stream. So <laughs> it, was a, it was a win all around for that. Is that in the right spot? Yeah, okay. Up a little bit more, maybe. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> Goose the cat! Thank you for the $75 stable gamers and congrats on your new job. Thank you for helping to do that. Um, that is that is absolutely amazing. Um, okay. I feel good about this. I, I think that most of the landscaping and windows are looking good for now. I might figure out the windows on this side later. I might wait now until we do the floor plans. I think it's important that we figure out the floor plan first. Kayla, water, oh. Yep, got it. It's kind of giving Disney Resort. You know what, it is. It actually kind of is. You're right. <laughs> Um, this is my, my personal Florida life experience is really showing through right now. Oh, and I should save the game. That's a, you know, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. <laughs> um, okay. So I think let's do the floor plans of these first. Cause they're going to be like replicas of each other. We'll, we'll sort of duplicate them across everywhere. Um, so, floor plan wise, maybe you enter into like, uh, oh my God. Oh, it's laggy, oh boy, okay. Maybe you enter into like the dining room and then potentially this part could be an office and a bathroom. And then we could have like small kitchen living room. Let me put some rug stuff down so you can see what I'm talking about. Like living room here. I could probably open this up to be honest. We could just have it be all, it could be all open. So there would be like a living room kind of 
in this area, right? And then there would be a kitchen kind of like along this wall and then rotating down the side. They could maybe even have some bar stools if we really wanted to. Um, or we could just put an island. I don't know, but then there's like a kitchen like that. And then we do the dining room kind of in this space. And then we could get like a, I don't know which archway. This is fun because the arch matches the arch on the door. We have like an arch into the office and then a little bathroom. That's a, honestly a pretty decent layout. And they have space if we wanted to put like a, I don't know, bigger table or something, we totally could. And they have a small back patio for private. Well, so Tar Heel, listen, I, not to defend them, but I do have hope still that the pack won't be this bad when it officially releases. Cause keep in mind, right? Like I'm playing this in this like weird fake version of the game. Um, so it's not, it's not actually out yet. Um, and, and the version of the game that officially launches next week might be better. It also might not be, <laughs> but they have made it very clear that it's not final software. So um, I still have hope. I still have hope that it won't be too bad. Um, I don't know how to split this up with the way this, where that staircase is. Um, oh, that's really amazing, Yumi. Uh, congratulations, by the way, on, on your studies. And I think it's really amazing that you're studying to be a teacher. That's really cool. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for the donation. Uh, basically a hedgehog. Thank you so much for the $50. Uh, you said as an occupational therapist, you spend your days adapting activities and environments to enable my clients to do the things that they love. The fact that Able Gamers exists is so wonderful. It reminds me of why I do what I do. All oh, that, see, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> you guys are all so cool. This is so cool. Okay, I might have to put the staircase on the wall, but I kind of like, I kind of like this layout though. Like, I think this is kind of good. So I don't know. Um, first thought is like, oh, maybe we could have, um, it needs to be probably a very small hallway. We could also have the units be slightly different on the insides of them if we really wanted them to be. Cause look at that. That fits us an additional like four bedrooms up here. <laughs> That's a lot. That's kind of excessive. But then they have perhaps this bathroom. This could be like the, the family. Oh my God, that's so cursed, all the doors on the side right there. But this could be like one of the family's units. So this, this these people have a pretty big family. So they have like a lot of small rooms, but then maybe one of the other ones might only have two bedrooms, you know? And we'll try and split them up a little bit like that. They can have a bigger table because they have so many people. That's so many doors. <laughs> Alex with the $10, Serena with the $75 Sable Gamers. Uh, and Kaitha, thank you for the $10 Sable Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a good start for this first unit. Okay, so that's that's um, unit number three, apparently. Big family space. This unit, um, Maybe I could get the staircase in this one in a different location. They could probably have something similar where the, which door will you choose? Yeah, that's kind of scary, isn't it? Maybe their staircase goes like that. Sim it, it could be like similar vibes where they have the kitchen and stuff over here, but it's kind of flipped around a little bit. So it should make their What's going on in here? Are you number four? Oh, that's smart is shared. Okay, number four. So then they have same thing, but up here the layout's gonna be a little bit easier, I I think. 
Maybe scoot that forward. Can't intersect with wall, oh. Oops. Oops. Something like that. And they can have a big long room, like right there. Maybe we have like a, oh, hold on, maybe smaller. No, the landlord does not have to live on the rental lot. You can live off the lot and be the landlord. You could live on the lot and be the landlord. You could live on the lot and not be a landlord. You don't have to be a landlord. You could just be, you could just be a tenant if you wanted to. Um, there's actually uh, a lot of options for you <laughs> as far as gameplay goes. Um, so that's kind of cool. Okay, um, this is like kind of weird and strange. Maybe we do like, maybe this unit has, um, oh, it could be just a bigger room probably. And maybe they have a big hall bathroom up here. I don't know. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of bathrooms. Probably for no good. No good reason. Is Twitch freezing again? Oh, that's really annoying. I'm sorry, everybody. Well, so on this unit, I was thinking like we'd have the primary bedroom here. They have an ensuite bathroom. Mm, this becomes bad, actually. Because how do you split up all of this? I think the... Oh, mm. <laughs> It could be like two ensuite bathrooms, I guess, um, and no hallway bathroom. This room is a little bit on the smaller side, so maybe I could steal some space for them. Don't get stressed. I'm trying not to. I'm being brave. I'm being brave. Oops. Okay. Okay. Steal some space. Maybe they can have like a desk nook or something. So that's good. They have like two bedrooms up here, and then each has an ensuite bathroom. So that's like a totally different kind of family that could live there. It could be like roommates, it could be, you know? Um, do I think a shared laundry would work? I do, I do think a shared laundry would work. You could totally do that, I think, um, if you wanted to. You could totally do that in this game. I Well, I hope so. I, I think, I think, I don't know. I don't have the other packs, so <laughs> I'm just kind of guessing a little bit. <laughs> But is the sound out of sync or just you? Do you mean the game sound or my sound? Because if you mean the game sound, it's kind of lagging. If you mean my sound, well, I hope not. <laughs> they said in the live stream the laundry would work. Oh, that's good. So then, yeah, you totally could. And you could do like a shared kitchen space. That we know for a fact you could do. There's a lot of options that you could, that you could try. Um, all right, let's try and wrap these around this time. Let's see about this kind of thing. Different sort of vibe for the bedroom. Um, okay. Don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, I think I think the same thing. Like I, I would be surprised if it didn't work. Um, okay. So that's also a four bedroom unit. Unless we wanted to have just a big long hallway and this could be a bath, maybe that could be a bathroom. Maybe I should put tile in so it's like obvious which room is which. I was picturing bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. That one's a bathroom, that's a bathroom. Okay, kind of like that. I think it's fun trying to take the same unit and like split it up different ways each time. I'm I'm having a good time. <laughs> Hopefully you also enjoy this because I like it. <laughs> CK Bagel, oh my god, thank you for the hundred dollar donation to Able Gamers. Um We just passed twenty-three thousand simoleons raised. Sim No, 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 no. We just passed twenty-three thousand dollars raised for Able Gamers. Shut up! Don't judge me. That was really embarrassing. That was like next level bad. We just passed twenty-three thousand dollars raised for Able Gamers. 
<laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Why does that? This happens to me usually when I'm playing other games. Like I'll be playing like Animal Crossing, talking about simoleons. Um, this is pretty, that was pretty bad. That happening just then was, that was, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> we've been raising money for Animal Gamers all day and we just raised $23,000 thanks to you. Jenny, uh, who says, uh, with the $10, accessibility is so, so, so important. Uh, Michelle with the $50, Bannett with the $10, thank you so much. Oh my. <laughs> Kayla, these are real donations with real money. <laughs> Guys, this is not simoleons. This is people's real money. It's not simoleons, okay? It's a way bigger deal than simoleons. That's real money. Oh god. <laughs> Listen, I've been live for almost six hours. My brain is turned into the sims, okay? I've, I'm like becoming a sim right now. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this is um, this middle unit. This one's gonna be three bedrooms. Can you, I haven't really tried this yet, but when I'm adjusting them, oh my goodness. So this is a, this one is four bedrooms and two bathrooms. That's so cool. <laughs> the middle one, oh, you can't see. Okay, well now you can. This is two bedrooms and two bathrooms. This one is gonna be three bedrooms and probably two bathrooms. Um, I don't know about the last one yet. Isn't that really cool though? How you can split that up? Hi, Tiny. Did you wake up? No, 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 no. Sit. Tiny, sit. Sit. <sighs> okay. Come here, Tiny. Can I get you? Just really quick so I can show the people you up close. Oops, sorry. Here's, here's a little tiny kitten, everybody. Hope you like it. She's kind of floppy. You can't see her, it's too dark. <laughs> uh, this is my tiny kitten. So, anyway. Anyway, um, bye Sunny, thank you. Are you gonna sit on the desk now? Black Panther, she is kind of like a little panther, isn't she? She definitely has panther vibes. Um, I have no idea how to split this up. Maybe we do a bathroom, like, ooh. Lag, yeesh, okay. We do a bathroom like right here maybe. Um, oh, unit two is three bathrooms, isn't it? Wait, that one is, wait, this is not number one, that's number three. Oh, I've confused myself. Oh, sorry, I forgot that the ones in the front are the first units. I've done it like super wrong. Okay, the yellow unit is four bedrooms, two bathrooms. Yeah? One, two, three, four, and then the two bathrooms. Okay, and then the purple unit is two bedrooms, three bathrooms. Wow, that was pretty bad. Um, and then this unit is gonna be three bedrooms and two bathrooms in the green one. Three bedrooms. It lags, it lags. I missed a column, oh, did I? Where? Yeah, I mean, I'm making a kind of giant build. Oh, the cat's not there anymore. I can turn the cat cam off. Um, on the back, I missed a column on the back. Oh, I did. There we go. Fixed. Fixed. Oh, I should also probably save the game. She's telling us it's struggling, so. We can do that. Uh, Spamantha says, love to see you fundraising. I worked for a charity in the gaming space for three years. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad. I'm glad to hear that this is meaningful to you. And, and just thank you. That's really kind of you to say. Um, yeah, the build lag has only been since we added the units and changed the lot type. We weren't having lag before when we like first started. Um, it's once it becomes a residential rental. So if I, I had it set as like a, a regular one still, we wouldn't be have, having as many problems, I fear. Um, okay, so this one downstairs, I'm kind of picturing that we'll just have this be like big open living space. Like maybe we'll do like the living room down here with a rug. We can get like a dining room over here. 
I'm not gonna keep this furniture, obviously. I'm just, oh my god, build lag. We might have to build it not as a rental and then change it at the last minute. Um, I'm picturing that maybe I might put... Oh, yuck. Hold on. What if we had the kitchen, like, up against the stairs? I don't know. I don't usually do that. So this is kind of new to me. But this might be kind of cool. We have the kitchen kind of in this little corner. Something like this. This is like a big, fancy kitchen. But they don't have an office. Like the other houses do. That looks cool, right? Then you can kind of see it from up here. Okay, I think that makes sense to me. All right, all right. Um, Annie and Cyra, Loki, and Thor, the cats, thank you so much for that donation. Um, <laughs> Justice, thank you so much for, for the dollar. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing that with me. I really appreciate that, and thank you for the donation. They said, as an able-bodied person, I never even thought about accessibility, but being in a wheelchair now, it's opened my eyes to what people with disabilities go through now. Thank you always, Kayla. Justice, thank you so much for sharing that, um, and thank you for the donation. Okay, is this gonna be nice housing? Yeah, that's the goal, Em. We're, the goal is kind of to make it, like, a little bit fancy, I think. Um, I like this layout. I might, I might, like, copy it, so we can have two that are similar here, and then two that are similar here. Um, I like that. And yeah, I'll put it on the gallery when it's done. I can't do it now because I don't have access to the gallery on this version of the game. But I will put it on the gallery when it's finished, I promise. Um, I got you. I will do it for you. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's lagging so much. So much. Okay. Um... And then I had it like this, I guess, a little bit. Definitely going to have this as a retirement community. This would be fun as a retirement community, wouldn't it? I like that idea. There's just so many different ways you can use this. I, I keep, as I'm playing, I just keep thinking of different ways. Like I'm gonna have my Sims live here and, and like what they're gonna do. I just, I feel like this is, I know I keep saying this. This is like my absolute dream pack. Oh, it's laggy so bad. It's so bad. Should I try and go to Manage Worlds and come back? Do you think it'll make a difference? I don't know. Those are all the first four units. I could make it back to a regular lot for now and that it wouldn't lag anymore if we turned it into a re regular residential. Oh my God. Yeah, that solved that problem. We'll make it into a rental at the end. How about that? Because right now it's struggling. Hi, Tiny. What do you want? What do you want? Um, we'll define units last, I think. Because right now it's it's having a hard time with it. So. Um, let me save, too. Okay, well, now's probably a good time. Um, I've got a couple more giveaway codes still. Let's do a little giveaway of... How about Snowy Escape? You could not get more opposite of this lot and Snowy Escape. But <laughs> let's do a little giveaway of Snowy Escape, shall we? Um, if you would like to enter for a chance to win Snowy Escape, can you type the word, wait for it, snow in the chat? It's a PC and Mac code for Snowy Escape. All you gotta do is type the word snow in the chat for a chance to win. Um, ooh, I don't know how and where to put the stairs in these units. I have three codes here for Snowy Escape, by the way. Um, so we'll get to do all three of them. Um, what if there was like, no, that looks bad. I need to have a spot to put the bathroom. And I'm not sure. I like how open this all is. So I'm, I'm kind of struggling a little bit here. What if it was like a long skinny bathroom and it was back this way? And then, oh, but I wanted to put the kitchen there. Never mind. Uh oh. Well, type the word snow in the chat for a chance to win Snowy Escape. <laughs> Evan, thanks for the $25 to, to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Oh, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Um, well, this is good because I can just turn this into its own own bedroom. And then we could do like, I guess that could be a bedroom. And then potentially, oh, no, that's bad. Never mind. Sorry, hold on. 
this unit is different and weird. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Rogue Fessa, thank you for the $125 donation to Able Gamers. That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, up here, I'm thinking we could split it up like that as a unit and maybe this. Okay, well, there's no bathroom up here, so we need to get one downstairs because this is bad now. That is real bad. Also, just so you all know, um, it's it's only one entry per person, so you don't have to worry about spamming the word or anything. Um, if you spam, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> um, you you only get one entry. Each person gets one entry, so you don't need to worry about like spamming it a lot or anything like that. Um, oh, this seems good. Wait, hold on, chat. We might have this figured out. Living room there. We do like the dining room kind of here, and then the kitchen could go along this wall. Maybe they could have an island too, because we've got a lot of space. Um, and then this is the bathroom. And then they kind of have like a formal entryway area. Okay, if you're just tuning in, by the way, and you're seeing everybody in chat saying snow, and you're like, what the heck's going on? We're doing a giveaway of Snowy Escape right now. So you can type the word snow in the chat for a chance to enter. Nope, for a chance to win. I keep saying chance to enter. Everyone can enter. <laughs> But for a chance to win the Sims 4 Snowy Escape, you can type the word snow in the chat. Um, and I'm, I've got three codes, so we'll draw those winners probably in uh, a minute or so, I'm guessing. Okay, so this one has a way smaller bathroom situation. It's only one bathroom, but it is three bedrooms. So that's nice, I guess. Um, draw that there delete that. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is kind of good. And then I guess we'll just copy that probably to the other side. Yeah. Um, there's no front door on this unit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Let's draw the winners though, real quick. So we've got three giveaway codes for snowy escape. There's like a thousand entries here. Um, so please don't feel bad if you don't win. Type the word snow one last time. Did I enter? I want to enter, just in case. That'd be funny. All right, and the winner in three, two, one. BMW Star 14. BMW Star 14. You are going to get a copy of Snowy Escape. Um, congratulations. We do have a couple more codes where that came from. Don't worry. Um, you can't get rid of me this easily. I got two more. The next one uh, is George X Clayton. George X Clayton is the next winner of the next giveaway code. And then I've got one more for Snowy Escape. So we'll we'll draw that last one too. Um, let me pull up George's message history. And then the last giveaway of Snowy Escape is, it's Trevor. It's Trevor. Congratulations, all three of you. Um, so I have, two more giveaways left after this. So we'll do them still, don't worry. You can't get rid of me. I'm not done yet. I still got more packs. But those are the last codes for Snowy Escape that I had. And the three of you who just won, I'm gonna whisper you the codes quick so that you can redeem them. My water is blocking this, I can't see it. <laughs> um, let me just copy and paste these for you so that you can redeem them. If you could reply once you've gotten it, um, let me know. That way I can see that you, you got your message. Um, and then uh, we still have two more packs where that came from. So this is very fun. Okay, I'm just making sure I get them all in the spreadsheet. Good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and then the other unit, I will organize the same way. So that makes it a little bit easier. Just alternated. What other packs? Uh, I'll tell you, I have codes for get famous and get to work leftover. Those are the ones that I bought. Um, Vladi, thank you for the $5. And Brady with the $25 as a staff member of a school. Uh, you work closely with kids with special needs. Thank you so much, Brady, for, for that donation. Thank you for what you do. Um, thank you so much uh, for that. That's, that's really amazing. Um, okay, so the staircase needs to go like right there, I think, right? No, one tile over from that. No, me I messed it up. Hold on needs to go right there. 
Okay. The infamous no toilet pack. Yep. Get famous. The infamous no toilet pack. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's their downstairs. Their upstairs is going to be organized very similarly. Um, I could put a bathroom across. I mean, we could do this. It could be a smaller room if we wanted it to be. Because um, we have these rooms, like, split up a little bit. Um, I was thinking about putting a, a desk in the nook there, but we could put a bathroom there just so we have an extra one because it is a three bedroom house. So it would be nice to have two bathrooms. Um, not that you need to, it's just, it's nice to have extra bathrooms. We all know playing the Sims, it's, it's always good to have extra. So in real life, it's always good to have extra too. That could be better. Um, that could be better. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I'll just get the tile for this one. I'll use another color so it's all slightly different. Okay, and that's all of the unit layouts figured out. So these are three bedrooms. This one has four bedrooms, two bedrooms, three bedrooms. Oh, this one is gonna be, um, what is this? Three bedrooms again? Okay, so most of them have a handful of bedrooms, so you could fit a lot of sims here. Um, extra bathrooms are important! Where are people gonna do dishes? Oh, you're right, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> they need as many extra bathrooms as they can get, they got dishes to wash. <laughs> okay, um, well good. This looks pretty nice so far. Should we finish up the exterior now? I'm so excited about this. It's gonna be so fun. Can, do you guys wanna, oh wait, no, I took the units away. They're not units anymore, my bad. It's ruined. I was gonna show you from the map, but they're not units anymore because they were lagging. Oh, dang. Okay, well, I think I'm probably gonna be live, by the way, chat, for like about another hour. I usually stream until about seven and today I've been live for six hours already. So <laughs> I'll probably get off in about an hour. Um, so in that time, I wanna try to finish the, we're not gonna finish the build. I wanna, we'll finish probably a couple of the units. <laughs> uh, we'll try and finish a couple of the units and then um, we will uh, also do the last two giveaways. That's the plan. Um, Luna, thank you for the $10 donation to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, these are six different houses that you can split into units. So if I if I set it as a residential rental, um, you can mark these as like the rooms of one unit and then have this one be the next unit uh, and we can split them all up like that. So it's pretty cool um, how the new pack works. So that's that's what we're doing right now. I have it as a plain res rental or plain residential right now, sorry, because it uh, is kind of laggy in the rentals. So, okay. Um, should we paint all the exteriors first just to get that over with? Cause that's kind of like boring. Also, should I do debug landscaping? Should I get like more palm tree type stuff? Show hidden objects, tv.show live edit objects. Okay, Enigma, thank you for the $10. Um, you're back and you have pasta. Oh, I'm so jealous of you, Marissa. So jealous, I'm starving, <laughs> which makes sense. I've been live for seven hours, <laughs> but I'm gonna have dinner. I'm gonna order dinner tonight, exciting stuff. I might order pizza, not to brag. I might actually tell Dan to order the pizza soon so that, oh, I typed on so that it will be here. Not yet, but it'll be here like around when I get off stream. See, you're making pizza. Oh, see, that's not my, that's not the plan. I'm not making anything right now. <laughs> I've been live for seven hours. <laughs> okay, probably not gonna use that, but fun debug item. I was thinking about using this thing, cause this is one of the new trees from the debug from the pack and I kind of like it. Does that look cool to you? Oh, I think that looks cool. Okay, maybe I can get more. Let me just put a couple more of those down. I wonder if I could put some like right here. And then what if I also had a couple on the edge of the lot? 
Pizza is Saturday night activities? Yeah, exactly. See, you get it. Your family have pizza tonight as well? Mm -hmm. Saturday night activities. You see, chat? <laughs> okay. I think that looks kind of cool. And then I can get two more of those little planter boxes. See what I mean though? The debug from this pack is really good. There's like a lot of really nice little planter boxes and stuff. Like look at all of these little items. I might actually use some of this, this planter like in somebody's front yard. I'm trying to make them all look, um, trying to make everybody's little yards look a bit different. So what if I gave them all a different planter box? <laughs> We give everybody a different planter and like a different little plant or something. I don't know. And they can have like some chairs or something. It might be kind of cute to do. Wait, debug again. Um, Elson, thank you. Did I say that already? Sorry, thank you for the $10 to, to St. Jude. Able gamers! Oh my God, I'm losing it. <laughs> I've been live for too long. <laughs> Able gamers. We're doing a big fundraiser for Able gamers today. Um, in fact, I may have to go on a pee break in a second. So I might, maybe I'll play a video about Able Gamers while I go to the bathroom. That might be good. Let me get a couple more of these little landscaping plants placed. Oops, yikes. Messed that up, didn't I? That looks good, right? I don't care if it's clipping, just ignore it. <laughs> if it clips, uh, no it doesn't. It's not clipping. Shh, it's okay. That pot might be a little big. That may be a bit much. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Ooh, controversial question. Uh, I kind of like pineapple on pizza. Um, my top pick for pizza, this is another controversial opinion, so please don't judge me, but my top pick for pizza is actually uh, olives. And I personally think that you should put whatever you want on pizza. So. Anyway, a lot of people don't like olives, so. They're gonna be like, what is wrong with you? Oh, I like how that looks. I think that's kind of good. Okay. Okay, some new little planter boxes. Can I rotate these around too? Like that? Am I imagining things or is there, I think I'm imagining things. Okay. <laughs> well, now that I've caused a scene in Twitch chat, uh, I actually am gonna run and go to the bathroom real quick. Um, let me pull up, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys a video um, from the Able Gamers YouTube channel. Um, so that way you can see um, some, some footage. Uh, that one is long. Let me show you maybe like a couple minute long video. So that way you can learn about some of the folks at Able Gamers. Um, how about, sorry, I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling through their YouTube channel. Maybe I'll play, hmm. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I'll play you this one. Okay, sorry. So this is about a little kid um, that Able Gamers helps get access to a controller to. And I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, like I said. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. Um, I'll play this video for you. I'll turn my face cam off too. So you don't have to look at me. Um, <laughs> no one wants to look at me. <laughs> All right, and then I'll be, I'll be right back, okay? You watch this video while I'm gone and I'll see you in like two minutes. It's a good time for you to go to pee break also, but also you can learn about this little kid. So I'll see you in a second, okay, bye. Hi Able Gamers, uh, Hi. this is Thad and I'm Brandon and we wanted to spend a quick video saying thank you uh, for uh, helping Thad uh, game with an Elite controller for the Xbox One. So Thad really likes uh, a lot of Xbox games but some of your favorite ones are what, like Halo and Overwatch? And Minecraft and Battlefront and Destiny and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think Roblox is another one, but uh, Thad was born, uh, his uh, born hand as we call it, or his lucky fin. Uh, uh, on his right hand, he was born without uh, fingers. So reaching the 
triggers simultaneously with the stick or the buttons is difficult. So the Elite Controller, uh, we reached out to Able Gamers, and the Elite Controller helps. And do you want to show how it helps? Um, what it does is you have these pads on the back, and it can help you, like, so you can switch this to, like, RT or any button on the controller. I like to switch this one to RT and this one to RB because I, it would be really hard to, like, switch to that and like not be looking around and like overwatch or something and then I would have to like keep constantly moving it but now I can do that a lot more easier um so I can move around and it helps me a lot with like shooting shooter games and mm -hmm. Minecraft and stuff yeah and even even any games that just uses the the shoulder buttons because that's what so now these shoulder buttons are used by his fingers on his left hands and he doesn't have to go back and forth yeah on the right side so uh, you play a lot with your friends on yes. Xbox, and this has helped you hang out with them? Or? Yes, it helps me a lot, like, um, getting more um, resources to, like, build a house. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, and, and you're, getting, you're getting pretty good at those games, too, and it's been pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so is there anything else that you want to mention about, you know, the controller or, mm -hmm. you know, about Able Gamers? They seem like they really help I a lot of people. I think Able Gamers is epic and awesome and really, really cool. Uh, I think that about covers it. Um, thank you so much to everyone at Able Gamers for helping. Oh, wait, I want to add one more thing. Uh, that also helps me and Thad play a lot more together because there's a lot of games that we can uh, that we like to play too, but games like Halo, for example, or Goat Simulator is a fun one that we play. Yeah. And uh, we have two controllers, but now Fab is able to do it more easily and play longer uh, sessions with me, so we can hang out and do that a little more. Okay. And that's always fun. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Where's my face cam? Also, I realized that it said not final software on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, forgot to, I forgot to turn those off, so that was just on the video. <laughs> sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> that's my bad, that's my bad. <laughs> um, that was not software at all, in fact, actually. <laughs> um, I mean, thank you for the $50 donation to Able Gamers, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing that little video. I think that one's cute. They have a lot of videos like that on their YouTube channel. Um, one of the ones... I don't know if you can hear that. The cats have this, like... It's like a ring and there's a ball and they hit it. Anyway, if you hear anything, there's a cat playing with a toy over there. <laughs> um, it's like in the hallway, so sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> So sorry, so sorry. Let me get my Sims 2 soundtrack back on and then we can get- Whoa, that's loud. We'll get back to the build. Um, I also had an idea. I'm gonna be live for like another hour, okay? What if, what if, and this is kind of wild. What if I did another matching donation challenge? Um, guys, here's an idea. A donation match started! <laughs> Lil Suzy, you're gonna match up to a thousand dollars in donations right now? <laughs> no way! <laughs> um, oh, Anonymous with a hundred dollars already. Thank you so much for that donation. Um, and, and Meg, thank you for the ten dollars to Able Gamers too. Um, I don't know, I'm just, just throwing it out there. If you wanted to donate, now's a good time. We're getting off stream in like an hour. Um, there's, there's a donation match challenge going on. Um, which house do you guys want to furnish first? <laughs> oh, let me paint the outsides of them too, really quick. Um, I don't know what color to paint the exteriors though. I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards just like a white stucco sort of vibe, to be honest. But I don't know. Who's doing the match? Is it Simsy? Yeah, it's me. Sorry, I said that in a weird way. I was like, oh my god, a match! It was me. I started it. <laughs> I'm the one who started it. <laughs> it wasn't for no reason. <laughs> Um, and thank you for the $25 to Table Gamers too. Um, do you guys think the white is okay? They do have like, um, this is kind of like the same color orange that's on the fence. Um, 
if we wanted to paint them like the exact same color as the fence. We can maybe do that and then get like a more reddish toned roof. Prefer the white? Okay, they like the white better. <laughs> Anonymous, thanks for the five dollars. Okay. Yeah, I think the white is maybe better. It's kind of like a creamy color. I think that's good. Okay, there is no windows in that unit, so we have to make sure we add windows to that bedroom because <laughs> there's none right now. Um, and we'll get all of these painted too. Yeah, so it's just the wallpaper lagging on the rental residential that that happens. There's no wallpaper lag in regular build mode. It's the, the rentals that have the wallpaper lag is what we've learned. Because I, I switched this back to a regular one temporarily and there's no more wallpaper lag. So I don't know. Um, George, thanks for the five dollars. I was about to donate. You read my mind. Nice timing. Thank you for the twenty-five dollars. Maleficent with the twenty-five dollars. Uh, Ander and Kaylee, thank you for all those donations too. Um, okay. Are there usually bug fixes in between now and the the main game release? Yeah. So what happens? It's called a day zero patch. Like when you buy the game, it's gonna come with a patch straight away. Um, and that's, that's what's gonna be the fixes from now to then. Um, I don't know what all that's going to entail. You won't ever hear about it either. They're not gonna have like a bug fixes list probably. Um, Cause you aren't supposed to know about it really. <laughs> like normally you wouldn't see all this stuff uh, this early, um, but there is gonna be like a day, day zero patch. So there will be some bug fixes and changes when the pack comes out next week. So. Yeah, you can have apartments, uh, pets in the apartments. You can have, you can move any household into these. They they work just like a regular house in the game. Um, so you can move literally any household into these into these units. Um, you can have them anywhere for the most part, with the exception of a couple things. <laughs> you can't do them on like the beach lots, for example, for some reason. Uh, but yeah, you can move you can move anybody. You can, pets can be here, and apparently they confirmed on Twitter that one of the uh, unit rules that you can set is to have no pets allowed which is interesting, um, but um, yeah, but it's like basically it works just like a regular house. So, it, or I guess one of the apartments from like city living, you can use it just like that. So um, is the rule no animals or no cats and dogs? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I an annoyingly, I only have access to this pack and the base game. So I can't test like cross pack stuff right now. Unfortunately, I wish that I could. It would be fun if we could, but we can't. Um, yeah, you can have one unit on multiple floors. Mine are, mine are two floors. Mel, mine are, um, they're all two story units. So, uh, Jenna, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers. Oh my God. Uh, Vicky, we got Anonymous and Reptasmic and Nicole and Whack. Thank you for those donations too. Okay, which one do you guys wanna, which one do you guys wanna do first? Yucky, that looks bad. Which unit shall we start with? Um, do we just pass 20? Oh my God, $24,000 raise. Uh, and Bobber Crafts, thanks for the $25. Millers, Jenna, thank you so much, everybody. Um, okay. The one with the big living room, the left one, the right one, one of the front ones. At least these are similar and these are similar. So we kind of have like three options. Should we do a poll? Hold on. Which? Left, right, front. I don't know. You can vote. You can vote in the poll for which one we should start with. How about that? Um, uh, Quanti, uh, uh, if I said Asia, Bombers, thank you for the subs. Donations! Oh my God, I'm losing it. <laughs> thank you for the donations to Able Gamers. Sorry, Twitch streamer, Twitch streamer brain. Um, well, now's a good time also while we're doing this poll. I do have another set of giveaway codes. I have some codes for Get Famous. Um, I have three codes of Get Famous if you guys wanna do a quick giveaway of that. Um, you can type the word shark in the chat if you want a chance to win Get Famous, by the way. Um, type the word shark. <laughs> shark as in my favorite murderous shark pond. So. <laughs> Um, type that word shark in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I have three codes. It is PC and Mac only, so it won't work on console, but it is global. So no matter where you are in the world, it'll work. Type that word shark in the chat. Um, 
<laughs> uh, Diamond, thank you for the $50 donation to Able Gamers 2. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, type that word shark for a chance to win everyone's favorite shark pond and uh, everyone's least favorite toilet pack, Get Famous. <laughs> and it looks like the front one won by so much. They want to do this one so bad. So 67% uh, of the vote picked this one. So we'll start, we'll start up here. We'll work on this unit first. Actually, keep those cabinets where they are because I kind of like how that looks. Um, toilet pack. Well, get famous, uh, sort of famously, in in their um, in the bathrooms of the the builds in the worlds in get famous. It's missing toilets. Like for whatever reason, there's no toilets in some of the houses. Um, so get famous is kind of famous for its lack of toilets. <laughs> Um, which is kind of funny. Okay, so this one is gonna have three bedrooms. Should it be like a family sort of house, I guess? I don't know. I guess I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really, really sure. Uh, Punk Princess, George, you just won snowing escape and now it's snowing outside. That's so funny that it started snowing where you are. That's so cool. Um, okay, type that word shark in the chat. We're doing a little giveaway of, um, of Get Famous. And I've got three codes that we'll draw the winner of in a couple minutes here. Um, college roommates. Oh, this one could be for roommates. We could do it for a set of three roommates. That might be kind of fun to decorate it that way. Um, and then we can do, this one will have like some, like a family living in it, but this one can be roommates. I like the plan. I like the plan. Good call, everybody. Um, let's use this tile because that looks kind of good. Yeah, um, you don't like the downstairs bathroom in the middle? It'll make more sense once we have the whole layout, I promise. Um, okay, type that word shark one last time. Um, we'll do a quick giveaway of Get Famous. Um, one last shot, type the word shark in the chat, and then I will draw the three winners, okay? Um, so the first one, let me make sure it's open. Okay, there we go. Mods, thank you for your help, by the way, mods today. <laughs> You have, I could not do this alone. They type the, they, they get like the codes off my spreadsheet and they put like the message so I can just copy paste. It's very helpful. So thank you. I love you guys. You're very, very kind to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So the first winner in three, two, one. No way. Guys, that's creepy. I just said thank you to the mods. C is literally the person who typed the giveaway codes out for me. C is the one who in mods just typed the- <laughs> They just typed all of the codes out so I could copy and paste the thing. Redraw, are you sure? This is the second time C has won one of my giveaways. That's so weird. <laughs> uh, X Lucy with two Y's 15. X Lucy with two Y's 15 is the winner of our first code. That's so weird. I was just talking about the mods. <laughs> All right, let me pull up Lucy's uh, thing so I can whisper them the code in a second. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Okay. Um, the next one is going to be uh, Stores Carve. Congratulations. They both have cats as their profile pictures. Would you look at that? Okay, let me get yours pulled up too and then um, put it in my spreadsheet. And the last one is going to be Kate5316. Kate5316. And those are the, uh, those are all three of the, the ones that we had for Get Famous. I do have one more pack left after this. Um, so we'll get to that, but um, congratulations you three. And apparently also congratulations C who is, who won, but said to redraw. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm literally copying and pasting C's messages out of my mods chat right now because they they copy they wrote like the congrats you won here's your code here's how to redeem it like they they type that for me so I can just copy paste while I'm streaming um that's so weird okay anyway um that's like weirder than when I won the giveaway I think I'm afraid to say <laughs> but congrats you three and then I have I have one set of packs left after this one more set um ferret in a sweater. Thanks for the $25 to Able Gamers from my cats who are big gamers. <laughs> um, Gabby, thank you so much for the donation as well. Uh, Charlie and Chris, uh, we got Punk Princess too. Thank you so much. Yes, this tile is from the new pack. Isn't it beautiful? And it, it works kind of like the one from, you know the tile from high school years? How it has like the, the edge to it? Um, it. It works like that. So it's it's got like the custom edge 
so you can like put the corner pieces and then have it like wrap around. It has like a little end piece. Isn't that really nice? I just think that looks beautiful. Um, let's try and use this lighter wood with the dark. I like that dark bluish color. I think it matches pretty well. Um, yeah, the edge really, it really does make it, doesn't it? It like, it looks so good with the edge right there. They have, there's two different tiles that have that now. This one has it too. So there's like the, that's like the corner piece and then you can have it um, like rotate round, but this one doesn't have any edges to it. Um, but there's three like absolutely stunning tiles in this pack. And these are some of my favorite tiles we've ever gotten. I really like, I really like this tile. There's also, um, I didn't use it anywhere, but we also have this like kind of nice, like pavement sort of tile. Um, and then this one, this is amazing. Look at this. It looks like they're like alternating stepping stones. Um, but it has, annoyingly, um, this has grass under it. So if you put it like in one of the desert lots, it's gonna have the grass there and it won't match the grass in like Brindleton Bay because it's a different texture in Brindleton Bay. But um, it's a really pretty tile. I like that a lot too. Isn't that nice? Yeah, really good flooring in this pack. Like really good flooring in this pack. Every single one of these is a, a huge hit, I think. Um, they're so good. <laughs> Ashley, thanks for the $10 Sable Gamers, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Okay. So I, I thought it would be cute to maybe do something like this in here. I don't know if it was a good idea or not, but does that even match? Is it bad? Should I do darker tile or darker cabinets maybe instead of the lighter ones? I keep using the lighter ones. I don't really know if I like the darker ones though. No, let's try the darker ones. Let's try the darker ones. Cause I keep using the light ones. Um, we can try and bring in some other colors with the, I don't know. Wonder if base game's getting any new floors. I don't, I don't think there is. I'm not sure. The thing is they don't like tell us what's coming in the update really. Um, you kind of have, I kind of have to like look for it myself. <laughs> Cause they don't say, um, but I don't think that the base game is getting any new floors. I would be, I think I would be surprised if the base game did get new floors in this one. Um, Cause we got all those floor swatches in the last pack update. Like we got that in the horse ranch update. So I don't think that they would do them again here, but maybe, I don't know. I don't think so though. Okay, a miniature kitty. Thank you for the ten dollars, Able Gamers too, which was doubled by the way, because there's currently a match in progress. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, the laundry list is about bug fixes, though, Queen Warrior. It's not the laundry list doesn't contain like um, like any free content coming in the patch. Ooh, honestly, I think that those two tiles they look kind of good together, right? but there'll be patch notes. So we'll find out eventually. And yeah, look, this this one has like paper towels hanging out of the end cabinet. Um, isn't that nice? Oh, Holly with the $10 in honor of your sister who is disabled and all of the hours of Tetris we played together as kids. I love that. I love that. That's so fun. Um, see, gaming is so special. Isn't that so cool? Thank you for that donation to Able Gamers. But yeah, look at the paper towel. And then the, the other one that's kind of nice, the like middle cabinet, this piece, this has like, it's, I think that's really cute with the towels in the basket. It also has a nice, um, like big tall piece. I could use that if I wanted to. Everybody likes paper towel, but <laughs> we could just use this one. <laughs> I could probably use a nicer set of kitchen appliances too. Isn't that pretty though? Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to grab this. I'm gonna grab this. More expensive is better. That's good. Um, Liz, that's me. Thank you for the for the donation to Able Gamers too. From your dogs, Biscuit and Max. Oh, and those are really cute names. <laughs> I really like that. Thank you for sharing that with us. Biscuit and Max. Are we going to see gameplay on this lot today? I don't know if we're gonna get to play on this lot today. Cause, um, oh, I see a cat. I don't know if we get to play on this lot today. Uh, 
because we're probably not going to finish the build in time to do that. I've already been live for so long, so... Um, but uh, we did do a bunch of gameplay earlier in the stream, um, she says, but it's over now, so... <laughs> anyway, um, we did have a bunch of gameplay earlier, though. Hmm. I want to mix in... I kind of like that. I know there's a lot of blue happening in this unit, but I do kind of like how that looks. And then it brings the green together. Um... Um, Aoife just donated $500. I... <laughs> um, <laughs> um, thank you so much. That, and that finished the rest of my match as well. We've now raised $25,520.69. Dollars, not simoleons. Dollars. <laughs> Thank you, Aoife, for all of your donations today. That is so generous of you. I really appreciate that. You have donated a lot of money today. I really, I really am very grateful. And and all of you together have uh, let, uh, <laughs> it's one day. It's been one day. That's so much money. That's so cool. Thank you for helping us do this. I, I really mean that. I, I really feel so lucky to have this community. Like it is, it is like the biggest blessing of my life. I will never do anything cooler than this in my whole life. Um, to be able to come together- Oh, sorry. Jeez. Don't throw the button. To be able to like come together and, and do this together is so special. So, um, just thank you. Thanks everybody. Um, this is really cool. Uh, not everybody has a community this cool. I'm just saying. <laughs> we kind of won, so. <laughs> We kind of won a little bit, I think. Um, not everybody got as lucky as, as we did, so. Oh, those need to go up a little bit more. Whoopsies. That one's clipping a bit, but that's fine. Just ignore it, okay? <laughs> Tiny! You came back! Sunny's been hanging out in here, like, so much today. She's really- she's a big fan. She's excited. If you guys weren't here earlier, this is how long we've been live for. So much has gone on today. Earlier today, when I first went live, all three cats were in here. We had a cat cam of Snap on my desk, and then Sunny and Shrimp were both on the little cat tree. And we had all three cats in here. For a while, I had all three cats on cam. We had, um, for a little bit, Shrimp and Sunny were cuddling. So we had, like, Shrimp and Sunny together on the camera. It's been a lot of cat today. It's been a lot. It's been really fun. <laughs> we'll have to get some clips so that you all can see if you weren't here earlier. Um, but yeah, we had all of them. It's been really good. Okay, um, I think that kind of ties the colors together, right? I think so. Um, I think so, I think so. Okay, let's grab... I don't know if I want to use the new... I don't know. I think I might want to get a bigger table than the new table. Do you think if I use the new table twice, it'll look like one table? Cause I kind of want it to be wide. That doesn't look that good. It's like not worth using the new table if it's gonna be weird looking, right? I don't know. I might be being silly about that. You can't put this on there. It doesn't work when you try, cause it's not actually a... Oops. You think it looks good? Okay, good. Does anyone know what the new colors of the kitchen appliances are? Yeah, I do. I can show you. Hold on. They added some new swatches to this set. So like the microwave and stuff too. Um, they added a handful of extra swatches at the back because they wanted them to match um, this item. There's like a new kettle and a new instant pot item. So they added swatches to it so it would match. Um, Oh, Regulus from my cat, who is my own black cat from the cat distribution system. Yes. <laughs> yes. But there's like a mint swatch. It's kind of screaming not so berry, isn't it? Yeah. You just noticed my tree? Oh yeah, I put the Christmas tree up. I, I haven't put any- Ooh, I need to turn my camera a bit more. I haven't put any decorations on it yet. Um, I've been like out of the center of the frame all day. But, but I uh, put the lights up and the tree up today, so. It's kind of fun, isn't it? I need to drink water. Oh, I should tell Dan to order my pizza. <laughs> if I'm gonna get off stream in like half an hour, now's a good time to order the pizza. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> okay. Um. There we go. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> I could do it, but I'm streaming. Dan's streaming too. Oh no, he's not on stream anymore. He got off stream. Well, never mind. He can do it. <laughs> Love for all peoples. Thank you for the donation. And Sims Mama, thank you for the donation as well. Thank you both so much. Your dad, your mom's making you homemade pizza. Oh. See, that sounds really good. I could go for some homemade pizza. I don't have the, I don't have anything to make it with. And also I don't have the energy to do that right now. So <laughs> should we do green? I actually really like the color scheme in here. This is really nice vibes, isn't it? I keep thinking that this light set from the base game matches really well. I think the green and blue is good. Um, okay. Um, maybe if we got like, I guess then we're gonna need to have a TV, aren't they? You're making me want pizza, but it's almost midnight here. I'm sorry, we'll stop talking, we'll stop talking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're breaking your heart doing this with this conversation. <laughs> That's so sad, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Raven, thank you for the $10 to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Um, I love homemade pizza though. I think homemade pizza is better than when you order pizza, obviously. Um, I, me and Dan actually make homemade pizza a lot. Um, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Does this come in like all green? Oh, that's also good stuff. You're gonna play starting with an audiobook tonight? Oh, that's fun. I was listening to, um, I listened to a couple audiobooks while I've been playing early access of this pack. It's been a little bit, but I was at first at least doing that. <laughs> so, also look at the new plants. The new plants are really good from this pack. Like, look at that. Isn't that perfect? Good vibes. Okay. Um,. Let's see, what else can we get? Maybe if we had a rug underneath this, probably just a relatively plain rug, right? Like maybe the, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Kate, thank you for the $50 to Able Gamers and Anonymous for the $25. Thank you so much. Um, you had the baby whisked away glitch. Oh my God, that makes me want to scream. Isn't it so annoying? I'm sorry that happened to you. The glitch that they're talking about is where if you have a rat, like a, a literal rodent from My First Pet Stuff, sometimes you get a glitch where the rodent like dies, the game says it died, but it didn't die. But you get like a pop-up, oh my rat's dead! And then your all your sims get a, like a little um, uh, mood or whatever that they're sad because a baby got whisked away. No baby, no, that did not happen. It's a lie, it's a lie. And the rat, the real kicker is, the rat's not even dead. The rat's still there. So the rat's alive, everyone's sad because a baby got taken away. And this has been happening for like five years. Anyway, it's exceptionally annoying. Very, very annoying. Um, and when it happens, sometimes it'll happen to you like three or four times in a row. <laughs> like it just, it happened once and then it happens again. And then it happens again. And then it happens again. To the point where you're like, you know what? I'm deleting my rat. <laughs> and then, you know, you start over again a little bit later. <laughs> Ash, thanks for the $25 stable gamers. Yes, it's been happening for years. For literal years. They still have never fixed it. All this time, they never fixed it. I really like this. I think this is beautiful. The, the like, setup in here. I know I'm biased, but I really like it. Should we, oh, look at that. That's pretty. The new shower is so nice. I really like the new shower, like, so much. Is it only rats? No, no, it's all of them. I, it's all of them. All of the rodents do it. Uh, what I found is, if you're having the glitch, 
sometimes I'll just get rid of my rodent and then get a different kind of rodent, rodent and then try that one for a little bit until that one breaks and then I, you know, so on and so forth. So, um, I think we have to put the sink over here because otherwise they're gonna be looking into the bathroom from the outside. Shall we use the new toilets? I think we probably should, right? It's kind of fancy. Okay. That's so nice. Let me get another, um, well, can I get a different curtain? Can I get like blinds or something maybe in the bathroom? How does Sims use those toilets? Oh, it's a squat toilet. So they like stand on, on this part, like a foot there each and they squat to use the bathroom. Um, it's pretty common in a lot of places in real life. Uh, we've never had a squat toilet in The Sims before, though. Um, and obviously, if you're not from a place that has these, you might not have seen one before. Um, but I've seen a lot of mixed reviews from people in chat with squat toilet experience. People talk about how they're comfier, but people also talk about how they hate them. So. I don't know. <laughs> I've seen a lot of mixed comments. I personally have never used one of these. Um, but I don't know. Um, I don't have personal experience, but we've seen some, some mixed reviews. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be healthier. I've heard that too. That it's supposed to be like better for you, the positioning. It's like more natural or something. <laughs> I don't know. But some people hate them. They come and chat, they're like, yeah, I had to use these and I hated it. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, you had it in school and it was terrible. Yeah, I can see that. If you're not used to it also, it would probably be kind of hard for you to use, but um, I don't know. It's cool that they added it to The Sims though. Marisa, thank you for the $2. Thank you so much, Able Gamers, and Claire with the $10. Um, gaming means so much to all, so many of us and it should be accessible to all. Thank you, Claire. Thank you so much. Um, but less strain for your body because of a curve. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, a squatty potty is the best medium for me. Nice. <laughs> Very, very, very nice. Um, oh, maybe we could use like that color tile in the... Oh, no, wait, I was using this one. Never mind, I'll use this one. Sorry. This one I think matches kind of well. So that's good. Um, your knees will not do that. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, oh, I don't think I can use that shower. This is a good question. Someone asked how much it costs. The shower is 550 simoleons. Um, so it's similar to this like m second cheapest shower, but it's a little bit better. That's a decent price. Um, is it cold where you live, Kayla? Um, no. In fact, it was like 85 degrees Fahrenheit today. Couldn't be further from cold. <laughs> Couldn't be further from cold, actually. <laughs> um, sorry, I know that's offensive to some of you that are living in cold places right now. I won't talk about it anymore. <laughs> oh, the squat toilet? There's two of them. One is the same price as the cheapest toilet, and the other one is like a little bit more mid-range, 370. So they're the same price basically as the cheapest two toilets in the base game. And I'm using the more expensive one in this house apparently. Um, okay. The heat is not the vibe for you. No, I get it. The heat is not the vibe for me either. Um, I, I so, for so many reasons, so desperately wish that I was not from Florida. Like, <laughs> so many reasons. Um, but the heat is not the vibes. No, I get it. It's kind of horrible. Um. <laughs> Guys. I've been looping one song off the Sims 2 soundtrack for the last seven hours and I didn't notice until just now. Oh my god! I just opened Spotify. I said, "Oh, I bet the soundtrack should 
have ended by now. No, I've been looping the one song for the last seven hours. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put The Sims 4 on for a bit. <laughs> I need- I need The Sims 4 instead. We need something different. <laughs> I can't believe I'm playing the same one song! It's a song called Simsation. I was playing Simsation for the last seven hours. <laughs> Whoa. That's- that's a lot. That's a lot. Nobody needed that. Okay, um, let me get some little bathroom clutter in these places quick. Oh my goodness. Um, let's think about some other like skill building type of items that we can give them. Like for example, it'd be fun if they had um, maybe like one of the bonsai trees because that's a, that's a fun skill item and I never use it. So it'd be fun to, how many times can you say fun, Kayla? Jeez, it'd be good to use that there. Maybe I could give them a chess table too. Um, That'll fit pretty nicely in the corner over there. Number one streamer. Oh, yep, yeah, you know me. Number one streamer playing the same song over and over and over again all day. <laughs> How did we not notice that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Look at this cute fish light. Isn't that fun? Oh, no, you know what I'm gonna use instead? This is a waste of springs. It's hot in here. Let's get them a ceiling fan in the living room. And I'll just put like a regular tiny hidden light in there. They have a radiator. <laughs> Too bad it's after Spotify wraps. Yeah, my Spotify wraps still to this day, Taylor Swift maintains the top, even though I listen to three hours of Sims 2 every day. Um, Taylor Swift is my, uh, I don't listen to, it's like different artists that make the Sims 2 soundtrack is the thing. So my top, my top artist was Taylor Swift and then Olivia Rodrigo only because I listened to only Taylor Swift and then Olivia's new album came out this year. But otherwise I listened to only Taylor Swift and the Sims 2. And unfortunately I'm not joking when I say that. Like only Taylor Swift and the Sims 2. That's it. Nothing else except for that. So my raps is like Taylor Swift. All my top songs are Taylor Swift, thank God. Um, but my top artists are Taylor, Olivia, and then three guys who made the Sims 2 soundtrack. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. And I thought that I had excluded the playlist from my taste profile, but it didn't work. Cause I, I had this same problem last year. So last year I did the same thing where I was like, oh, I'm gonna exclude it from my taste profile. But then this year it was back, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. Um, it's funny and fine. And it's true. Like, realistically, that is what I listen to, so. <laughs> but why listen to just two? Like, just The Sims 2 or just two kinds of music? Um, I don't have the answer to that question, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't have an answer to either of those questions. <laughs> it's ridiculous, I know. I know. Okay. Put this up here. I'll probably use the same. Like that, that's good. I really like this building. I think that I'm, I'm like really excited about how this is turning out. I think it's gonna be fun to play in and live here. What's the purpose of excluding it? Um, uh, people that like want to exclude stuff like that, like, like say um, someone would give the example earlier that they're a teacher and, and they have like all the music they play in their classroom, um, like lo-fi music from their classroom. They don't want like that in their Spotify like wrapped because that isn't like music they're choosing to listen to. It's like they're putting it on in the background, you know? It doesn't like that's not their top song. Like they're it's kind of like two different kinds of music. So I just saw Shrimpy. Oh hi buddy! Come here, sweetie. Let me get you. Oh okay. Jeez, you're so much bigger than your sister. Here's Shrimpy. 
he's back. Hello. Thank you. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Sorry, you can go back down now. <laughs> um, that's, that's one of the kittens. You've seen Sunny mostly today. <laughs> Okay, um, how long are we streaming for? Uh, I'm gonna get off stream probably in like 10 or 15 minutes, I think. Uh, Pump Trees, thank you for the $25 to Able Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so, so, so much. You know, Lo, I won't be live tomorrow. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to stream tomorrow because I, well, I don't normally stream on Sundays anyway. Uh, the early access thing, that's my Lego bag. You can't have that. Um, <laughs> I would like to stream with the early access, but I have I have uh, predetermined plans actually because my friend Sasha's coming. Um, my friend Sasha's coming into town, uh, and she's gonna stay at my house tomorrow. So um, I I cannot stream tomorrow because uh, I've got a friend coming over. I don't normally have friends over, um, so it's a big deal. <laughs> Uh, but she's only gonna be here for tomorrow. Her family's going to um, like just come to Florida for vacation, uh, and she's gonna stay at my house for the first day, so, um, only for tomorrow, but I'm excited about it, so, <laughs> um, okay, I think, do you guys like that together, or should I do, like, maybe, I don't know if I like this brown color, but it does match the rug, so maybe it's good, I don't know, if we get some more plants and decor, it might be okay, yeah, Zeus is coming too. The thing is, the thing is, Sasha's more important to me. Been friends for eight years, so. Sorry. Green, blue. Okay, I'm getting a lot of mixed signals here. There's also like a lighter color of blue that matches the tile a bit better. And we could do something like that too. Lighten it up a little bit. Maybe that's better with the light color. It's her, it's her boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, that's who they're talking about. Um, what do you guys think about that? Is that okay? Is it less laggy? Well, no, so it, what we've learned is it's only laggy when it's classed as a residential rental. Otherwise it's not. <laughs> um, Anonymous with the $50 stable gamers. They said I've been watching all day. You're amazing for doing this. Thank you for that donation. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think we're still going, maybe not college roommates, but I think I'm still going for, for roommates with this one. I like the idea of decorating it for like, um, like a set of roommates who all live together. How about a fruit bowl on the dining table? That's cute, right? I like that. No, unfortunately you can't have shops as units. You can only have, um, you can only have houses as units in this, uh, in this pack, so. All right, because we're doing it for like adult roommates, um, maybe we'll pick like a set of a handful different beds. Um, <laughs> uh, Kruma, thank you for the three dollars to Able Gamers too. Thank you so much. Is she Stefo Sims? Oh, like who? My friend? No, Stefo Sims is my friend too, but that's a different friend. Um, not the same person. <laughs> that is a, that is a different person, so. I think that's what they were asking. Your vet clinic multi-unit build idea? I know, I would love, love to have multiple units like that, where it's like, um, totally different buildings all together. I, that's like, top of the list dreams now that we have this pack, but you unfortunately can't do that here. Um, oh, Carrie, I'm so sorry. I hope that you feel better soon. I, I, geez, I can't even imagine. Um, I'm glad at least that you, that you got through COVID. Um, and I'm sorry that you're still not feeling well. That's just horrible. It's always really unfortunate with the timing of stuff. It's like life throws everything at you all at once, you know, <laughs> as you know. Um, maybe I'll make a, um, slightly more colorful one in there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Where am I from? I am unfortunately from Florida. <laughs> I live in Orlando, Florida. 
Um, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Um, so that's where I'm from. <laughs> okay, let me get a cork board. How about that? I'll put this up here. Maybe like a little picture or something. Something like that. I don't know. I was born in Chicago, but I've lived in Florida since I was five, so. <laughs> the fact is I'm from Florida. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, it's true. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Maddie, thank you for the $10 stable gamers also. I could be from worse places. I could be from worse places. I'm mostly kidding. Um, I'm mostly kidding. It's just, you know, it's Florida is all. I don't think I want to use this wallpaper. I think I want to use like a, maybe something like that for the little bedroom in here. Um, okay, something like that combo, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe they could have a little bookshelf, too. Really make the most out of the small space. That's good, right? Okay, um, and then, oops, go back. Maybe in the, oh, I didn't paint this yet, either. Maybe in this one? I kind of want this to be, like, pink. Yeah. Should we do this pink selection? I don't know about that rug anymore. Um, I just- so- so I'm not having any wallpaper lag right now because I'm not playing in a residential rental. Um, I swapped it back to a plain one so I could have no wallpaper lag. <laughs> Um, I've, I've realized that it works quite well doing it like that. That method is, is a foolproof way, foolproof way. But, um, we don't know what they will fix by the time the pack comes out. Um, so we don't know if the wallpaper lag is going to be solved when the pack actually releases next week. Um, we're not 100% sure. <laughs> I am not currently experiencing it though, because I, um, swapped myself over. So, what's the wallpaper lag? We're just having some trouble um, with the new pack and with wallpapers lagging quite a bit for some reason. Um, so, we're kind of feeling a bit nervous about that. Maybe this sim could be an artist in this one. Kind of like that. Um, Anonymous, thank you so much uh, for the $10. As someone who he relied heavily on assistive tech when my arthritis was at, at its worst, I hold much love for Able Gamers. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for sharing that. Um, and, and thank you thank you for that donation. I really appreciate it. Um, we're making townhouses. Kind of. We have like all these. So basically on this lot, there's six units. There's four that are attached. And then there's like two in the front. And then they have a shared courtyard in the middle. Um, it's kind of the situation. And then we're decorating this one for like maybe a set of roommates. <gasps> Guys, Sunny's back. <laughs> she's back, she's back. Um, so that's kind of what we've been up to. Um, this could be cute above their bed when pigs fly, you know? Um, Maybe something like that, too, so they can have some music, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah, so we, we clearly did not finish this today, <laughs> but uh, we've made some good progress on it. <laughs> we have made some good progress, at the very least. Oh, no, the rug situation is... I don't know what I want. Um, can I raise this up maybe a little bit more? Put it in a darker color. Um, Mimi, thank you for the $10. Um, gaming has kept me through the isolation for years now. We all deserve that sense of connection. Thank you for sharing that and thank you for the donation. Um, you want a different bed? Oh, really? I actually kind of liked this bed. <laughs> I kind of like how it's like a little bit ugly, you know? 
Like it's kind of it's kind of speaking to me a little bit there. Um, we don't have that many packs right now, so we don't have a lot to work with. I uh, maybe I'll just leave it. And then in this one, um, should I use the same bed then, but in like a different color scheme, perhaps? Is there another set of pattern? We could do the gray with the green for this unit. Or this room, I mean. I think that makes sense. That one is Sunny, yeah. The one who is um, staring out the window right now. <laughs> um, okay. So this unit is lucky because they have a lot more room. Well, I keep calling it a unit. It's, it's all one. It's not quite a unit. Same colors and different patterns remind you of Dan and Phil. I can see that. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, I'll put a plant over here, maybe. Maybe we can get them, like, another set of colors in here if I size down and play some of these. Jillian's cats with the $2 for their two cats. Thank you so much for that donation. Um... I really appreciate that. Um, is the stream ending soon? Yeah, I'm gonna get off in a couple minutes here. I think what we'll do is we'll finish the build, um, and then I'll probably head out. I'd like to finish the build first though, I think. Um, colors, pink. Okay, I'm gonna have this room be like pink and green, I've decided. Um, Oops. Yikes. There we go. That gives them like a nice pink rug. Finish this unit, not all six. No, <laughs> oh gosh, no. I don't think I would be able to finish all six tonight. I've already been live for seven hours. If we tried to keep going until I finished all six units, we would be in trouble. <laughs> we would never go, we would never end the stream. Um, which maybe is what some of you want, but, um, I should, I should probably head out. I need to, like, eat dinner and stuff. <laughs> I've been live all day. Um, okay. I, honestly, I like this little room. Maybe I could give them a slight, like, light pink wallpaper. Kind of basing off of the, the one in the curtains. I don't know. Okay. Um, let me get them one more of those. Um, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what this person is trying to say. It looks like maybe they copy and pasted something. It's like a bunch of keyword spam. But either way, thanks for the $25 to Able Gamers. And Alice with the $100 to Able Gamers. Oh my goodness. Um, hey, Sunny, what are you doing? I'll just turn it off for now. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and don't worry guys, I didn't forget. I know I have I have one more giveaway that I owe everybody. <laughs> I didn't forget. I'm gonna hold off and do it in a couple minutes here. Um, there's currently ads playing, so I don't wanna do it right now, just yet. Um, I'll wait for the ads to finish first. Okay, I'm not really loving the rug actually. Oh God, I deleted the whole thing. I deleted the whole thing. Um, Okay. If you donate next week, will you still be able to claim rewards? Ah, that's a good question. Um, I guess so. I'm just gonna try and get all of the letters finished tomorrow. Um, but if you let us know, Purple, um, if you do end up redeeming it and I didn't see or whatever, um, or like if it's after tomorrow, let me know and I, I can still send you the prize and stuff or the letter. Um, just let me know so I know that you've done it. Um, I know to check again. Cause I have to like, I download like a spreadsheet of everybody, um, so that I can, um, like send all the stuff out, um, and the spreadsheet doesn't live update. So I'd have to re-download the spreadsheet if you donate after I've downloaded it. Does that make sense? So just let me know if you do that and I'll still send it to you. That's fine. I got a whole bunch of cards. Um, these are what the cards look like. If you donate $50, I can send you a card like this. I'm gonna put a Google form in the Discord server in case you uh, donated enough but didn't redeem it, by the way. Um, and then these are the stickers. It's two little cats. 
It's shrimp and sunny. My friend Shella drew these for us, Rochella on Twitch. Um, so, <laughs> kind of fun, right? Uh, but that's what I'll send to people who donated over $50. Okay, um, perhaps I will give them like a little bookshelf in their room too. No, I don't like that one. I don't like that one either. Maybe they can have this one. This house is expensive now. <laughs> so oopsies, I guess. Um, those are pretty, right? I think it looks good in there. In their little patio, they don't really have a lot of room for much. <laughs> in fact, they barely have room for literally anything <laughs> in this little patio, but I maybe we'll give them a couple planter boxes or something um, so they can have something out there. Um, it's amiibo or stickers, Hot Summer is kind of what I was thinking. Um, but we'll see. We shall see how many stickers I have left, <laughs> um, as well as the thing. Uh, I don't know how many people redeemed it, so, um, anyway. Yeah, I can, Lucia, I can tell you all about it. Uh, while I do that, I have one final giveaway. Oops, I closed the bot by accident. I have one final giveaway. Um, I have a giveaway now for, <laughs> this is like we saved the worst for last, but <laughs> I have a giveaway for Get to Work. Um, Get to Work is the last set of packs that we have. Um, so, uh, let me see, what should you type? Uh, okay. If you would like to enter for a chance to win, get to work, could you type the word cow plant <laughs> in the chat? I've had, I've, I've given away a lot of expansion packs today. Unfortunately, get to work is like the worst one out of all of them. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I have three codes for get to work, um, that, that we can do a giveaway for. You can type the word cow plant in the chat. Um, and if maybe you've never heard of them, Able Gamers are a charity that works to help make gaming accessible to everyone. And they do that by uh, helping to get disabled folks access to specialized controllers or like other assistive technology so that they're able to play video games. Um, and that ranges from all kinds of things like physical controllers, uh, software on their computers. Um, they have a lot of really special things like different kinds of controllers that have buttons in different places to make it easier to access them, foot pedals, um, my friend Steve uses like a, a thing that tracks his eye movements because he can't use his hands to play to play games. So there's all kinds of really special, very powerful technology that they can help get people access to. Um, and it's really special because it opens up this whole world of games that obviously you and I know and love um, that that maybe they wouldn't have had access to beforehand if they if they weren't able to use like a regular controller, you know. Um, so it's really important what they're doing to help make that same access available to everybody. Um, and we all, I think, speak from experience when we talk about how important gaming is to us. Like, like games have completely changed my life. I've met all of my best friends through games. I, <laughs> my life revolves around this game. Like, uh, video games are so important to me. Um, and it really means a lot to me that you are all helping me do this to, to get the same access to everybody. Um, a lot of disabled people suffer, suffer from like social isolation. Um, and, and one of the really cool things about games is that uh, it opens up like this whole world um, where, where you can play games online with people, you can meet people, um, and it, it really can be life-changing for people. And I'm not kidding when I say that. Um, it, it's a big deal to have that access um, to that like network of people and, and to these things, these games online. So um, together we have raised almost $26,000 for Able Gamers today as well in just a few hours. So thank you all so much for helping us do this. Um, and we are currently doing a, a last giveaway from the stream today. Um, our final codes are for get to work. It's the Sims 4 get to work are the last codes that we have. Um, so if you have not typed, uh, if you haven't typed the word cow plant in the chat, it'll enter you for a chance to win um, the Sims 4 get to work. We've just got the three final codes to give away. So um, thank you all so much for hanging out and thank you for doing this. Pull poo with the $50 to Able Gamers. Wait a minute. We just passed $26,000 thanks to you. <laughs> they said pull poo? Thank you for that donation. Thank you so much, you guys. This is so cool. We raised $26,000 just today, just today. Thanks to all of you. That's really amazing. Um, this means a lot to me, so thank you. Uh, and, and we've got this last giveaway going still, so I'll give you a couple more seconds to enter and then I'll draw the winners. Um, and this is what we worked on. We spent like the first half of stream playing uh, and like doing some gameplay and stuff um, with the save that we started yesterday. And now we spent like the second half building this. Um, it's gonna be a little apartment complex um, in Oasis Springs, or I guess like a set of townhouses is a better way of describing it. 
Um, it's like four townhouses back there and then two bigger houses up in the front. And they all are gonna have like a shared patio area. So I'll probably put like a bar and grill space and some lounge chairs and, and like some cool shared stuff for them all out here. Um, and it's cool because they're all like slightly different layouts and they're um, different numbers of bedrooms and stuff. So it's gonna be all different. And then when you play here, um, this one is obviously set as um, number one. Oh, shrimp scared himself and ran away. Um, this one's set as number one. <laughs> um, but if once we have them all set up, it's gonna be pretty cool because you'll be able to have like townies in every single one of these units. So it's just, it's pretty fun. I'm excited about it. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and draw this, these, these winners. I've got three winners here of uh, The Sims 4 Get to Work. The first one is going to be uh, Lackey Lachi the Great. Lachi the Great, congratulations, my friend. I'm really sorry that it's, that it's Get to Work only. <laughs> Get to work is a fun pack. I like it. I just feel like, um, cause we did a handful of giveaways in the beginning of like horse ranch, which is like the newest pack. So <laughs> I feel bad, but congratulations. You got get to work. It's a really good one. I actually like it a lot. Um, next we have Evie underscore Evie as well, who, who's won the second code. Um, they've got the, the second one there. Um, let me pull up your, your whispers Evie here. And the third and final winner of our giveaway today, the last giveaway is HP laser jet printer. <laughs> HP laser jet printer. Congratulations. I like your username, my friend. <laughs> HP laser jet printer. Let me pull up your whispers too so I can send all three of you your codes. Um, hopefully you enjoy them and have fun with this pack. Um, it, uh, it really is a, um, a super good, uh, super good one. And I hope that you like it. It's fun to get to play with the active careers. I like the scientist one best. So, um, let me send you all your codes. Boom, there we go. We have officially given away 21 packs today. <laughs> um, so hopefully you all have fun. I, I will be doing some more giveaways on, I guess on Thursday, cause that's when the pack comes out. So we'll, we'll get some codes for this pack next week when it comes out. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, Jess, thanks for the $25, by the way, to, to April Gamers. Thank you so much. Um, real quick, I would really like to, to thank the mods for their help today. Um, I'm sorry that I streamed so long. <laughs> um, and thank you for helping me. It's been really kind of you, and uh, we did this together, so thank you. Um, also, thanks to everybody who's been here. I know a lot of you have been here all day. Um, so thank you for so supporting us and, and hanging out with us. Um, I'm gonna show you the map so we have something good to look at while we do this. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who donated. That was unbelievably generous of you. you. You did not have to do that and I'm so glad that you did. And even if you did not donate, please do not feel bad. You just being here and helping me to support the stream and spread the word about Able Gamers is more than enough. It's more than I could ever ask for. Um, I keep saying this, but like this is, this is like the highlight of my life, getting to do these sorts of things and do these charity streams. The fact that I can just come on and like sit in my room with some cats and like play my little Sims game and we can raise $26,000 for charity in one day. That is like, it's unfathomable. So um, thank you, seriously, thank you for helping us do this. Um, it really means the world to me. And it, it means the world to Able Gamers too. I, I don't wanna speak for them, but like, um, they're not like a massive charity, you know? So it's um, like compared to like some things that we raise money for sometimes. So it, um, it is, it's a pretty big deal that we get to do this. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Um, and I think on that note, I might head out here. I have been live for a long time. <laughs> I've been live for like seven hours. Um, Max, thank you for the $25 stable gamers. Hannah too. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to be live on Monday playing some more early access content. So we will be doing that on Monday. Um, I posted on my YouTube channel today, a like almost two hour long video playing with the pack. Um, so if you wanted to go and watch that, uh, it has a lot of the gameplay in it. If you haven't seen that yet, you might like it. Um, it's kind of like a live stream. <laughs> um, so, so you can watch that one. And tomorrow I'm going to post a build video on YouTube is kind of my plan. Um, so we'll, we'll get that up. Lots of, lots of content with the pack this week, lots of content with the pack this week <laughs> uh, and next week. Cause it comes out next week. So I, I have like the CFE version and then starting on Tuesday is when I can get like the regular game with the real code because the, the update should come out on Tuesday. So the game should work starting on Tuesday, which will be pretty good. Um, but anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody. Lady Sinflower, thank you for the $75 to Able Gamers. Um, thank you for hanging out tonight. Happy Saturday. Uh, I am going to go and find someone to raid. I think I'd like to raid somebody who's maybe also playing um, 
playing with this pack. Oops, sorry, I unmuted myself. Sorry. <laughs> I'd like to rate somebody also playing, um, and I know that my friend Shella has early access, um, and I think she's also building, so it looks like she's making some moldy apartments. Is that what you guys want? <laughs> Do you want to go over and raid Shella and watch some moldy apartments? Shella is also the person who drew the stickers that I'm going to be mailing out as donation incentives today. Um, so these are the stickers that are donation incentives this time around. And Shella drew these for us. So we can go, we can go rate her and say hello, shall we? Um, everyone, please go and say hi for me. Um, thank you for hanging out. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. Um, and I'm going to catch you all on Monday. Okay, thank you. I miss you. This has been so cool, you guys. Thank you so much. It really means the world to me. Um, it really does. And I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> ah! And raid now. And then press stop streaming.